these streets with diamonds in our eyes Out with the vampires under a midnight sky My mind so hypnotized It was exciting It was the 90s Daddy always said that I was going too far Said there's never any compromising If you try to win the battle to be who you are I dance to the left, I dance to the right Hold hands with my demons and creatures of night On an undercover mission to find
what's up everybody? Stratford, Connecticut, 8 p.m. on the nose. And here we are here for more Ask the King. Hope everyone had a great Saturday. I uh, hope, in especially my special always guest Saturday, uh, on Saturday, Atlas the Bookkeeper. How you feeling? How was your Saturday? Let everybody know. Come on. Very, very busy. Been up since two, worked two different streams. Now I'm here. We are going hard. <laughs> okay. Well, since, as you know, Saturday's my least uh, detracting day of the week. What, anything that we'll be talking about tomorrow that I should know about? How was today's pre-stream? All that nonsense. Give us a quick overview. Uh, it sucked. It was almost entirely about Baldur's Gate 3, in all uh, honesty. That was it. Classic, classic. All right, well, we'll try to make it work. We'll try to make it work tomorrow, as we always <laughs> you do. have to do something. <laughs> we'll make it work. So, all right, on the docket today, we, of course, have Ask the King, episode 17. A little bit more than a month since the one we last watch week, last watch week, last week. And we have more of your favorite interviewer and mine, Jake James Lugo content after that. So we got to get right into this one. Uh, I know... Jake James Lugo is Atlas the Bookkeeper's favorite content creator, so we got to get to that soon. Let's burn through the Ask the King, and then we'll get to your favorite interviewer. All right, Atlas, you cool with that? Absolutely. I'm I'm, I'm dying to get there. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Not there. Come on. Male, motherfucker. Male, motherfucker. Beautiful. Hell yeah. What's going on, everyone? DSP here, and welcome to another edition. What's, the, what's this shirt right here? What is this? What's the drip here? Looks like a. I'm sure it's a gamer style shirt, but what is it, Chad? You know? Of Ask the Kings. It's like it looks almost like camouflage or something. Like we're going hunting, but I'm sure it's a gamer shirt. What else could it be? Very abstract, if you <laughs> ask me. Hard to read from a distance. Not a shirt I would have. I would have purchased. But... Uh huh. All right, we'll, we'll deal with it. We'll go with it. It's actually episode 17, I believe, since I officially started doing this, and uh, oh, lots yeah. of questions queued up. Lots of good questions. I'm definitely having a lot more success doing this once a month than I was. Remember back when I was doing it yeah, every two weeks? Yeah, uh, that sucked. Simply because a lot more questions get to be accumulated, and I get to pick the better ones, I feel. Uh, so anyway. I don't let them accumulate. Let's jump uh -huh. right in because I have plenty of questions. Plenty. And it's going to take a while to get through this. All right. Uh, first question. It says, if you stumbled upon a magical genie, <laughs> uh, what would you wish for? No infinite wish. Okay, go ahead. So I I'll let you choose one. All you got, if you get one right, you win. So what do you think, Atlas? What would he wish for? Um, God, <laughs> there's so much dented shit he could ask for. Uh -huh. In all honesty, ah, uh, man. Ah, that's the tough one. I'm gonna one. be here all day. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He because there really is infinite stupid shit. I think he's gonna make a joke about it, but he'll say like a money tree or something like that. Hmm. I, I maybe he wants like a like a like a gorgeous ten out of ten brunette or something. Okay. I don't know, man. You go, okay, women he, style. He's in that era. Okay, you'll go women's style. I'll go money style, and then we'll see what happens. Which is allowed, and that is from Bart Flyer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, oh. Spilled my throat already. That's oh, so Shout out to the star. Already sipping. <laughs> yeah. That was from Bart Flyer. Okay. Bart Flyer, big ups, dude. Awesome. And honestly, I thought about it, and you know what? Uh oh. I'm a down to earth guy. I'm a realistic uh, guy. But uh oh. I have a wish for if I only have one wish. Oh, one wish. Okay. Uh, is to have my back fixed and. Uh, <laughs> gave oh my god. <laughs> <Girl, laughs> All right. If you guess back, you would have won. I don't think anyone did. Get fucked, everybody. Back. Who's, who's calling out back is the first answer today. <laughs> nice. Rough. Before my back injury that I kind of miss, uh, driving on the highway. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? Like, I used to drive everywhere. <laughs> what? To That's the, the thing you miss the most, driving on the highway? Cool. I was just about to say all the shit you could ask for. Literally anything. He's like, yeah, I just want to drive on the highway. I really miss it. I Going really miss 70 it. was pretty cool. Uh -huh. I love that, dude. Driving on that goddamn highway. I things I used to drive my friends and everyone everywhere. And we had a lot of billboards. It was cool. <laughs> we loved it, dude. That's kind of frustrating. <laughs> yeah, um, getting in accidents. Good, good, good being point. Able to do, like, basic sports <laughs> Almost until, dying. Remember, one of the last things I did before I was diagnosed with my back injuries, I played uh, some football with some friends of oh, mine yeah. over a park nearby. And since then, I, I just can't do it. It's too much of a risk. In fact, when I oh, went to the God. doctor and got diagnosed, he said, it's a good thing that you caught it now, because if you continued to do stuff like that, uh -huh. uh, my disc would have ruptured. Oh, yeah, ticking time bomb again. surgery, and it's a lot more risky procedure, and it can yep. lead to a lot of uh, even worse pain for the rest of my life. So I'm glad that I caught it when I did. Yep. So unfortunately, there really is no way to fix my condition. I could do therapy. 
but therapy is just going to build what? muscles, make it a little bit easier. If you make fun of any stream chatter, pain, Derek or otherwise, you're fucking. Oh, it'll myself, just make it I feel do. better. It's not going to fix it 100. percent So I do it. And, uh, even surgery, surgery, surgery. Number one might not even help at all, but number two, the best it will do is maybe relieve some of the the pain that I have. But I'm still going to be at high risk. For that disc to be further injured or ruptured for the rest of my life, okay. I still would have to have the adjusted lifestyle that I have now. So, yeah, it would be nice. So it sounds like you have two things you could do. <laughs> I mean, he said, I, there's nothing I could do. Here's two things I can do. <laughs> okay, very cool. And both of them sound like they were going to alleviate a little bit of pain, a little bit of discomfort. And uh -huh. he basically was like, nah, I'm good. Nah, yeah. it's, it's fine. Big ups, Fictitious. I'd rather just complain. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much, Fictitious. You're a legend. Stuff this, the excuses he's, sh he's sharing here and why he can't get his back fixed is also fictitious. So. Granted, cool. For granted, for granted, uh, when you have it and you don't realize what a, a big loss it would be to lose it, but, you know, it is what it is. That's life. It is what it you is, know, dude. Stuff happens. Figure it out, and, uh, dude. I've dealt with it appropriately. Hey so. <laughs> uh, next question. If you had the chance, would you move out to California? And that's from Mr. Brian Busy. Ooh, California move. Another good prediction question. Is he gonna move? I'm gonna to go with no. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with no, no. too. But well, because he said before he wouldn't go to LA for a uh, 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 machinima style job, so yeah. I think he might just write off California entirely. True, true. Too expensive. Yeah. You know, I've thought about moving right. for a couple reasons. First of all, I live in Connecticut, which is actually one of the most expensive states uh -oh. in the country to live in, and appropriately, you know, back when I had a job, a salary job here, actually. The salary of the job that I had was a little bit higher than if I had that similar job in other states because the cost of living in other states is lower. Okay. But now, what I'm doing now with YouTube, it's not, a, you know what I mean? It's not salary. It's not an adjusted way. What I make is what I make. So yeah. if I were to move from Connecticut to a state where it's cheaper, I feel like that's for most I'd be people, able to, yeah. to, to spend, what? you know, to get more for my buck because I'm making what I'm making every month on YouTube and uh, it wouldn't be adjusted for per se. Okay. California is still a little bit on the pricey side. It's definitely not as pricey a little as bit. Connecticut. Um, the weather is nice. It all depends on where you go, obviously. There are some parts of California where the weather sucks. <laughs> there are some parts of California where you're at high risk for earthquakes. <laughs> uh, but there are parts of California I've been to that were really nice. And uh, high risk for I have been to California several times in my life, and I enjoyed every trip I ever had when I went out there. Uh -huh. And something is to be said about the fact that there are a lot of TV... Uh, media outlets, things oh. like that in California. A lot of people who've been trying to, Shout out a lot it, of people. for example, in, 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 in the entertainment industry, move to California because that's where really it's at, where, where all the studios ah, are. Ah, he's going to find his his fame and fortune there. Okay. Uh, shit, Justin Wong moved to California. He lived uh -oh. in New York his whole life, but as soon as he got you know more popular and he got signed with uh, sponsorship or whatever, the first thing he did was move to California. So there are, okay. <clears throat> there are so... reasons I've thought about moving. If I get to do this maybe for another couple of years with no problems and I have money saved up, then I might consider actually doing it. Oh. As of right now, I mean, my family's here, my friends are here, and I definitely don't have any kind of you know money, major money saved up where I could go and, and do a move. But I have. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's just about the money then. Yeah. Right? It, when, maybe when I get a little bit of money, I'll just up and abandon them. But right now, they're here and I don't have money. So like, it sounds like it's just money then. I didn't expect to get a Justin Wong shot on that question, but hey, hell yeah. Cool. <laughs> nice. It's definitely at the top of my list. All right, so that's Justin definitely Wong, that's not out a no. Of nowhere. That's not a no. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> definitely a maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next question. It's wild, though, he thinks that Connecticut is more expensive than California. I mean, that cannot be true. Cannot, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot. That's why I was like a, a little bit less expensive. <laughs> like, wait, what reality was he living in? I know. <laughs> hey, Phil, I just watched John Rambo's video of his history with GameStop. Now, if you haven't seen this, this is over on John Rambo's YouTube Ooh. channel. John Rambo presents. He's done several videos where he shoots, per se, on GameStop because he used to work there. Oh, hang on. I'll check um, for that. Wrestling styling, though. Why yeah. you buy shoot. Games from GameStop shoot. instead of the plane trade or anywhere else? And that's from BTR Chaz. Very valid question, and I've talked to John Very about this several times as well. I would buy my games elsewhere if all the other places to get games at always had them on time on launch day, always had the collector's editions available, um, Gotta have those. and were closer to me. I'd have to say, right now, there's a GameStop and a Best Buy that are about equal distant from me, but I have bad experiences at Best Buy trying to buy games on launch day. I go in there and the, the games aren't out. It looks like he deleted box, those videos. I box them. The game shipment uh, was late. I mean, so it looks like games. that. Maybe that's what he... Because he got fired from there, too. So maybe that's why. At GameStop, it seems like they always have everything. As long as you mm -hmm. reserve, 
You always get the games you want. You get them on launch day. You can get the strategy guide with them. You know, everything is there. And you do get you a gotta lot have of the strategy guide day one, it's obviously. Not, that's a particular reason why why I would I play the there, game if I didn't know how to beat it already? You get those. Um, so, yeah, if there were another game store comparable to GameStop that could get everything for me on launch day, that could get me the collector's editions, you know what I mean? I would definitely go to them. Okay. But really, the only competition for GameStop game wise is. Uh, there is the uh, games exchange store that I've talked several times about now where uh, I'm going with John Rambo and we got some list. retro games from them. Uh, but they, again, even then, they can't guarantee they're going to have the games on launch day. They can't guarantee they can get the collector's edition. So it's kind of frustrating. Okay, finish this. GameStop really has a stranglehold on the gaming industry, at least for brick and mortar stores. Wow. They seem to be able to get this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, Let's move on. Uh, you know, they have the ability to, to compl control. You're not here for the GameStop question? <laughs> we answered it five That's minutes really ago. The only reason why <laughs> you got okay. a point. You got a point. Uh, next question. Okay. Hey, Phil. So numb to the ramble. Oh, yeah. sorry. I skipped one. Uh, there's a common question a lot of people have been asking me. Uh, a lot of people. With the games coming up in the next couple of months, all the major releases coming out for 2011 now, these last couple of months of the year, uh -huh. which ones will I be playing on my gaming PC? And I have the answer for you. The answer is Rage. Battlefield Rage. 3, Battlefield 3. And let's Skyrim. go. Nice. In fact, the beta for Battlefield 3. I'm oh, Skyrim on PC? PC? I didn't I know that. I actually had a code to do it on Xbox 360, and I said, you know what? I'd rather play the better version, which I know is going to be the PC version. It's been announced as that since day one, so I'm going to be playing those particular games on PC. Oh, cool. Okay? Uh, next question. So wait, that whole Skyrim playthrough we did was on PC? I didn't know that. The original one? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's... Oh, Black I, Cat. I don't... Nice. <laughs> I didn't know that because it looked like shit when I watched like the the like old old. This is how you don't play. I yeah. really thought it was on his on his busted ass like 360 because it looked like trash. That's what I thought so too. Uh, Big ups wizard. The bankruptcy call is amazing. Highly recommend. Oh yeah, that'd be a good one. Well, obviously, we I think we most of us have heard that by now. But yeah, watching that again is always worth it. <laughs> Phil, would you ever consider being a guest on other big YouTubers podcast? Ooh. Oh, excuse me, podcasts. Uh, such uh, as no. Gamer, Tag, <laughs> uh, Killer. Yeah, if they ask uh, me. They could drastically bump up your subs and get you more exposure, and that's from Single Cell 50. Oh, Big House Mr. Stuff, always dropping the knowledge. He plays the PC games on his TV, so that's why we're, you know. Oh. <laughs> so he, he hooks up it up to the TV. There we go. Well, here's the bottom line. Gotcha. Oh, bottom line. I don't even know who those people are. I'm, not, I'm being very honest with everyone, and I've said this since day doesn't one. know what a PKA is. You know, who is Woody's gamer tag? I never was. I'm when not I a YouTube user. Stuff on YouTube. It's not like I was on YouTube every day watching other people's videos, being so subscriber to other people's videos. And I just don't have time now to uh, even look into it. I don't know that much about other YouTubers. So I didn't, I don't have no clue who Woody's Gamertag or Painkiller are. I have no idea. Okay, so, so if they what are if they asked you? YouTubers, okay. Uh, what if they I asked you? Being yes. on their, on a podcast Ask the whatever, question. I don't see why not. All it is is basically you talking with them, you know, if they wanted to interview What else would it be? Or, uh, just bullshitting with them. <laughs> Man, I would have loved to see him go on PK uh -huh. back in the day. Oh, and yep. especially other gamers you want to talk about. Wings was there. Like that would have been hype. But I haven't been approached by anyone like that ever. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to approach them, but I, like I said, I don't even know about them, so I wouldn't approach them. Um, but no, I, I have had a couple offers to be interviewed and such, such as like Venomous Fat Man. Hey! Who interviewed me early this year. Hey, speak of the guy. That really That's what we're watching today, actually. We're watching this exact interview you just mentioned. Sweet. There's been that much, you know, <laughs> no, no mainstream, I guess I would say, attention. Even oh, give fuck Venomous Fat YouTubers Man. Aren't really mainstream. You're not mainstream. No one's ever asked me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. Hey, Phil, I wanted to get your thoughts about something... Uh, that's rather common, but from a different perspective. Okay. Uh, it's about the companies who make their big releases and choose not to share them on all platforms. Oh, so oh what I'm exclusive about style. We hate this. There are many types of games the that worst. usually don't give every platform a fair shake. Uh, in this particular case, I think what he's talking about is uh -oh. fighting games right. and Thank speaking. you for re-upping your membership. So what he's basically I saying is... I'm trying to paraphrase because it's a very large paragraph. And by the way, this question is from Diego. Oh, just read it. Uh, he's asking, <laughs> it's a very large paragraph. How do I Hang feel on. about the fact that <laughs> a lot of games aren't coming to PC? Like it. Uh, it used to be, weird. you know, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Now it seems to be more like Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, maybe the Wii, and only a handful okay. of games get ported to the PC. Okay. We got the question. He wants to know, how do I feel about that? must that have been being, different. Are they really abandoning the PC? Um, and so on and so forth. Yes, Here's my thoughts. Answer the question. And I said this for quite a while at this point. Um, PC market is dying. Uh oh, really is. get fucked, uh, PCs. <laughs> <laughs> most games originally were get fucked, for Steam. PC. You're done. Okay. 
uh, were because it was easy to develop for. Okay? You're done, Steve. You are done. And these consoles came out, and they became much more easy to develop games. More, more, more takes of DSPs so that aged like ass. Uh -huh. that's, that's it right there. <laughs> Get fuck PCs. You're done, okay, dude. Hey, all right, we're going to make console versions of these games. We have quite the montage if we want consoles to. consoles are now becoming way more popular than gaming PCs. They're cheaper. Uh, and you know, kids can now buy them. And, yep, uh, kids can buy them. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! Every kid's walking into the local GameStop with three, four hundred dollars. Kids can buy them. And then, as the years rolled on, the game. If a kid can't buy a PC, getting, like there's, you yeah. gotta show your ID uh -huh. for a PC. Capabilities that were very comparable to gaming PCs. Now, I'm okay. not saying the top of the line. Obviously, the top of the line, three thousand dollar gaming PCs still blow consoles away. But for the most part. The average, you know, gaming PC, when you compare it to the graphics that are now coming out of the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, they're not that much different. Okay. And so these companies said there is money to be made. And then they realized as consoles became more and more popular and gaming oh, PCs God. were becoming less popular because they were so expensive. Again, we're not even answering the question. That really the market to cater yeah, to we're really ducking and dodging here. Are you cool with it? Or is... Such as Street Fighter. Okay. okay. What's the question? Answer the yes, question, please. Their games come out first for Xbox 360 uh, and PS3. Okay. And sometimes, like in the case of, I believe, Street Fighter 4, it he didn't did ask for the history of this. Games, it was much later. Um, but look at other fighting games Tekken, Soul Calibur, oh my God. Virtual Fighter, uh, Guilty Gear, Blast Blue. No, Black, yeah, so you have to know <laughs> every <laughs> game we're talking Let's about before we can give you an answer. Keyboard. You're under the Blast. history. Blah, blah. There's a lot to be said that the gaming <laughs> PC is honestly on the way out. It really is. There will always it's be on the way out, dude. audience that love it and use Fuck it. it dude. And they're, they're happy to keep upgrading it and spending money on uh, it and get it at the top of the line of everything. But for the common person, they just don't have that money to drop anymore. The economy is bad. Oh, they don't have real to quick, just a quick, quick a thing. Um, last week's show, see this plastic bag? I believe that plastic bag has been sitting there all month. Um, I'm gonna make sure of that actually. So let's go. To yeah, 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 yeah. Check the. Yeah, check that. You're right. Yeah. You got a point here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's the same bag. <laughs> the plastic bag was sitting there for one whole month. <laughs> Amazing. Ups, dude. Who needs to clean up shit? Hell yeah. <laughs> one month. Jesus, hey, LT, you got an eye on you for yeah. as old as you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's money, and it needs constant upgrading to stay, you know, in line, as opposed to consoles with these developers. Oh my God, no! I have to check now. Was it there for two months? No. Uh, the Senate. Yes. The Senate. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> two months. All right, I'm going back. I'll go I'll back say one more. Months. There's no way it was three. There's, <laughs> There's no, no way. way. It can't be. Now, no, okay, oh. no, it's not there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was there for two months. Here, as you see on the screen, on the below it, there it is. 728, 825, 929. <laughs> we'll see next Jesus week Christ. if it's there for four. <laughs> Pushing the envelope. Get your bets in now, to folks. Yeah. Bag on desk uh, next uh, week or not. Of these consoles. <laughs> Just look at Gears of War 3. That's a four, well, Xbox 360 is one of the question. Five, Don't care. Old console. Uh, exclusive uh, games coming out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Great. They're amazing. The detail, the shadows, they're still pushing it. So they're focusing more on working with what's already there than worrying about what yeah. if I sell my game on PC with maxed out settings? How will Far more interesting now? than this goddamn they're question. They're <laughs> oh my God. He's bored himself. Checking my phone. Games these days. <laughs> consoles are beating them out massively. Massive. So yep. are they abandoning? Are these game developers abandoning the, 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 the hardcore gamers on gaming PCs? That wasn't the question at all. I don't know if it's more abandoning than just making a smart business decision and realizing that though those days of the hardcore... Gamer playing on a game he would never give this out. this uh, approach crowd, today. They're go for wherever the bigger audience a business is making money is uh, is evil to him that. now. Okay. Okay. Great question. Okay. Now we're past that one. Next question. Worst one of the day. Okay. Dear Phil, I've been a fan of your work for a long time, and uh -huh. particularly oh like your God. series The Hateful Truth. Get it's heavy you. rain. Blah blah blah. However, I have never seen you give a full ten out of ten score for any game. Uh oh. So my question is, have you ever played a game? In your entire life, that was so brilliant, you'd give it a perfect 10 out of 10 score. Okay, so I'm not going to ask what game it is. I'm going to ask, will he say he's played a 10 out of 10 game? No. 
I I agree with you. He's gonna say no. I haven't played a ten out of ten game. But if he does, I think mention it's perfect. One, he might say Chrono Trigger or Earthbound or Link to the Past. Yeah, uh, Chrono Trigger three. was my first yeah. my first thought. Yeah, he's gonna say nothing's perfect though. I bet. And if so, what was it? And why was that game so fantastic in your opinion? Thanks from Cyber Cyber Ewan, I believe his name is, or dude Ewan or Ewan. I think it's pronounced Ewan though. Okay, whatever. Um, good question. For me to rate a game 10 out of 10, really, it would have to be perfect or the most, the best version of whatever that genre of game is, okay? Okay. And it's going to be hard for me to ever score anything a 10 because I really feel that there's always room for improvement. I think there is. Um, yeah. It wasn't the question. That being said, I don't want to hey. look at myself and say, under no circumstance will I ever give no, anything The question was, have you okay? ever until so, now? So, games that have come close for me, these are going to be okay, ancient here we go. games So you guys. Here you know, we go. I would probably say the original Street Fighter uh, 2 series, simply because that is the... Oh, wait, real quick, real quick, real quick. Kind of interesting. You see how he knows yeah. his audience is young here? And he says, like, he's kind of, like, embarrassed about it. Like, you guys, this is going to be ancient, guys, okay? Sorry about that. It's kind of interesting. Watch, watch how he ha handles this. Game, so you guys, you know... See? I you see that? Say, He's kind of like embarrassed. Yeah. Of it, you know, like, yeah, well, he kind of waves it. Yeah. Uh. You guys might not know any of these games. I know you guys are young. Like, I he mean, clearly knows he is not his kid. You guys, you know. Well, I swear, if, as I long as that bag's been on the desk, uh, he's been talking about how uh, his audience is full of kids because yeah. they've got those stupid questions. So uh -huh. maybe yeah. he's coming to grips with it. Yeah, this time. Original Street Fighter uh, 2 series. Okay. Simply because that is the epitome of fighting games. That's where all further, uh, all future fighting games came from. And really, that is the origin of an entire genre of games. Okay. So you have to say, all right, that was the beginning. At that time when it was out, it was, it was perfect. It was the perfect fighter. And then after the years, obviously, things come out that are variations of it. And they, they're near perfect, possibly, but... So that Street Fighter 2 series of games was the beginning. Is that it? Um, and he couldn't Final suck Fantasy off VI, Street Fighter opinion, anymore if he tried. The original Final oh. Fantasy games before they went 3D. Oh, Final Fantasy 6? They got everything right between the amazing graphics that the that SNES is, pulled um, out. That is uh, the shit. It's a lint roller. Spencer, ask what the yellow cans are. The lint roller, and they uh, they don't move. They have not moved since we started the series. They've been there just like that. Uh, they never will. Yeah, That's they it. Never will. <laughs> Get used to them. Well, the soundtrack. <laughs> they will amazing. never be used. The we bought them as decorations. Uh, it was very meaningful. Gameplay. It wasn't just the standard. Oh, you have generic characters that you level up and give jobs or whatever. Okay. Every character had unique abilities that you could that that they had. Plus, you could. Give them custom magic. I mean, everything about the game. The story was amazing. amazing Just when absolutely. you think the story's done, the game doubles in length. Whoa. It, it, it was. It he would hate that today. It uh -huh. Perfectly. Too much content. It mess up his. Yeah, it messed up his schedule. Too much content. I thought I was going to be done. It's a hundred hours. And probably a close tie with Chrono Trigger. Hey, which is got one right. Hey, nice. Possibly giving a ten. Um, but. I'm not doing get fucked. On those yeah. games, uh, but those are close to what I would say were perfect okay. games. Okay, yeah. hateful truth on those games, uh, huh? possibly giving a ten. Um, but I'm not gonna do hateful truth on oh, those okay. games. Uh, okay. But those are close to what I would say were perfect okay. games. Okay. Next question. Hey Hurry. Phil, I have a question. Uh, with GGPO netcoding. Yes. I don't know what that oh is. Oh my god. Here we go, boys. This is what we're here for. GGPO netcode. What will he think of GGPO netcode? This is what the Cannon Brothers developed and it's still being used today. That's how awesome it is. This is in 2011. And they still use it today. Let's hear what he says. <laughs> netcode that was created for fighting games uh, by... The people who actually run Choyuken.com, which is like the mainstream uh, website for fighting games. Uh, I was banned from there four times. <laughs> in certain games, it's been used in Third Strike Online Edition and also in an upcoming game called Skullgirls, okay? Now, this hey, is, shout out Skullgirls. Hey. with the GGPO netcoding. Since everyone is all hyped up about it in Third Strike Online, I don't get it. Why do people think that GGPO is the best netcode for fighting games? <laughs> he wrote this question. Longer, maybe I was, go I was just not? about to say this is a fail <laughs> question. And as from M40 Assassin. Uh -oh. Questions must have been light this week. GGPO is different from other netcoding uh, because of the way that it's structured. Other netcoding, uh, net for coding. example, in Street Fighter 4, <clears throat> when you're in a laggy match, you can usually tell because you'll be playing and then all of a sudden... The game will slow down to a crawl, or yes, all of a sudden the game will freeze it. up and there'll be a lag spike, okay? Uh -huh. 
And that's traditional netcode. That's what happens. With they GGPO, tried to fight that. Uh -huh. It's coded in a way that it masks lag, meaning the lag still exists. Masks but lag. It tries to hide it. No, it doesn't. So you might okay. look at the game and there's no slowdown. <laughs> Hiding it. Yeah, yeah. Just, just hide it. Uh -huh. It puts a curtain in front of it so you can't see. Uh -huh. Usually would be with regular netcode. And you're like, wow, this game is lagless. When in reality, it's really not. Okay. Uh, what GGPO does okay, in here we case go. of extreme lag, it actually does what's called a run back or a pull back. Actually, roll back. Uh, which is basically, let's say, let's say third strike. You think he's mentioning you dice? A and a sure you can. Oh, oh that, that, if we get dice, it's going to be hype. Let's hear. <laughs> <laughs> that, that top cannon just rolls a dice and then it just chooses something. It's and crazy. It <laughs> the game, if there's lag at that moment, might not know what really happened and show you jump kicking and uppercutting the person. But then all of a sudden, and I'm not kidding, you'll see this. You'll even see some of this in go. my Third Strike Online gameplay if you look at it over at DHP Street Fighter. It'll show something on the screen, then take it back. You'll actually not hit, and it'll show the guy blocking, and his life will go away and then regenerate. And you're like, what the fuck was that? It's like so weird. Uh -huh, and okay. some people are fooled by it and think that this is like the best netcode. It really is. They're fooled it's by it. <laughs> They're morons. They're fooled by it. Probably better than the netcode from the other shitty games like Street Fighter okay. 4 and Marvel vs. Capcom. Interesting. So he thinks it's the best option right now. Three, but it's still not great. It still uh. has the same lag issues, dropped inputs. It oh, just of course he would say that. Dropped inputs, dude. It does a really good job of masking it. <laughs> ah. And so that's why a lot of people say, oh, it's the best. They think it's the best because it looks the best. But when you're actually playing in a competitive setting, you'd understand it has the same issues as all other netcode. So, okay, yeah, okay but if it, it, hang yeah. on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> so it has the same problems, but it looks better. Does that not make it the best? It sounds like he kind of said it was the best, but he didn't come out. He didn't say it straight, but he kind of said it in a sideways manner. Like it was the best of the options, but it still has the same problems, but it looks the best. But then well, you could say that about anything <laughs> yeah. forever, right? Like, well, yeah, yeah, it's great now. It's the best option we have, but it could be better. Like, yeah, yeah dude, everything could be better eventually. Well, you what is that? Yeah, so he still at this moment thinks it's the best. I think that's clear, but... Question. Here we go. Uh, hey, Phil. Hope everything went well with Hurricane Irene. Didn't cause you too much trouble. You can tell that <laughs> question's a little old and dated, but yeah, everything's <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, fucked it. Uh, I just got my A-level results, which is what we use in the UK, to decide whether a university will take you. Needless to say, I got well over what I needed. Two A... Oh, God. A stars this is Sam, by and the way. two A's, and this I'm not probably getting Sam. off to university in October. <laughs> Thanks, I don't have Sam. any idea nice what question. that means, but it sounds good. Yeah, way to go, Sam. Good, so congratulations. <laughs> got the college. Congratulations, dude. Awesome. And you got to be a dentist? That's pretty yeah. robust of you. Uh -huh. Being a university graduate yourself, do you have any advice for someone going oh, to university God. college? And going oh, to we're going to get a college? Right, let's go. For the first time. Hope you're well. Regards from Hazard. Um... Uh, my guess for this is going to be uh, because he's got. He always says like college not that important because look what he's doing. You know, it doesn't help me at all. So I mean, I don't know. But he's going to say like try your best, but don't take it too seriously. That's what I'm guessing. And he guesses from we're on the like, same wavelength tonight. I'm telling you because yeah. I was just thinking like you need to find a balance. Like do good, but don't like think that it's everything because it's not like <laughs> yeah, yeah, that kind of bullshit. Now, of course, you have to understand. Then my answer is going to be in perspective of U.S. colleges and universities. Okay. Um, I never went to school in, uh, in England. I don't know what kind of difference there will be. I don't okay, know. But very strange. So I don't really know. Good tips for you. I would say number one. Okay, here we go. Be very careful what you eat when you're there. Because when I <laughs> what? went to my college, to <laughs> I didn't expect health. All right, cool. That's a big. Bring up. lots of baby be powder. Very um. <laughs> Bring ass powder. You do sweat a lot. What you eat when you're there. Okay. Because when I went to my college, yeah. there was cafeteria food. It uh -huh. was awful. It was probably the worst food you could eat. Really bad hot dogs, <laughs> nachos. You know, you're talking the worst of the okay. worst. Things that, you know, you will gain weight Hell significantly yeah. if you eat this bad food. Freshman so, 15, dude. I would say you try to plan they out say. a way you can eat healthy. <laughs> While you're there. I didn't even have to go to college when I got a freshman 15. It was they very the robust. Nice. 15, right? Oh, there it is. I saw people put on like 30 pounds within Whoa. the first year of college. How about you? They're not living at home. You know, they're not eating nice, healthy, home cooked food from their family. They don't have the discipline to They're not a, on a rum and coke diet like, like me. Uh -huh. Shit all day. Yeah. And it's just you? not good for you, okay? Stay away from the fried cafeteria foods. Okay, great. In addition man. to that, 
Be careful with your partying. I definitely actually condone that you party while you're there because this is part of your life. It's oh, thank you. Oh, party, party, party sign yeah, Phil. Yeah. You should have fun, but do it in moderation. Don't go overboard and definitely don't get caught. <laughs> because if there's any kind of an age limitation there and you're doing it and you're not of the age, you could lead to some serious consequences, okay? So be very careful and uh, just don't go crazy. Have fun, but also be responsible at the same okay. time. Don't blow off your studies. Don't you know you're there to study. Primarily you're there to learn. Learn while you're there, but also have fun. Okay. Don't I would say actually take this as an opportunity to branch out, meet other people. And, and actually evolve Whoa. a little bit as a person, as opposed to don't just focus on the studies, don't just focus on the party. This is ironic. Everything yeah. in moderation. That's my advice for okay. people who are just starting college. Everything King in moderation. of moderation. Whatever. Next question. Uh, Dear Phil, if a convention in a different state, for example Texas, were to invite you and or John Rambo to do a panel or speak about gaming, professional fighting, gaming, etc., yes, would they you ask want me. to attend? If you were able to, of course. Because uh, the convention I, I'm, I am on staff for May is why I'm asking. And that's from Kai Dragoon. Um, Get help. Good question. And my answer is it would depend on a lot of factors. Obviously, How first of all, what time of the year this, this convention is going on, what we already have going on at that time. Uh -huh. um, but also, you know, what, do you really feel that there, we would be a draw if we went to this convention to speak? Would no. Would be there? Or is it just, you know, if you're just a fan and you just want me to be there and only five people are going to show up, <laughs> probably not worth it, you know what I mean? Especially since we'll be flying out to Texas. Yeah, what does that say about you, you though? That only that, five that, people would yeah. show up. How is this up? What? I don't understand this. If, if, <laughs> am I going to get a lot of people or what? You got to let me know. How am I supposed to know? Just come. Come to the, you know, you don't, what are they supposed to guarantee an audience for you? It's weird. It's a very strange thing. We're awesome. taking down names. I want to count. I want to head yeah. count before I get there. RSVP only. Uh, like what? That's not your job. Panel. Uh, or have us, you know, do uh, some kind of a, uh, a segment, you know, oh, talking about right. what we do and answering questions, stuff like that. Absolutely, we would consider doing it. In fact, we're going to do something like that at MAGFest coming oh. up in January. Standing room only. Well, and that's down in Maryland. So we would definitely consider it. Um, but obviously, it depends on a lot of things. Okay, I'm not saying definitely yes. We need to see logistically, you know, what's going on, cost and whatever. Uh, the good thing for us is that that kind of trip is a business expense. So I could probably... Yeah. Get away Fight with that you know, off. writing it off on my taxes. And yeah. It be yeah. Uh, Hell awesome. yeah. So, absolutely. If it's Anyone a write off, we're good. Possibly having me do something like that, or John Rambo, or anyone else, you know, that I'm involved in. Send me some information. We'll, we'll talk about it a little bit and we'll go from there, okay? Okay. okay. We have time for about one more question here. Uh, next question is from Single Cell 55. And his question is Phil, what are the five worst games that you played in your entire YouTube career? So I guess that would be starting in 2008. Oh, uh, who cares? All right. Uh, uh, I can tell you right off the top of my head Kano Lynch 2, care. completely worthless game. Army of Two, the 40th day, horrendous fucking game. Body Count, not even functional. What? He hated Army of Two, the 40th campaign. day? <laughs> Conduit 2, Conduit 2, which is just a complete fucking clusterfuck mess. You could tell no effort was really put into it, or the effort that was was misguided. Uh, awful, awful game. Okay. Number five, I'm not so sure. Number five, I mean, I, there's some other games I disliked a lot, but I don't know if I could say it was one of the worst. Uh, I'd be curious to see what other people would say or would be my fifth worst game. So let me know. Post up comments on this video and let me know what you think. Let me know what my fifth Maybe worst game is, guys. Uh, yeah, you tell me. Head, yep. those the comment below. <laughs> They're all okay, 4.5 so uh, mixed one. bags. Uh, we're going to have a full two-parter this week uh, or this month. So uh, I will be back with part two of Ask the King. Stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Okay. Oh, not that yet. Uh, Wait, not that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Too early for you. <laughs> Part two. Yeah, I thought Let's that go. was only. Welcome I thought there was only a part one. I was like, we're done already. No, uh, no. Part two. <laughs> come on. Part two of Ask the King for episode seventeen, uh, September 29th, twenty ninth, twenty eleven. Still not haven't figured uh, out this shirt yet. No, I know it's very. I actually want. Someone has to know in the chat. Come on, chat. Don't let us down. What? What the fuck is a shirt? It has to be a gamer shirt. That's all he fucking wears. But I don't get it. To address and give some time to talk about. So uh, I'm glad that I did. And uh, let's get right into it. Okay. Uh, first question. Also, I want to point out on uh, his five Phil, worst games real quick. He was like, "Oh, I could name them right now," and then couldn't come up with a fifth. I just thought that was <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah. How are you going to be that confident and uh -huh. then immediately just lose it? Actually, I need you guys' help. Tell me what what game did I hate the most? Thank you down below. Consider right. doing a podcast. 
Fans would be able oh, to. God. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> in podcasts. Fans would be. Uh, <laughs> oh, just wait. Uh, how many more years from this day? Eight, wait 11 years from this moment. You'll get a podcast. Be able to. Uh, you'll get you'll get one of the podcasts of all time. Uh huh. He forgot a word. That's why I, I just yeah, I forgot a word. Dumb yet. fuck. Fans will be able to listen to you and or your friends on the way to work, for example. Oh, no. Personally, and I think it would be great to be able to hear you talk about gaming news. Uh, oh. Wow. You probably heard about the podcast too. Uh -huh. uh, personally, I think it would you be will. great to be able to hear you talk about gaming news and topics. Oh wow. Something completely different, like the Cooking with the King podcast. Oh, here we go again with the cooking show. How do you do a podcast? Uh, keep it cooking? coming from cheesy spread. I mean, real well, real people, real cooks can, but how's he got to? I was just about to say cooking? a chef, <laughs> yeah. a chef definitely could, but this guy absolutely yeah. not. What is he gonna tell you about how he buys like pre cooked meat and stuff? Yeah, I always buy the pre cooked <laughs> chicken. It's really great. <laughs> when you're a gamer. my mom buys this QVC meals, I would definitely <laughs> recommend those. Yeah, how's he gonna do that? Thank you for the question. Thanks for the question, Dumb Um it's not that, you know, I don't want to do something like that. I think uh -oh. it would be cool to talk about a variety of topics, no gaming-related and also other things. Um, <clears throat> but as you know, pretty much right now my schedule is every single day play games for several hours, upload videos. Sunday, John comes over. We film smart guys. Then we do co-op gameplay. Sunday usually is a weird day. Either I'm at a tournament or maybe I go to dinner with my parents. I try to squeeze in some game in there. So my schedule has been pretty freaking busy since I've been doing this Thank you, I will. Um... That doesn't mean that necessarily I won't branch out and do something like a podcast. In fact, if you haven't seen it yet, John Rambo does have a podcast. He started last week. He'll have a new episode out tomorrow. It's called The Show. The Show? The show. Yeah, yeah, shout out The Show. Yeah. John, who he calls OJ. And I listened to one of those. I wasn't a fan. About the gaming schedule, yeah, it's what really rough. By the end of the year. The year uh, what games they were interested in. What games they're probably going to buy. And a little bit of uh, information in there. I think this week they're going to be talking... Okay, uh, about games that John's played. I think he played X-Men Destiny this week just like I did. He's going to review it. I think they want to talk a little bit more about other things going on. So right now, that's kind of what John's doing. He's getting a podcast going. And uh, I think he's having a little bit of difficulty figuring out how to get it on iTunes. I think he wants to get it on iTunes and then see even possibly... Uh, hey, yes, he was. 50 cents. If people want to you know, listen to it once a week, pay 50 cents... Or maybe do a subscription. Yeah, he goes on for the uh, Thanksgiving yeah, show. Uh, and he also went on once. We I, we listened to it with Snood. I listened to it. He They went to a movie review segment, and Phil came on to talk about The Lion King. Because he really does fucking love The Lion King. It's not a meme. He, he says it many times how much he loves The Lion King. Uh, and he, he said it was like the, he cried during that or something. It really affected him, The Lion King. He really was a big movie in his life. Uh, big ups to Uckbuck, who says, John Rambo, John Rambo, John Rambo, absolutely. And uh, thanks to the legend in the chat that let me know how to search for this. We have the shirt. Uh, it is a vintage yeah. God of War shirt. Uh, if you want to buy it now, it's 100 bucks. But there it is, the God of War shirt. Looking pretty fly, dude. Look at that. That's what it is. No back on that, though? Whack. The back is white, yeah. The back is Whack. white. They could have had the design go all the way around. That would have put some oomph in it. Come on now. Uh huh. This is a very, it's a vintage Hanes. Hell yeah. Love this. All right. Back to it. Um, but I think he's having problems figuring out how to do that. Now, I know nothing about it. I've never touched iTunes besides downloading <laughs> one or two songs. At like what? So iTunes is on the I way have out. I no idea dude. how that works. Um, but so wait, I don't know how to use iTunes except for the time I used iTunes. I don't know how that works. Okay. One or two songs at one point. So I have no idea how that works. Um, but oh, he'll get real familiar real soon, though. Don't you worry. At some uh -huh. point. Um, or maybe maybe I'll branch out and do something like that. Who knows? So we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll it's see. definitely a consideration. Thanks for the interest. And we'll see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> uh, next question says, <laughs> hey, Phil. Hey, I'm Phil. Planning, are you planning us... On updating the situation of your merchandise. I mean, you haven't oh, talked God, about, yeah. it, about it much, about what's new. We're still in this predicament up, now. How business is going <laughs> overall with the merchandise. That's from Nightmare Crow. Very good point. And I guess it's okay. not, I really haven't mentioned the merchandise in a long ass time at this point. It's been like months upon months. I can't even remember the last time I mentioned it. It's probably like either the spring or even before that. Um,. Here's the deal. I really just, I, I'm not a graphic designer, as you know, and I don't oh. have time. To put stuff together to make merch. Now, okay. oh my God. I do have a someone make it for me. Is where we're going with this. If you make yep. it, I'll sell it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I do have a section on the forum. If you do the work, I'll make the money. Uh -huh. 
and there have been a couple people who submitted stuff, but really there wasn't, you know, an overwhelming amount of people submitting things that could that would be, you know, a good shirt or anything like that for merch. So really what's on there is on there, and if you don't know about it, it's cafepress.com slash darksidephil, uh, and it, it's really just the same stuff that's been on there since early this year. I haven't updated it at all, um, nor have I really bought any of it to, to wear in videos. I have some of the shirts, and uh, neither have I promoted it. The reason is a couple reasons. Number one, the only reason I really did that, and this is unlike a lot of other people. A lot of people have asked me questions about shirts and stuff and yeah. other people, what they do. I'm not promoting people that People ask stuff. me you know, questions really about stuff. shirts and stuff. My fans actually ask All right, well, since he said it, let's check out what it looked like back in that time. So I got the closest look at this time he's talking about, literally like as close as I could to this Ask the King as possible. 2011, this is cafepress.com slash DSP. And we got uh, I we got the I hate that hateful truth DSP nonsense. This dark this dark side fill logo you can't read what's on it. Let's face it, we all hate the sun. Protect your exposed dome with these cool DSP hats. I love DSP copy; it's the best. <laughs> Find all kinds of dark side fill shirts within logos, graphics, slogans, and more. Oh, intimate apparel. This is what you're after. Okay, let's get some oh, intimate yeah. apparel. I'm clicking Anyone it. who's got dark side fill underwear, I'll give you a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I don't link. care if they're used. Oh, uh, link works, but not the images. Oh, okay, some work, some work. All right, we got um, swag run what? dark side fill boxer brief run bitch. I've never seen that logo. That's new to me. Yeah, it, that doesn't look like his style at all. What the fuck is that? All right, um. Okay, there goes that. We have boxer short. This is all intimate, by the way. Intimate apparel. That's the only logo that works on that screen. Uh, we do have everything. What's Revo? Revolution? Super, Super Revo? What? Re oh, the, oh, the Stein is here, but that's not even the Stein he has. Yeah. What's Revo? I'm not paying $100 for that Stein. That's junk. This is fifteen ninety nine. Oh God! Look at the. If we can go back to that, those prices. Yeah, no shit. Heft the cold one with this twenty two ounce ceramic stein with gold trim. A great usable alternative to the trophy. Make any day Oktoberfest. Whether this is impressive stein on the shelf or in hand. Cheers. <laughs> oh, you're right, Mister Stuff. Of course, Super Evil, the John Rambo Howard site to bring Super Trooper to. Yep, that's it. That is fucking it. So this is, I mean, this is most of the merch's Revo shit. Look at this. Hateful Truth is so little. Because I guess he's not a graphic designer. Let's check out the sweatshirt and hoodies real quick. I, I can't resist. Well, I can tell from that one right there it looks uh, terrible. I'm uh, not buying well. anything that has one little rectangle on it. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at these. Dark Side Phil Scrub Woman's ra Raglan Hood. I think it says Pimp on it. It definitely says Pimp. Okay. Pimp what? Pimp? This is just pimp. Is that just it? Is this how is this DSP related? Art by the burly strapper. <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, no image. God. Oh, here he is. It works. Yeah, pimp. Just pimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's just pimp. That isn't DSP related. How could you do? How dare you? Sporty, stylish, Early ultra trying. soft. Uh, this, this, yeah, Phil's not writing this. This must be the standard. The zip-up hoodie is side seam for a contoured fit. Yeah, he's not writing that. All right. Well, we're done, I guess. But great. Uh, great merch here. So we need to update this, someone suggests. That's why we're working on it. Asked right. me to do it. My fans contacted me. I just want to know who's this buying a shirt that just says Pimp. Pimp. Yeah. Phil. You have to get Right now, we're big fans. <laughs> Christmas is coming up, and we really would have liked to have been able to get maybe like a T-shirt or something from you, and you don't have anything. Yeah. So Cafe Press contacted me, and for free I put up this this merch store, but uh, I really haven't done anything with it. It's not for me. I make almost zero on it. Okay, ah, I make like a dollar on every item I sell. So unless I was selling thousands of items, I'm not going to make any money on it. And honestly, so, no, I'm not selling uh, thousands not worth of it. items. Got it. Even when I was pushing it, I only sold maybe 30, 40 things a month, so it really wasn't. Oh, damn. Well, that's thirty, forty dollars, dude. Jesus, thirty, forty a month. That's insane merch sales. That's insane. Income for me, 
And like I said, it wasn't like there was an overabundance of. That is quite a bit, isn't it? That's a you got to convince somebody to spend twenty dollars on a shirt or whatever. Yeah. Since then, I actually did talk to a company who contacted me. I didn't contact them. They okay. contacted me and said that they wanted me to maybe promote their shirts, and also they were going to make me a line of shirts to okay. sell, and that would have been a little bit more lucrative for me, and the shirts would have been much higher quality, it would have cool logos and sayings of mine and stuff on them, and I was interested, and then all of a sudden, like two months ago, they just never contacted me. <laughs> Ghosted. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, Atlas, I'm sure you get these emails too, like, I love your channel. Talk, re please contact us. We can help your channel in so many ways. You know, you always get those fucking emails, you know? I'm sure it was that. Yeah, Listen, probably. Uh, I can't. I cannot relate. No, no, I don't have an email link to anything. Nobody is messaging. Me. Oh, okay. That's I, the I'm way not to do having it. it. I always get those emails. <laughs> like, oh, we love your channel. It's like you know, they. It's the same standard email they always get. And Phil Price saw that and was like, oh man, they're really into me. Cool. Hey guys. I'm about to make so much money, you guys. <laughs> Looks like I got to do something. <laughs> oh fuck! Quarter demon boys. <laughs> He's right with Derek. Watch out, Derek. That explains a lot about I Derek. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I don't know. I can tell you this. I know this by the corner fact, demon. It would sell more shirts if I promoted their stuff more than they're selling. They probably doubled their sales uh -oh. because I have such a large audience. But oh, yes. for whatever reason, they dropped the ball and they haven't uh -huh. contacted me again. They dropped so, the ball. I really am not focusing on merch right now. I know it would be nice to have stuff to sell. Missed out on their cash cow DSP. You'd have made them, them so much money, you guys. Want. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not a pushing product on people. You know what I mean? Uh, it's funny when I go to these gaming conventions. It's funny. I see other web gaming websites and stuff. Ew. Oh, buy our DVD, buy our shirt, buy this, yeah, buy that. They have a That's fucking not even table. What I'm, there for. I'm there to just have fun and to cover the convention. And, you know, all I really want people to do is watch my videos. That's it. I don't care about so pushing product down people's throats. And I'm not. I don't Dude, this, this, a fan is literally saying, like, I wish you had more stuff to sell. Can you please have more stuff to sell? I'm just not about that, dude. <laughs> what? Like this is this is why he failed. He had so many chances to make so much more, but he was always happy I, with what he had, doing the little, the least work possible. I was thinking that same thing earlier when someone was like, "Oh, are you gonna go on like PKA or collab with other people?" And he was like, "I don't know who these people are. I don't watch other YouTubers. Like that's part of your problem. You don't know what other people are doing, and you're falling way behind. You don't even know." I know. It's, it, Come on, this is not, it's the opposite of shilling. This dude is saying, please, I want to buy your stuff. I, I just don't do that, dude. I mean, one person emailed me. I was like, what? Then they ghosted me, huh? Like, come on. I don't have a revenue base based off of that. I'm based off of just watch the video. Yeah, so for me, it won't last forever. It's never been a real focus. Out. I really don't have much coming up in the merch department. Unless I get contacted by this company again, I had all <laughs> these plans and ideas, and then they just. He's still holding out for this one company. There, to write, yeah, email me. It is just what it email is. me, guys. Okay. Email Don't me. Call. Next question here. <laughs> there we go. And this is a good one that I oh, want to talk great about. Great one. Thank God. It says, Dear DSP, last week Sony amended the PlayStation 3 Terms of Service to include a little oh, footnote that no. says you are no longer allowed to enter into a class action lawsuit against the company if you plan on using PlayStation Network ever again. While this is kind of annoying, it's just the first of many. EA also has jumped on that bandwagon and agreeing to their terms of service for a oh game will actually God. waive your right to trial by jury. What? How do you feel about the uh, recent terms of service charges made by... What? A trial by jury? What? I don't know. Whatever. Sony, EA, Steam, and others. Uh -huh. That question is from Stunted. Good question. It's stunted. despicable. Stunted. You had no, something stunted. No, ALT, stop. <laughs> You're something <laughs> stunted on you, Stunted. <laughs> Pissed off about it. Oh, I'm flipping pissed. Oh yeah, country, dude. United so States angry. Right Fuming. The fact you're innocent until proven guilty, and everyone, everyone deserves a everyone. trial by jury. Okay. What these companies are telling you uh -oh. now is that you, if you want to use their services, PlayStation Network, play an EA game online, you're gonna completely waive all of your legal rights. So if Sony tomorrow sells. Your personal information to uh, Afghani terrorists. Oh. And Afghani terrorists uses <laughs> your information to, to buy oh. bombs and to promote terrorism over in the Middle East. Oh, yeah. Sony says, oh, you oh. signed the user agreement on PSN that says you can't do anything about it. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> fuck you. And it's despicable. We should have the, the ability to legally go after companies, entities, corporations who injure us. 
<laughs> and these corporations are now finding these fucking loopholes and ways. Loophole. How many people honestly? Terms of service. Remind and by me, the terms way, of service. just so everyone knows, yeah, I have something you're supposed to read. Since they instituted this policy, here's what they did. Uh -oh. You can't. When you auto log on to your PlayStation 3, it doesn't log you into PlayStation Network anymore. It gives you an error message that says you must manually log in in order to connect the PlayStation Network. And the reason they log did that in. is because they want you to sign this terms of service yeah. on PlayStation yeah. Network saying you wait. It's so that you don't access that you don't th know that you're not agreeing to something. Yep. However, there's a little problem with this. Uh -oh. Okay. And they, this is where they're probably the reason they did it. Number one, it's not you can't do that and have it be retroactive. So if I go on, if you go and sign that right now, and then you find out your personal information was used in a, in a negative way because of that uh, PlayStation Network hacking earlier this year, you could still sue them. So okay. this term service is not, it's not retroactive. Number two, I really, really have a hard time believing that if there's negligence and misuse of your personal information, regardless of whatever fucking term of service that you, you digitally sign, I don't think it's going to hold up in court. I think that why probably, are we air quoting digitally signed? You're allowed to do that. Really significant damages to your identity, for example, if your identity was stolen. Okay, so what's the problem then? If you don't think it stands up in court, then fuck it then. Who cares? I don't think that they could they could have that. Okay, as a so that's no I think problem that the then. Courts would say, <laughs> yeah. no, fuck your digital term of service. It's not a real contract. It's a piece of fucking text you put on a screen that okay. no one. Uh, can yeah, Your Honor, uh, it's understand. a piece of bullshit text. <laughs> yeah, it's just text on a screen. Okay. Okay, I, I read this on my iPad. That, that's tech, it's digital text. It means nothing. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, it means nothing. Bet the 13-year-old who owns a PlayStation 3 to read a legal document and understand that he's signing away his legal rights. Your Honor, my client Network. would like to say this is fucking bullshit. Yes. Um, the judge said, yes, this is fucking bullshit. Throw this out. Thank complete you. complete joke, and it's a farce. And I really, I think they're doing it to try to protect themselves just in case someone like Sony gets hacked again, uh, that they can't get sued. But... I don't think it will hold up in court. Okay, I don't, count, so then don't, don't worry quote then. me on that. I'm not a lawyer, but from everything that I've experienced from law and U.S. law, I don't think it would hold up. But I think what have you experienced in U.S. law? <laughs> everything I've experienced in U.S. law. That did their job from day one to protect your information, that maybe they wouldn't need to have these tricky fucking terms of service wedged into you, your, your ability to use PlayStation Network uh -huh. and other online capabilities Great. for other games. It's a joke, and it's just their complete it's irresponsibility. Right. They don't want to put in the responsibility to protect your information, and then they don't want to be legally liable when they fuck up. So I completely disagree with it. I think that everyone should have the right uh -huh. to Debo. try to you know, seek some kind of repercussion for a company misusing your personal information. Some and kind I don't of think that they should be allowed okay. to be putting those contracts so into their channel. Put them in jail or something. I don't know. That you digitally sign when you log into their services. Digitally. I think Yep, it's absurd. Thank you. Great and I'm not too happy about it. Those well. are absurd. Uh, next question. <laughs> uh, what would you call your fans? Like a name for, for us subs. Uh, kind of like what a few people on YouTube do. For example, Yogacast called their subscribers Yognauts. Or Sly Foxhound calls his subs homies. What would you... Okay. What are we guessing here? <laughs> I know we say dense, but... Oh, he's going to say hate army. He could say hate, hate army. army. Yeah. I think you're right. I, that's the best answer. Like, what would we be called? Thanks for your time. The true answer is dense, we all know, but I think you might say hate army. Yeah. Dance, also known as XX Morose X. Shout out to hate. Okay. Shout um, out to hate. Actually, years upon years ago, I mean, we're talking probably like 2004, 2005. This is before YouTube, way before. When I was just in the Street Fighter community, I actually had my own website uh, that was, it wasn't the King of Hate Yeah, what well, was it? Top Haters. Yes, it was. It was a parody of an elitist fucking website of a group of players from the West Coast. Uh-oh. They were better than everyone else and made the game yep. top players. Ha-ha. And we're going to put... And they didn't include you, so you made tophaters.com. Uh-huh. At least you're telling the truth about that. How, How sad is that, though? Uh-huh. That's incredibly yep. sad. Yep. <laughs> He was too pissed about the. <laughs> he was hated so much they didn't include him on topgamers.com, so he's pissed. He's like, yeah, I'm top haters. Let's do top haters. No one gave a shit. No one joined his I'll website. I make my own website. Yeah, no one cared. Wow. And he, that was one of the reasons he got banned is because he told people in SRK, please stop by my website, which was against t terms of service, obviously. <laughs> we thought they were better than everyone else and made a game called Top Players. Ha-ha. And we're going to put up footage of us playing games. It was just like a really cocky thing. Very so cocky. I top haters to make fun of them. <laughs> Big up and the next thing you know, my website became more popular than theirs because <laughs> of a joking no, it know, didn't. website. No, it didn't. Basically making fun of stuff like that. No, it and, did not. Uh, 
I that's the one where he was yeah. posting up about yeah. uh, Black Friday sales uh -huh. or whatever. He complained <laughs> many, many times about how no one visits that site. So don't, please don't tell me this. It got bigger than that. Yeah. People who subscribe to the website and the mailing list to hate Army. And I thought that was a really cool name, hey. hate Army, you know. But I refrained from saying anything like that since I started YouTube because a lot of people can say, oh, hate, hate is such a bad thing. And now you're promoting, promoting racial hate. I didn't want uh -huh. kids, you know, you know, you're a teenager, and next thing you know, your mom comes in, you're part of what? The hate army? What are you, a neo-Nazi <laughs> or some shit like that? Now, that's obviously not what it is, uh. but I still think that's a cool name, you know, the hate army. People who hate are army. the king of hate, and, uh, you know, you watch my videos, and you're part it's of the It's the hate army, bro. That's the best one. <laughs> so on and so forth. So I, I love that, that one. That yeah, he, re cool he really got the, the best one on the intro, that's no lie. Yeah. But, All right, yeah, it's, it's, since, since we're here, we got to hear it. Let's just hear the intro. All right, thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate it. <laughs> God, that. it's so good. It's so good. It's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. That guy. guy. <laughs> Shout out to hate. 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 That is so bad. Fucking Mark would... I ahead. showed my girlfriend yours the other day. I was yeah. like, this is the guy I do this mine stream with. Mine was the with. worst. I, hate, I cringe <laughs> at mine. Mark One is such a badass. He has so much personality. It's the hate on me, bro. I get shit out the heat. I hate it. I, never really <laughs> I hate that, that really shit. Named my fans, per se. Um, but maybe maybe that, that's a cool thing to do. I don't know. Yeah, name your so fans. So in 2011, yeah. he acknowledges that being part of the hate army sounds like a neo-Nazi thing. But uh -huh. he's still calling himself the king of hate, as if that's not also kind of sounding like a... Nazi thing. Makes Very sense. cool. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do it with some Next mental question. gymnastics real quick. You're starting to get and it. This actually is an important one that I do want to Oh, know. important one. Uh oh. Hey, Phil, I'm pretty sure you know about now about how Spooky had, well, no, how Spooky was held at the border for having his gear confiscated, preventing him from being able to stream anything from now to whenever Homeland Security decides to get it out of, its head out of its ass oh. and learns how to use the internet. First of all, do you think, what do you think about uh, a website like Kotaku actually making an article about this and calling him a pro-gaming caster? And second, what are your overall thoughts on what went down in respect to the political climate the United States is currently in? Uh -huh. And what do you think uh, you and your viewership can do to change this? And that's from Mize. Um, here's this question, question sucks. We yeah, didn't start yet. Sucks. It's important. <laughs> I think he's going to say, like, like Kotaku called him a professional game caster. He's like, they shouldn't say that. Uh, what, what is he? Sue Spooky. He's nothing. He's going to be pissed at Spooky's, like, uh, like his famous level. He's going to be pissed. Yeah, at his that. clout. Yeah, he's yeah, pissed yeah. that this guy's got more clout. Kotaku doesn't know what they're talking about. Yeah, it's going to be like that. Team Spooky is a group of gamers who I'm friends with. Min oh. is part of that team. Friends. By the way. Everyone knows Min. Uh, who go around I don't and know they stream... Street Fighter tournaments. Yeah, Min, okay. Min uh, so he, is in one of his videos. Uh, he, he was one of those tournament videos. He is an Asian style gentleman. But yeah. He, who is, his, his name is Vic. Never um, mind, I know Min. Guy. He's the one who really <laughs> controls all of the equipment and everything. Went up to a Canadian tournament this past weekend to cover it, and he streamed the whole event. As he's on his way back, he's on a bus, and they bring him to Buffalo, New York, where then he hits the Department of Homeland Security, Customs, or whatever. They see the stuff you're bringing back into the country. Canada. So they start looking at his stuff. Okay. And they start questioning him. What is this laptop for? What is this camera for? What are these wires for? And he told them, I'm a, I'm a, a, a gaming streamer, a gaming <laughs> caster. I go around gaming. the United States, Canada, and I stream. I can understand why he got into trouble when he said it like that. I'm uh -huh. like, gaming? <laughs> Apparently, like he doesn't even know. Like, uh -huh. It blew their fucking mind uh -huh. so much yeah. that someone would do that. That they didn't believe him. And they said, well, we're going to keep all your equipment and we're going to investigate to make sure that you're not a terrorist. Okay. Now, I just want to say this. Uh -oh. The Department of Homeland uh -oh. Security is purely funded by taxpayer dollars. So my money okay. is being wasted right now oh, to look okay. through Spooky's laptop and watch his footage from Street Fighter tournaments. This is what our country is focusing on. This is, why do you think... We have all these fucking problems. Uh -oh. We have inept people doing these jobs. Anyone, anyone who works for Department of Homeland Security should have said, what do you do? And he says, well, I stream this stuff over the Internet. It's tournament footage. The first question out of their mouth should have been, well, can you prove it? To which Spooky would have said, sure. I have hundreds of hours of footage on my laptop. 
Or if you connect me to the internet, I'll show you my Just In TV channel, which is now Twitch TV channel. This and I'll show you the thousands upon thousands of videos there, the hours of Remember when I said this there. question sucked? And they yeah. immediately would have seen that. I'll and buy it. I'll check it out. Streaming, so, okay, <laughs> go on. I checked in out already. To this, he's been in and out of Canada before with this equipment. There is my taxpayer a, dollars. You're funding this. Going in and out of that country with this equipment before. Only now do they decide that there's a problem and they have to confiscate his equipment. Okay. Uh, okay. It's Makes ludicrous. Sense. It's going it's through customs, it dude. What do you want? Trained our personnel are here, uh -huh. and it's just a joke. Yeah. For them to be harassing someone and now keeping his equipment. Keep in mind, he was supposed to stream stuff this week. He's got Devastation, which is a very large-scale tournament in Arizona he was going to go to and stream. He's got uh, the week after Devastation is yeah. Season of Beatings in Ohio. Uh, what, is he, what, if, what would Phil do if he to prove what he does? Yeah, sir, please bring up Lip TV. I'll show you my Dead Place 2 playthrough. Okay, yeah, you go right ahead, sir. <laughs> okay, this is legitimate. Send him through, guys. <laughs> well, how would he prove it? <laughs> yeah, a great point, by the way, Captain Day After Day. We saw Phil's... Uh, uh, border patrol skills and papers, please. And he led through basically everyone possible. So, yeah, he should be talking shit about their job. Biggest tournaments in the, in the country right now. If he well, dude, he knew the taxpayers' dollars were funding his uh, lifestyle, so uh -huh. he needed to just let everybody through. Good Didn't point. want to waste their money. his equipment back, he can't do it. Uh -huh. And the Department of Homeland Security legally has the right it. to hold his stuff for 30 legally. minutes. Oh, and by the way, uh -oh. they don't ever have to give it back. They can just say, oh, we suspect that there's some kind of terrorism involved. And keep it forever. That's the law in our country. Because we passed sucks, I'm not the Homeland lie. Security Act, we gave up all of our freedoms and all of our rights <laughs> uh -huh. because of terrorism. Oh, and now <laughs> terrorism. anyone can confiscate anything from us. Yep. What the flaming fuck uh -oh. are we thinking? Our government is fucking idiotic. Okay. They're so yeah, terrified dude. of terrorism, which is the point of terrorism. It's not really to hurt you. It's to make you afraid. And the terrorists uh, won in that regard. I'm pretty I, sure uh, the terrorists hurt a lot of people sometimes, too. I mean, they sometimes do hurt people. It's a little people. more than being scared. It's a... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they hurt people. Uh, I mean, that's 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 let's get it straight here. The entire country is so fucking. I like that he did the uh, Counter Strike line though. Uh, terrorists win. Yeah. Like, like, hell yeah, dude. Okay, now, CT get that... fucked. <laughs> Stupid shit like this happens. A fucking gaming laptop that you could have evidence on it of what it's for gets confiscated, and now someone gets completely fucked over who is well respected in the gaming community, and right. it's not fair. Yep. And I'm really upset about it. Uh, I am. What are you gonna I, do? I, again, the thing I'm most upset about is my money, my taxpayer oh, dollars God. are paying for. Of those course, it's his money. Stupid uh. morons to do this kind of stuff. Why don't you worry about what? Bob? You know, <laughs> has there ever been a gaming laptop? You <laughs> gotta hear that again. Why don't you worry about bombs? Are paying for those fucking stupid yeah. morons to do this kind Here of stuff. Here we go. Why don't you worry about bombs? You know, <laughs> has there ever been a gaming Dramatic laptop pause. with any of these terrorist attacks? No. Bombs. So why the fuck would you think no. that a gaming streaming laptop has anything to do with it? It's just, it's complete nonsense. Yo, he's I'm so pissed about, about his tax obviously. dollars and then filed for bankruptcy years later. I'm, uh -huh. I'm, I'm not listening to this yeah, from this yeah. guy. I'd rather a thousand laptops get seized and paid for this motherfucker's bankruptcy. Who used more? Yeah, who used more tax money in the end? Let's get that straight. I got to get that line for member bobs though. That's great. Who would worry about? Bob. Bob. <laughs> it has anything to do with it? It's just—it's complete nonsense. And I'm upset about it. Obviously, yes, I do support. The people who in our government who are trying to protect us, okay. but it's this inept, just irresponsible, fucking ignorant attitude Ooh. that is the reason that I think that our country's so fucked up. Uh, if you're going to have oh someone God. in charge of doing <laughs> Homeland Security stuff, maybe you should train them on some <laughs> stuff like a laptop, how to search a laptop for evidence of what someone says it is, rather than confiscating it for 30 fucking days with no evidence of any kind of wrongdoing. It's uh -huh. complete bullshit. Okay. And I completely disagree with what happened. And I really feel for, for Vic because I know he's trying to make it. He's trying to turn that into some kind of a profitable, profitable occupation. He's finally getting notoriety for being the number one uh, He's so pissed off about somebody else's misfortune. Uh -huh. Thank you, U.S. government. Fuck you. Oh. All right. Okay, Twitter questions. Real freedom fighter we got here, boys. <laughs> we got four of them, and I want to get through them, and I know I'm running out of time, so let's try to do this quickly. Speed run, boys. Speed run. Oh, take a sip. Oh, I take it back. I have three Twitter questions. Three Twitter questions. First question is, 
Depending on how you like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, any chance that you'll play it in a competitive setting, and that's from I Got Pancake Mix. Um, and the answer is... Shout out. I Got Pancake Mix. Yeah, sure, if I like it, and I feel it's more competitive... And Real more 2011 name. Uh -huh. Original Marvel 3, I'll play it. But what are the chances of that happening? I reserve my judgment until I play it, but I'm not too optimistic with the way that Capcom's been going with all their fighting games and dumbing them down and making them easier to play, making them not as tournament-worthy. I really don't Man, I swear that. we do this every week. Anyway. Okay. Next question. Next one. Uh, Coming down on fighting when games. Are you going to be playing with your fans next? Early 2012, what do you think? Keep up the good work, and that's from Scarface Killar. Not Killer, Killar. Um, okay. He's talking about fan appreciation. Yeah, now, obviously where's I don't it have at? time to do it right now because I'm in the middle of the hardcore gaming season, and I'm going to be probably booked till the end of the year. Ooh. But there are still opportunities that come up. For example... On Monday of this week, I played Horde Mode with the fans. What I did is with I went fans. on Twitter, and again, my Twitter is at DSP. This is just another reason to follow me on Twitter. And I tweeted, if you're interested, I'm looking for dedicated people to play for a couple dedicated hours. Dedicated people? Me. <laughs> Send me a message on Xbox Live right looking now. Looking for and dedicated people. On people Twitter dude. saw that, sent me messages, and I had two successful rooms of people who I played Horde Mode with for several hours, and we had an absolute blast. Blast. So... Even though there won't be any like formal fan appreciation uh -huh. until 2012, there may be opportunities where I want to play with people and I want to have people who I can depend on to not be dropping in and out of the game. And uh, I may be doing that, and it's a reason to follow me on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter. Okay. Okay. Last question. Okay. What Last are your question. thoughts on Skullgirls? It seems to have everything oh, Skullgirls. in a fighting game. And that's from Harvey XHD. All right, what's your take? How's he going to answer about Skullgirls? Um, I think he's going to call it uh, a hateful slur in the I, uh, uh, mail on mail style. I've never played Skullgirls. Is it dumbed down style? I think, I mean, it's kind of, uh, he says everything's dumbed down, so. I say, he says everything's dumbed down. It's got like uh, cute girls in it. Ah, that's the problem. So, very anime yeah. Style. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're anime style Those girls. Are... So he has called Guilty Gear players uh gay homosexual that's just his thoughts on people that play guilty gear so we'll see what he says about skull girls so skull girls is a new fighting game being developed it's a 2d fighter hd graphics it's more of an anime cartoonish style almost okay. similar to disgaea 4 okay. um but the fighting is being designed by people in the fighting game community like mike z who's a guy who's been in the fighting game community for a hundred years he's done numerous videos where he breaks down the games makes fucking combo movies, makes glitch videos. He's a he's an expert, and he's working on this game. Okay, um, sounds good. The game will also have GGPO netcode, whether or not that's a good thing. Uh, um, <laughs> so he's, he's still on the fence about it. He's not, well, he doesn't want to say he's a fan of GGPO netcode, that's for sure. But he's like, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but hey. You know, so he's not like hating GGPO netcode yet, but he's not going to champion it at all. You can tell by that. And what, a, what an awful, awful take for him uh, to have. Even back then, like, he couldn't even admit back then that it was good. Couldn't bring himself to do it. I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing. I know whether or not that's a good thing. Who knows? Um, <laughs> okay. Who knows? A little bummer. It was supposed to come out by the end of the year. It got delayed till 2012 now. Uh -oh. But from all intents and all reports, if people are saying it looks really solid. From all intents and all reports. 2012 Shout now. out the intents. But, from all intents and all reports, if people are saying it looks I don't know really what that solid. Means. Um, right. it's not, I don't know if it's going to be a retail release or an Xbox Live PSN deal, but I think it looks interesting. Gorgos is super fun, though, back, back in the day when I played it. The art style. I'm not a fan of that kind of art uh -oh. style. This guy at 4 thought it was kind of weird. It doesn't mean I won't try the game. I think that it's going to be an exciting year coming up for fighters. You have King of Fighters 13 coming out in November. That got pushed back. Skullgirls, you're going to have the new uh, arcade edition uh, patch coming out in 2012. It's supposed to fix it and actually make it a worthy game to play in. You have Ultimate Marvel 3 coming out in November. Okay. Uh, next year, you're going to have Street Fighter vs. Tekken. You're going to have a whole bunch of other games. I think Soul Calibur, the new one's coming out. So a whole new opportunity for fighters next year. Once again, they're going along with this whole 100 fighters come out in one year. And is it going to oversaturate the market? Probably. We'll see what happens, okay. but I'm excited. And I think Skull Sounds Girl's like it's time to sell sticks, dude. Yep. Okay, so that's it for episode 17 of Ask the King. All right. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to ask me questions, we had a blast. go to the Amazing, dude. In the forums, there's the Ask the King section. I've already put up the thread for the next month's episode. And it also was low. Here, I'll say this. It was low on snorts and low on picks, 
I think more than usual. Yeah, there was there's some hand picks in there. Yeah. I seen them, but no, not no ear picks from what I see. Yeah, no ear picks, and I didn't hear any stories. Oh, when I'm making this episode, I post up on Twitter, and you have the opportunity to ask me questions on Twitter as well. Just another reason to follow me at, at they call me DSP. Okay. So we... thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time for Ask the King. Now I gotta see next week. Are we gonna see the bag or not? You gotta see next week, everybody. I'm not gonna tease it. I'm not gonna spoil it now. All right, but we're not done today. We do have. An interview with the old, the one and only. Venomous How's it going, guys? It's oh, been wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one is five parts, and it's an hour long. We're not gonna do the whole thing. Holy shit! Yeah, so we're gonna do. Let's let's do like we'll we'll do part two and see if we feel like doing part three, that kind of style. But let's get to it. Let's get hyped. J the venomous fat man back in action. This was in 2011, so the sound quality is not as good as the last one. But whatever. Let's go. Oh fuck, not that one. Here we go. How's it going, guys? I'm at 95. It's Venomous Batman here. I'm here on the. <laughs> so this is uh, this this is remember Frog Machine is adding the humor on this one. That the, he's adding the pictures here of the beautiful Jenna there on the left. That was actually Officer Sanders and her uh, victim here on the right. But uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I told you my head cannon is right. that James put these in himself. Yes. So <laughs> the king of hate himself. So how you doing, Phil? What's going on, man? Doing all right. Great, great to have you on the show. I'm really thank you for coming on, doing, agreeing to do this interview. I'm pretty sure a lot of your fans are going to be really happy about it since they've been messaging a lot of people, you know, about a you doing your people. first interview. And I think this is your first interview, if I'm correct. Even Jake yeah, James knows a lot of people. This is my first uh, audio interview. I, I think a couple of years back I did a, a text one for an online article. But besides, since I've been on YouTube, this is definitely my first interview. Ooh. All right, so let's make it a good one. So here we go, guys. First question, pretty much, you know, like I do with everybody else that I started off uh -oh. with, is pretty much tell, you know, for anybody that doesn't know already who you are or hasn't followed any of your channels or is new to YouTube, give kind of like a generalization of who you are, what you're all about. Oh, no. Sure. Well, um, first Back and foremost, I really got uh -huh. uh, interested in gaming. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. right. Uh, with arcades. <laughs> uh, I remember going to a local arcade uh, and I arcades. saw this arcade cabinet and it was Street Fighter 2. And, you know, everyone in the arcade crowding around this thing. And uh, at that time, I was really young. You know, we were talking teenagers and people in their mid-20s were playing this game. And I remember walking up and playing it and kicking their asses. And uh, ever since oh, then, yeah. I was addicted to video yeah, games. Uh, primarily, the games that I focus on professionally are fighting games. And I'm actually known. Uh, professionally? In the... What? Okay. Is that? I don't think that's what he means. It, it thinks it is, right? The games that I focus on professionally <laughs> ah. are fighting games. And I'm actually known. Uh, in the fighting game community for being uh, a top-level player it, in are Super you? Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I was actually also ranked fifth in the nation in Marvel vs. Capcom Fourth place 1 doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Uh, during you. the very last tournament that was ever held for that game. Uh, but how most people probably know me is starting in 2008, I actually just started fidgeting around with YouTube a little bit, started fidgeting. recording myself uh, I was just going to say fidgeting around, games, huh? And... Uh, Surprisingly, it caught on. Uh -oh. A lot of people liked what I did because Start I was telling doing people live that's what I do on YouTube fidgeting. fidgeting, as opposed to some other people who do, you know, as they call them, let's plays, where they're just it's raw footage of a game, but it doesn't necessarily have anything else going on, like commentary or anything like that. And uh, and so I started on on YouTube in 2008 with my channel Dark Side Phil, and then Jesus the next Christ. year when Street Fighter 4 came out, I started recording all of my matches as I played Rough online. Start I think here. a lot of people thought it was the, hilarious yeah. when, you know, I, I would be playing a match and there'd be lag and I would kind of react uh, and say, oh, this is crap, you know, what's going on with the bad connection and all of that. <laughs> and uh, people, Yeah, that's exactly what you said, right? You didn't call the other player an asshole and that they suck? Yeah. Uh, you said, oh, ah, this, this is, is crap. <laughs> yeah, this is crap. Uh, and say, oh, this is crap. You know, what's going on with the bad connection <laughs> yeah, and all yeah, that. Crap. And uh, <laughs> people really reacted to that. They said, wow, here's a guy who's playing a game and it's his honest reactions. This is how we all react. You oh, know, yeah, we play Street Fighter, but uh -huh. we don't record it. So I think a lot that. of people had a little bit in common there. And that's really when my channel blew up. It was really the Street Fighter 4 footage that uh, made Dark Side Phil jump to get millions of page views. And uh, since then, I have started several other channels on YouTube. I was hoping you'd say it made Dark Side Phil a household Gaming, name. Uh -huh. Which is uh, the channel where That's I do hoping. my current video game playthroughs. We've got uh, DSP Street Fighter, where I'm continuing with fighting game coverage. And well, I'm sure we're going to get into that a little bit later. But then oh, some yeah. future plans this year as the new fighting games come out, I'll be covering it there. 
We've got the King of Hate HD, which for a while was my YouTube partner channel until, unfortunately, YouTube canceled my partnership you account. Fuck, but bitch. I still use that for vlogs oh. and video updates and things about my personal life. And I got a, other, a couple other channels thrown in there that I use from time to time for specific games. But uh, those aren't as prominent. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the rundown right now. Because I'm trying to dodge right now, copyright. Really don't ask. Don't tell. Turning yep. my YouTube uh, identity into a full time job, an actual career that I can, you know, do use not only as a, a really awesome hobby that I enjoy a hell of a lot, but also you know, hopefully support myself financially. Oh, that's great. That's, that's there, great. there it is in a nutshell. So you know, <laughs> going back really to the beginning for kind of like if you if awfully you big would, nutshell. Dark Side Phil, year one, <laughs> if you have, but. I wanted to know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people want to know, like, yeah, when you first started out on YouTube, when you first started, I believe I'm, you've said it before, I think your first video or first batch of videos as far as a, a playthrough with commentary was Spider-Man Web of Shadows. And what was it? What was it about YouTube itself that really kind of caught your eye and, thought, and you thought to yourself, like, you know, I could actually put out videos right on here, like, real easily or whatnot. What was it that really started to uh, get... There was no other option for where to upload videos? What? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of uh, like a revolutionary thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it was the most convenient and mainstream one to do place to do that. Get you into Great actually question, doing a lot Ames. of videos on YouTube. Well, uh, basically, I think I'm trying to remember what game it was, but I remember I was playing, it was a, a role playing game. It might have been Lost Odyssey. I'm not positive on that. But I remember I, I was playing this game, and oh, I was go. stuck. There was this one part. I just couldn't stuck. figure out what I was supposed to do to win this particular boss fight. And so I was flipping out, and at the time, the game was brand new. So there were no facts online. No one had really even oh, pretty much gotten oh, very far in the game yet in the U.S. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to go buy the strategy guy. That's the worst thing. Go drop in 20 25 bucks because you can't figure one silly part of a game out. Most people don't do so that. So I was kind of looking around. Most people no. try to figure it out themselves before they get a whole strategy guy, brother. <laughs> you know? Shit, back in the day, I had sold the game before I was getting a strategy <laughs> guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I know Philip, of course, he, he, he just paid the money whatever it took the internet uh, i wonder where you know i can maybe get some tips on this and actually someone had done a video walkthrough of the game on uh -huh. youtube uh -huh. and i watched it and after watching it i figured out okay well the reason i couldn't fight the boss was this particular reason whatever and uh when i watched it i realized it was just raw footage there was nothing else going on there and i said just well this is great this is like a kind of like a great walkthrough but really, it's not it's not entertaining. I wouldn't sit there and watch the entire walkthrough from start to finish because there's really no reason to do that. There's nothing gripping about it. It would just be something I would reference if I got stuck. And That's why it's a walkthrough, jackass. It was uh -huh. the fall of 2008, and uh, I was playing a particular game. This game was actually Star Wars The Force Unleashed 1, the first installment. I, we played I, that before. This game. I played that before on this channel. Uh, I believe that was we were still doing Dead Sea Scrolls, but that first video is uh, it, it's not that great. But yeah, this is he. That's still on YouTube somewhere. And there's just one particular part. Oh, yeah, of the he's game pulling the ship down from yeah, the sky. Yeah, that one, Star Killer, yeah. and you actually have to use your force powers to actually catch a star destroyer and in space and pull it down out of the sky. And I remember playing this, and I was so pissed off because. The, the game was telling me to do stuff. Like it would say, push right on your thumbstick, push left on your thumbstick. Oh, yeah. And I was doing it, and I kept failing. He the, swears the to God the, the input said, is the like on screen on? wrong. So yeah. finally I said, you know what? I'm going to record this. I can't believe how ridiculous this part of the game is. So I recorded it, and uh, I put it up on YouTube. And to my surprise, people loved it. They were like, this is hilarious. You know, this guy's flipping out about this part of the game, and it's hilarious to watch him be frustrated at this part of the game. In fact, I have the game, and I'm also having problems with this part of the game. And uh, from there, I pretty much just started recording not necessarily entire full games, but just oh things here God, and there. On. Like uh, one of the first series that I actually made was uh, Dead Space 1. And oh. a lot of people still ask me to this day, Phil, why didn't you do like a full playthrough of Dead Space 1? Oh, and the yeah. answer is because I wasn't doing playthroughs back then. I was actually just doing like little snippets of thought, things that oh, I thought man, were either rough. really cool in a game or might have been like funny. Yeah, and, fucking uh, rough. The first video I made of Dead Space was... I need more Jake James in this yeah. scenario. I never thought I'd say this, hell. but he's got to <laughs> like uh, get in there. People love that. <laughs> no, I've been it up, wow, Jake. Come cool, on. You know, he's, he's talking over the video. He's giving his honest reactions to what he's seeing, but at the same time, we get to actually learn about how to beat this game. So it was kind of like two things in one. And from there, it just kind of blossomed. I know Spider-Man Web of Shadows was... I believe it was the first game that I actually 
significantly recorded almost the entire game. I think I didn't record some of like the really boring collector oh, mission, you know, collect twenty items. You should or whatever. do that, that kind of stuff uh, I didn't today. Record. I recorded, he should and I actually quit did commentary playing too. the so boring I parts. And I was like, people, I'm just doing weird and that's pretty much how I started. Oh, thank God. You know, kind of going off from that, did you ever think? You know, back then when you were doing Dead Space, when you I did Spider-Man Web of Shadows, did you ever think <laughs> that it would get to a point as far as popularity is concerned? Oh, that it God, did, you know, these are the now, worst like, questions. Much, Just fellatio. Not only besides your other, gaming, <laughs> your other gaming channels, your original Dark Side Phil channel has still ridiculous amounts of the subscribers that even now people will go as far as saying that you're pretty much a pioneer in how people play video games. Oh, online, yeah, pioneer. pioneer, dude. You in are any sort of game, whether it's Street Fighter or anything, Columbus. did you ever think... <laughs> It would ever get to that point? Finding Minus the smallpox well, you know, uh, Obviously, the answer is going to be no. I never thought it was going to become... First of all, I never thought it would become as popular as it has, and I definitely didn't expect that it would actually be something that would be able to support me you know, financially in this bad economy. Um, at the time when I had started doing these, I was actually a really big fan of the angry video gamer. I don't know how many people you know, know about him, James Ralph. And, uh, oh, yeah. It's kind of funny because he actually... Uh, what? <laughs> More people know about him than you, brother. Prefer. And he made a, a funny video where he was played the character of this nerd who was just really angry at old video games, classic video games, and how he basically wasted his youth playing them because they were all so cheap and frustrating. Uh -huh. And uh, I said, well, wait a minute, this guy, you know, who, who's just a videographer, made this one or, or two couple of videos, and they became hugely popular on the internet. And so I was kind of inspired by something like that. I said, gee, any, anybody can do it as long as they can find a way to be entertaining. And uh, for me, you know, I was like, well, I, if I'm, if I'm going to try to be popular, obviously I have to kind of play to my strengths. And that's really why when Street Fighter Four came out, I kind of focused on that. And uh, for, for a while, anyway, at least. And uh, I think that, again, that's really where I broke out. Okay. So, yeah, I never thought that I would become as popular as I am today. I definitely never thought it would be something that would support me. It was really just oh. a little side hobby that I had. And then once I saw how popular these kind of things, like the angry video game, I thought he was my done. Channels were coming, I was like, wow, you know, this maybe does have potential. Even even though I'm not you know, focusing full time on this at that time, I did have a full time job outside of it. Uh, I said, this is definitely worth something to put in time into. Maybe it can grow and blossom. That's cool. So, you know, one last thing that's before cool. we go into another that's video. Cool. That's cool. Great, dude. I know I asked John this when me and him sat down. We did our interview, but oh. I want to get your side of the story. I'm sure other people want to get, get your side of the story. Yeah. How was your yeah. meeting pretty much with John? Yeah, I know it invisible. What was it like, you know, that first time hate, meeting him? A lot of people are not so positive on AVGN anymore, but but bottom line is they still can release a video and get hundreds of thousands of views. It became this friendship that you guys now have, you know. I can't even recall ever AVGN. seeing an AVGN video. Oh, dude, you got it. There's some classic stuff. The well, only it's, thing it's, I know is Fred Fox. That's it. That's, that's the only <laughs> bit Fox? I know. Huh? That's with it. With John Rambo. And what was it like, you know, that what the was the story? question? Hold on. Pretty much, how was your meeting pretty much with John Rambo? And what was it like, you know, that first time actually meeting him and then eventually became this friendship that you guys now have, you know, but on and off YouTube? Okay, so let me lore check for me. I believe they were at someone's Street Fighter tournament and... And John was kind of like, whoa, According this is Dark Side Phil. He's cool. And then he asked Phil to give him some advice, I believe. if uh, That's my memory, but let's see if that's right or wrong. That, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh -huh. DSP, like, took him under his wing and, like, taught him Street Fighter. Like, that's the way he tells it. Oh, yeah, it. That's, that's the bingo space. If he says, took him under his wing. Let's hear for that. Well, you know, it's 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 funny because oh, a lot of funny. my friends who I've met in life I've actually met through Street Fighter, and you know, it's, it might sound kind of silly to some people, but you'd Does it? be surprised the kind of community that can come out of something like that—a okay, competitive uh, video game yep, and a tournament normal. scene. And uh, not funny yet. I remember at the time I was actually oh, another friend of mine that I was oh, hanging man. out with, uh, Tony. He said, "Hey, you wanna, you know, you just wanna go play some games with some people that I know who I hang out with, you know, near where I live." I said, "Sure," and we went out there and. Ended up, it was actually John and a friend of John's. Uh, we were playing other games, and then they kind of, as like a side thing, say, hey, you want to play Super Turbo? And I said, Super Turbo? That's actually one of my favorite games. It's one of the games I'm best at. Okay. And uh, it just kind of started from there. We started playing a lot, and John really loved Super Turbo. At that point, I was already a tournament competitor in the game. He was just trying to absorb as much as he could. And uh, it just kind of, it just went from there we started attending tournaments and at that point he was learning okay and uh we would practice together and mm -hmm. uh and basically train that way and it was hard because in super turbo and a lot of people probably don't know this but there's no competition for super turbo there's very few people who still play the game okay. on a competitive level yep. and uh, and it is a shame no i am glad that rambo went to japan instead of uh, dsp that makes me happy the game. Uh -huh. everyone says the arcade edition has never been replicated properly for a home console and so just be able to find someone okay. who had passion, who wanted to play, you know, the game that I loved the most was uh, was a rare thing. And then from there, we just kind of started, you know, touring the tournament scene. I think in 2007, we must have went to something like a dozen Super Turbo tournaments 
uh, in the country, oh. and uh, it just kind of went from there. And you know, <laughs> this was the worst. This is a bad fucking idea. Because it's funny how you meet. I want to watch anything else. Anything else. How our relationship really, even though we do still... stream started yet? No, not yet. Play Super it. Turbo. I that mean... sucks too, though. What's even playing tonight? What is it? Oh, I have no idea. Is it fucking like a dragon? I'm Dude, done if it's like a dragon. Well. YouTube, no chance. Lit TV, he's I'm not strong like, enough for like a fucking dragon. Come along with me. Yeah, it's like a dragon. Uh, oh, not God. only someone who plays the game, <laughs> but he's also just you know giving his funny commentary and you know he's having some success on his own YouTube and Blip TV channels because of his own personality. Oh, so it's funny God. how the topic, yeah, that's pretty much how it started. That's yeah, it's awesome. funny. He said it's funny. Guys he said it's it. funny. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> It wasn't funny. <laughs> no, do different things like smart guys. That's if anything, that's probably one of my favorite things. Oh Did God, Jake James, we don't love smart guys. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. You guys, you know, do different things like smart guys. Alt, when are you anything, sitting through all of the uh, smart guys episodes? Oh, no, never. That's there is no <laughs> world where that happens. Don't wait for it, anybody. <laughs> That'll be like when, like 2060, someone's like is going through the scraps of DSP content. They do a series on that. My favorite things that you guys. You're already here first, folks. Guys, Atlas is guys, doing like, the love, scraps. You guys, <laughs> games. you guys have such great, great chemistry when you guys are talking about different topics like that. You guys bring such great ideas to the table, and it keeps me updated on the wrestling things. So it's yeah. really cool to see that. But anyway, guys, we're gonna go to another video. We'll continue this interview. The next part. Be sure to check out part right, two. We'll as we do, the next part's ten minutes. We can handle that. Continue the interview. With oh DSP. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing this all day. I got forever, yeah, man. We, we can do this. this we can do hang two. it. <laughs> Great picture here by Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Lyrical thesis in the house as he's explaining John like they're married now. Uh huh. He definitely was. You know, we worked at the same place. We had the same friends. And, you know, that's you'd be surprised how the kind of relationships you can build in, at workplace. And uh, yeah, then we kind of started dating. It was just natural. I was just happy to guys. find someone who enjoyed doing the things that I like to do. Yeah. You know, we spent a lot of time together. Uh huh. We went to like, I don't know, like we saw like uh, four or something movies together the first year. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It just happened. We now have over 100. <laughs> Can What's happening, guys? It's What's Venomous happening, Batman guys? here again. I'm here on the bit, the boys in the tube. I'm sitting down oh, with Dark Side. I didn't know that's what, what the bit means. The boys in the tube. Cool. That's the name, I guess. Boys in the tube, dude. <laughs> Makes sense. Somehow, I don't know. Bill DSP, the king of hate. And before, we were just talking about, you know, his origins of yeah. both in gaming and on YouTube. So yeah. now we're going to get into something a little bit much more serious. So, what, is, what up? Phil? Pretty much, there's not a person on the planet here that could pretty much do an interview or talk about you without talking about the King of Hate. So, what? pretty much, okay. if you could give us kind of some insight on the origins of the King of Hate name or the name. Oh, of the man. Hey, okay, this is the true history, 2011 history of the King of Hate. I take that sure, hate well, so. and I use it to fuel me. <laughs> Makes me stronger. An interesting story. Um... <laughs> oh, is it? Is it? <laughs> It really originates back. Whenever someone says it's an interesting story, you know it's not. From the competitive fighting game scene. <laughs> That's the and, fucking uh, law. Back when I was uh -huh. heavily into uh, going and traveling in tournaments, and uh, yeah. I was part of the online community, uh, uh -huh. SureYouCan.com and uh -huh. such. Got banned and, four uh, times. Everyone hated you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You know, I was I was called Dark Side Phil, but you know, I, I didn't have any nickname or anything like that. But I, I got a reputation for, especially on sure. Is that not a nickname? Forums. If something was yeah, that's uh, that, that sounds like a nickname. It wasn't a nickname. Or it's anything. not his birth Dark name. His parents didn't name him that. <laughs> I was Dark Side Phil. Not a nickname or anything though. Okay, cool. Uh, if I felt something was unfair or that people were not telling oh, the oh, whole oh, truth about oh. something. I would always kind of be the person who would say, all right, well, I'm going to step forward and I'm going to be honest and okay. truthful. No matter how, you know, how negative or hateful or ah. whatever it is I'm saying is, if it's the truth, it's the truth and it needs to be known. Yeah. And uh, I got a reputation for that. And people started calling, wow, what a, you know, he's the king of hate. Whenever something needs to be said, he's the one that goes out there. He's not afraid to be. That to is be a not hater. what I'm no one. No one said that. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I don't even know how you would come to that name given no the circumstances. Yeah, it was a positive. They called me the King of Hate. It was a positive, actually. Right, right, right. They really. I was just a it. brutally, brutally <laughs> honest guy that they really appreciated because I would tell it like it is, dude. Yeah. They called me the King of Hate. Yeah, no, what? Was... <laughs> Very hate, whenever positive. something needs to be said, he's the one that goes out there. He's not afraid to be uh -huh. to be a hater on something if it needs be. Yes, and okay. uh, uh huh. You know, it has positive. Me too, and dude. People, me too. People, first of all, looked up to me and said, "Wow, this guy has balls." You know that. He's <laughs> 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 In 
preventing people to look up to him. A lot of people look up to me. Uh -huh. Just so that they can say, this guy's got balls. Yeah, they're looking up at the balls. That's what they're doing. <laughs> they're so small, they're looking up at his balls. Straight up at the scrotum going, wow, this guy's got balls. <laughs> yeah, great balls. Eater on something <laughs> if it needs be. And, uh, -huh. uh you know, it, it has positives and negatives because people, a lot of people, first of all, looked up to me and said, uh -huh. wow, this guy has balls. You know, that uh, he can go balls. out and say what he feels or says what's the truth while everyone else is kind of afraid or maybe they don't want to. For example, go against yep, the leadership of the oh, community. Oh, wow. Uh, giving him a platform, ALT. Something okay, that's sorry. true or, or, or <laughs> correct because maybe it's, they're trying to cover something up. Uh -huh, and that's right. happened a couple times, that actually, couple times, where I went out and told the truth about something when no one else really wanted anyone to know what really happened. Good examples, but, please. Um, after a while, you know, people just start to say, wow, he's the king of hate. And I kind of just ran with it, and I kind of made it my own. And... Um, since then, it actually has had several different meanings. Uh, actually, at one how that point, works. I became, because I became so outspoken in the Street Fighter community oh, and because I was one of these people who would just say whatever was on his mind or say what he believed was right, uh, people uh -oh. started hating on me. I actually became one of the most <laughs> flamed people on SureYouCan.com for quite a while. Yeah, what? No, he, he just... <laughs> Yeah, you're right about this. And that's why they kind of call you the king of hate. It started like this. And you were definitely flamed. Rightfully so. <laughs> what? God, they tore him up on, on SRK, too. Some yeah. of those posts are so funny. Now he's saying that was the second chapter of the story? Okay. Being one of the most <laughs> flamed oh, oh. people on SureYouCan.com for oh. quite a while. Uh, to the point where actually some of the moderators banned me uh, for Four quite times. a lengthy period of time. Because they said that basically they didn't. They felt that I was a detriment to, to them, uh, which is what? pretty funny. Okay, so are you talking about the time you made a pe you posted a penis picture? The time you said, please check out tophaters.com? The time you were uh, totally, completely derailing a uh, post about other shit? Um, which time are you talking about here, Philip? I'm not sure. They felt that I was a detriment to, uh, to them. Detriment to them. Uh, okay. Which is pretty funny okay. in the long run because now, as you see, now that I've been on YouTube and – playing Street Fighter and promoting Street Fighter, uh, how much I've done for Street Fighter, or at least people tell me how much I've done for Street Fighter. Oh, uh, I think in the long Fighter. run, it's been a positive influence, but it's funny how some people oh, would funny. have a different view funny. on that opinion. Um, uh, but yeah, because I was the king of hate, uh, ALT the, the giving him no chance. Also, right, right, he right, just knows it's not going to be funny. <laughs> he never has been. That ha people have for him. He You're right. He's really got a bad batting average on this. angry that people don't like him. Uh, he uses it to fuel himself, and I've said this oh, quite a here many times. Fuel. There it is. Yeah. It. Fuel. I, I knew fuel was going to be the word. Nationals. Uh, I was probably the the biggest underdog there because a lot of people didn't oh like me. Oh my god! Uh, not a Definitely. lot of people from the East Coast Definitely. actually went out to Evolution that year. Oh, just gotta uh, ask so when DSP is getting his rib removed so he can suck his own dick better. He, That's he a, <laughs> this, this this logic. He was an underdog because he was the only one from the East Coast that went. Because other people coming from the East Coast make you stronger? Okay, makes Not sense. Not a lot of people from the East Coast actually went out to Evolution that year. Okay. And uh, so I was pretty much there playing all people from the West Coast. They hated my guts. Yep. Uh, but that actually fueled me. Yeah, most and people did, East Coast included. That when I <laughs> yeah. played in the tournament, I was going to win. And I went on a crazy tear, beating literally like five to six named pro yeah. players in a row. Back. Oh, named pro players, dude. They The people without names. He didn't play any of the people without names. He played all named people. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Hype, dude. He dodged all the people without names. The back to Very actually cool. make it into the top eight and the finals of the Just tournament goddamn on no stage. Names, and, dude. Uh, Don't waste your time. Since then, there's a real dichotomy. There are people uh -oh. who respect dichotomy, me, dude. people who uh, understand the reason why I do things and why I say things and why I am who I am. And then there's people who No just one has ever understood why you do the things you and, do. Uh, so really, An you actual know, enigma it, on the it's internet. It's funny because people who just say oh, the king funny. of hate, they say, what the hell does that mean? What is oh, he, a God. racist or something? Is he, you know... Is he, <laughs> is he racist? Does he yes. hate something? What is that he is kind of It's funny. not about me <laughs> hates hating black people. anything. It's actually more about me... Uh, he hates black people and Asians, yes. He hates something. What does he hate? And it's not about me this hating true. anything. It's actually more about me... Uh, owning owning the hate uh, that has been I've hate. experienced in the competitive Street Fighter community. Uh, I purchased well, it. It's mine now. I own uh, it. Nice. I I both own it and fuel and fueled by it. All Street Fighter community a lot. And I wanted to ask because it's kind of recent. I want to say a couple months ago uh -oh. that not only you know 
besides the flaming on the forums and stuff. But you also have other people that pretty much drop your name in other spots, like other tournaments and stuff, or even on streams what? and things like that. And it seems like, you know, you kind of have gone this almost like people have imposed this kind of persona about you. Like, oh, my God, this guy's a jerk. He's a he's a uh, moron. It's not saying. a persona. Uh, that's not a persona. People have imposed this persona on you. I wonder why they would do that. Is You think that's random or? This kind of persona about you. Like, oh, my God, this guy's a jerk. They've been doing jerk. it he's for, a, like, a... uh, five years at this point on SRK. I don't think it's coincidence that people in YouTube are doing it now, too. Hold on, Frog Machine. During the interview, he is working his notice period for being fired for racism. Oh, uh, you mean um? Well, he was fired for the uh for for the um the uh the uh is employee discount. Is that what you're talking about, Frog Machine? He's a moron. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's somebody you know this and that or whatever. But did it ever really bother you to a point like whether they were talking about you on another stream or on a forum or whatnot or wherever they were talking about you on? To the point where the heat got so much. Ah, made- my bad, my bad. Yeah, Frog Machine, you're right. He was fired from Blip on the 12th. Big ups. Nice lore there. He was in the... Oh, wow. He was given 10 days notice from Blip. So he's in that period of being fired for Hello Jew. Wow. Nice knowledge drop there. <laughs> so he said, people think I'm racist. No, I'm not racist. He is literally in the middle of being, being fired. Being <laughs> Yeah, that's so funny. Awesome. Did it ever really bother you to a point, like whether they were talking about you on another stream or on a forum or whatnot? Oh, he does, they... doesn't bother him at all, Jake James Lugo. He doesn't even care. We're talking about you on. <laughs> Early to notices. To a point where uh-huh. the heat got so much that maybe you had to take a step back about something you were going to do on YouTube or something you were going to talk about with other what? people online, online or on a questions. forum or whatnot. Did it ever bother you in that way? Well, first of all, it's kind of, uh, uh, to be honest, I don't really, I, I never really heard these people talking about me. Now, of course, I get second wind of it later on. People might send me a link to a video or something, but, you know, yeah, I hear all the time that people name drop about me. It's hilarious because, to be completely honest, I really haven't been part of the competitive Street Fighter community for quite a while now. Uh-huh. In fact, uh, 2007 was the last year that I attended EVO, and after that, I pretty much fell out of the scene. I saw that, by the way, guys. What? So I took, you know, I took some time off. Yeah, who the hell is he talking to? What? what, what? Who's that? I saw that, by the way, guys. I saw that, by the way, guys. It was the last year that I attended Evo, and after that, I pretty much fell out of the scene. I saw that, by the way, guys. Okay. So I took, you know, right. I took some time off uh, from the competitive scene, and uh, that's actually, and then 2008, I started my focus on YouTube. So yeah, I do hear, I hear all the time about how, you know, people name drop about me now. Does it affect what I do? Not in the least. Uh-huh. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, right, right, regardless right. of what people say about me. And I've always been like that. Again, part of the whole king of hate is that what I own the hate. Right? And so yeah. you can say whatever the hell you what want. I mean, Hercules. I'm going to always be an honest person. I'm going to try to, you know, do cool. say and do what I feel is right or needs to be said. And what a hero. you know, regardless of if you, you believe me or not, <laughs> I mean, you go ahead and talk shit about me. I don't care. Okay, like cool. I said, that fuels me. So yeah, no, it's okay. We got never, the we got the sign uh, off. Let's go. We got what we need. I was going to do or say. You know, I, I got to turn the content up to oh, eleven. A scrub in Street Fighter Four. The only reason that he complains is uh, it's not really laggy. It's because yep. he sucks. True. And I read it and I'm like, what a fucking idiot. You know, oh, I'm someone yeah. who's been playing Street Fighter <laughs> 2. What a fucking idiot. The day it was released in the U.S. in arcades, oh. I think I'm a little bit more qualified to talk about lag and input droppage and that kind of stuff than uh. some random kid who thinks that he's going to try to flame me on a video. So, no, I don't let it affect me. I don't let it get to me. And I, I just say what needs to be said. Right, right. Clear, straight, All right. to the point. I love it. So, I love it. Yeah. Anyway. Clear straight to the point. I love it. <laughs> Clear straight into the point. I love it. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, besides that, you know, on the flip side of that, you know, even though you are technically the king of hate, do you ever get like people that come up to you, whether they're on YouTube and stuff like people like me or people like uh, other people that have, you know, just been doing that stuff oh, that are similar to what you do on YouTube? Have you ever gotten people that actually come up to you and ask you or tell what? you even that, you know, you're my inspiration. I love what you do. Oh, you know, keep God. Going. <laughs> you know, you this question, come on. Positive you can't like do that, this. And you do more of the hate. Um, I Absolutely, would... yeah. I've got thousands of emails, dude. Incredible. So you actually do this day. show every week where people ask me questions. And all the time they tell me, I love you. You're the best. I uh-huh. wish I was you. Definitely, dude. What's up, Darcy? 
Happy I get a positive comment, and it's very inspiring. Exactly. Inspiring. And it's part of the reason why I think I've stuck in there and I keep doing what I'm doing. Right, Even right. through all the trials and tribulations and all the crap that I've been through in the past five months, uh, really just the people saying, listen, you know, you inspired me. Oh, uh, you're Here funny. You know, even you narrow that window down yeah, to the past day 10 days. When, you know, kinda... it might be a bad time in my life, or <laughs> uh -huh. maybe it's just I'm getting up in the morning and I need to watch a video of yours to get me going. <laughs> so good laugh, you know, That's get... part of a morning routine. <laughs> Bring out of bed, brush my teeth, watch heavy rain. <laughs> it's great. Ugh. You know, it, it's kind of funny that he does say that because that is part of my daily routine. I get up in the morning. I'm like, what I miss on the night stream? What are the clips? What's yeah. going on? That helps get you going. Funny, you know, you I give me a get laugh. you fired yeah, up in the morning. When, right you know, piss for the start. Time in my life, or maybe it's just I'm getting up in the morning and I need to watch a video of yours to get me going because a good laugh, you know, gets me moving in the morning oh, or definitely. something like that. I mean, I get all kinds of feedback from people and uh it's really yeah real. i would definitely say that it's is, real it doesn't really matter how much hate you get as long as you know how to take it in stride and uh, understand that regardless if five billion people hate you okay if one that's person if you really touch them and made them feel better or gave them uh, a laugh then it's all worth that's it. what jake james, jake james is waiting for that touch brother come on just give it to him so <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, my ad cannon is Jake James made this art. He wish he was cat. Uh huh. But yeah, the positivity keeps me going. That's great to hear. Has uh, has there been a uh, an overabundance of a positivity? What? You know, ever since you know the whole big thing that's gone down with all your YouTube channels and stuff. Have you gotten a lot of support from the community or the what? people that you know that are your fans and you stuff? You already asked this question. What is this? Oh, in addition to that, I'm wondering if there's a, any other reason your fans are giving you overwhelming positivity. Is that that we're asking here? Is that the question? I'll make sure I got it. That's right. what I'm hearing. <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny because... Oh, God. Uh, oh. It, 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 it always takes There's so many of, things of that are funny tonight. Seven. I think it was a new high. That's when you really get to see who's really a fan and who really was just along for the ride, riding on your coattails. And right. uh, as everyone knows, I've been... That's us, uh, riding DSP's yeah, coattails. Who was a fan and who was riding on my coattails? Like viewers riding on your coattails? Just along for the ride. Huh. That's when you, it always takes a time of, of crisis and a time of uncertainty that's when you really get to see who's really a fan and who really was just along for the ride riding on your coattails and uh God. as everyone knows Whatever. i've been through quite he's a not using that correctly he's not using oh, no, riding no, no, your coattails no, no. correctly he's just saying something lot in the past <laughs> couple of months before you know losing my full-time job having to try to turn youtube into a way to support myself financially uh when that fell through then having to actually pull my content from youtube and try to go to Blip tv and use another site as How's that video hosting out? and uh that i do out? have to say that oh. it's definitely inspiring because especially with the creation of my website thekingofhate.com which by the way is completely fan made i have not created one thing on there i didn't do shit i did no work forums, but <laughs> it's amazing thousands of people who on a daily oh, basis wow. are just leaving positive things i mean just just for example on my most recent video yeah yeah uh regarding the blip tv situation yeah what's that i, I think there's over two thousand comments on oh that video God. and i'd have to say probably oh, about 95 percent of them are positive comments about phil keep it going you know we, we're, we're there with you no matter what happens whether you need to leave blip whether you're going to youtube whether you go to some third party site that no one's ever heard of we're uh -huh. still there with you and <laughs> uh -huh. you know, whether you need to sleep kind of on my couch or great. fuck and my wife or eat me out of house and home i'm there for you dude able to do this as a full-time thing where i might have to just kind of go back and find another job just to, to pay the bills. Yeah. And then I have to kind of do this as a side thing. I think I'm still going to do it because it's worth it. If you're getting that kind of feedback, I think it's definitely worth it. And uh, it opens a lot of doors at the same time. I have a lot of people who I've met, a lot of contacts, a lot of stuff that's happened since I've started on YouTube that uh, that's, that are definitely been positive things in my life. So okay. Very positive. That's Hello? great. You know, Hello? Great Are you hear. awake? So YouTube's oh. <laughs> going to cut us off in a second, so we're going to another video, guys. Be sure to check out part three of the interview with DSP. Okay, that was that was better than part one, I'll say that, but it was not that great. Yeah, part two was much better than part <laughs> one. God, part one was bad. All right, so uh, Atlas, of course, I'm going to ask you this. Are you up for Are you up for a field trip real quick, uh, an eight-minute and 33-second field trip? Oh, of course. Of okay. course. I got eight minutes. I have not seen this, uh, so let's see this. 
Uh, I won't read the title, but you see the thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> something, something, something. Let's just watch this from Hate the Army. Hate Army. Oh, it's the Hate Army. Army. Got to hear this again. Hate Army. Shout that out guy. to Hate. Army. Good vibes today. Shout, Shout out to Hate. Shout out to Hate. Shout out to Hate. Shout out to Hate. Blah, 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 blah. Who could hear it? <laughs> no one could Ladies hear it. Gentlemen, before we get to game news, before we get to the schedule, I think it's time He's got to be leaving it in for the meme at this point. Uh -huh. He knows you hate it. This is day off. Let's talk about what I did yesterday on my day off, shall we? I didn't we? hear this yet. Because we so actually have some it. interesting and positive updates oh, to give sweet. you guys. All right. First of all, positive style. yesterday awesome. was a very busy day um, where I was absolutely running around doing errands all <laughs> is it ever, never not the, okay? What is it ever not the case um, that you're running around? As you around? can see, I got a haircut. Was oh, God. That I did out of the mix. <laughs> Oh, we look at him The fresh dye yeah, job. He got the fresh of, line up. Look at that. Products, Looking like fly. Like Costco. Hell yeah. And many other things. So we were out and about for a very large portion of the day. Oh, great. Like every other human. And it was Earth. tiring to do that. But the weather was nice. It was actually sunny and cool. So we had some good weather for it. Um, while we were out, is there anything notable to really mention from when we were out? Uh, just a couple <laughs> uh, of things. No. First thing, we just happened to be at the <laughs> local Ebony. mall because we were going to actually eat dinner there. And... We happen to just walk into Sears, okay? Now, for those who just don't happen know, to walk Sears, in there Sears randomly. Company, what, just, did you get lost? Like, oh, shit, there's a Sears. Uh, that's that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what it makes this sound. We were walking, you know, down the big aisle, and all of a sudden, we were in the Sears. I don't know. <laughs> like, Sears just randomly uh, spawned. Cool. Department stores in the United States of America. At one point, they were huge. They were synonymous so it's a department with, like, store. the big we're done shopping here. experiences in the United States. Yeah, oh, no, we're not done East here. East Come East on, East ALT. East, you know, kind of ginormous <laughs> department store. And <clears throat> some people in chat, very rightly so, are saying Sears. Sears is still open. Oh, God. Yes and no. <laughs> okay. Yes and no. My history with Sears yes and is no. thus. Um, <laughs> what do, you, what do I mean by that? Sears is exactly. The history of Sears of is it. thus, <laughs> right? All right. But there's... Three locations left. Oh my god! And my local mall has one of them. Oh my god! So we, had, my wife and I, Holy shit. Sears called in like Kotaku years, right now. Actually. I think last time DSP we were in Sears, went to one of the last we three were, Sears. We were, I think we were looking for slippers for me in like the fall because my slippers, <laughs> slippers. had worn out, and we know that the part. <laughs> See, Philip Burnell is going to Sears to buy slippers. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> That's like the most DSP thing ever, you know, Go walking to Sears on his day off, his super busy day off, and then buying slippers at Sears like a grandpa. <laughs> You, you got a point there, though. His super busy day off, and what have we talked about so far? I got a haircut, and we went to Sears. Wow. <laughs> Same thing as my 80-year-old grandpa. Uh, Lyrical Thesis says, Cat was scared of the weight limit on the elevator. Is that what we're going to get to? I hope that's not that true. Have them. Oh, spoilers, spoilers. Come on, there. let's Even not then, spoil like, the guy. When we had gone in there, they were massive. I mean, that's not it, but... Okay. They barely had... You know, like, the product was very disorganized, yeah. right? The store was in shambles. everyone goes on Amazon so go in there instead. Just on a whim like see what is, what is Sears like today. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Wow, dude. Wow. Is all I have to say. A so we mess. go all right. to Sears. End of the clip. And at the floor <laughs> is exercise equipment. Now, this doesn't make sense. This is the ground. Watch out, Hetty. Don't want to go there. That stuff breaks easily. You know that. On the level of the <laughs> Avert your eyes, darling. Uh -huh. Can't look at that. The store on ground level is supposed to have all their clothing and everything. You know, their high-end products. You walk oh, in, yeah. it's just a bunch of exercise equipment. Is that a rule? Huh? And then is we look it, past that. Is that where the high-end stuff is? Okay, whatever. Well, I, well, he says high end stuff, and he's like, "Oh, the exercise equipment isn't like he's saying it isn't high end. That's where their clothes go." Like, I, I would imagine that it's more expensive to yeah. have exercise equipment well, yeah, and products. Know. You walk in, it's just a bunch of exercise equipment. Okay, huh? Oh. And then we look past right. that, and there's appliances. But then we look past that, and there's one row of shoes. And then we look over here, yeah, and there's some clothes. Store. And then over here, we see jewelry. On the back wall, we see tool chests. We're like, what? <laughs> huh? What? We go to the so we actually walk through the <laughs> store and we realize half the store is closed off, oh roped God. off, and completely huh? empty. What? They used to have a big right? shoe department in the back. This is nuts. It's gone. They've blocked the entire department off. It doesn't what? exist anymore. This closing the store is like the half store closed. It's taped off with huh? that yellow hazard tape saying, do not cross. What? And I'm like, holy shit. The whole it was kiosk like the... <laughs> where you used to check out and customer service removed from the store doesn't exist anymore. Okay? It was like a left for dead. Like, dude. wow, what on earth? 
So we're mm -hmm. like, well, I wonder what's on the other floors. Mm -hmm. We walk up to the escalator. The escalator up is closed, broken, and they're not going to fix it. What? The only way to get from floor to floor oh. in the store is to use an old rickety elevator. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, I would like to use the rickety elevator, but Kat actually looked at it and was like, I really don't want to use it. I was like, uh, really? She's like, yeah, I'm actually yeah. terrified that elevator is go. going to break on the way up or down. She's fat, dude. Oh, my lord. He has the best reaction. <laughs> because the way this store looks, like it looks like this is a store on, on, its, on life support. Like it's going to die any second. And I don't want to go in there and be the story on the news that people got stuck in this year's elevator. And I was like, all right, well, I guess we won't then. Because I wanted to actually see if there was stuff on the other floor. Because the thing is, if clothes, shoes, tool chests, appliances, <laughs> and exercise equipment are all on one floor, what else could be in there? I know that they have, like, housewares and, like, bedding. So uh -huh. That's what I was thinking. Like, maybe uh. there's housewares, bedding, and maybe, like, not, like uh, under underwear and stuff. So like the escalator was floor. broken, right? And that's it. Uh, yeah, so we, they were scared of Those are it. stairs. Yeah, that's uh, the, the <laughs> Tedberg joke. You know? Before, Sears used to be, like, the one-stop shop. A uh, one-stop shop. Back in the day, they had everything. helicopters I mean, at Sears you uh -huh. think of for your house was at Sears. Even electronics, they would sell Whoa. electronics, games, consoles, stuff like that. Whoa, like dude! That, systems, TVs. Dude. Holy shit! Um, you know, my family bought a lawnmower there once. Yeah, the tools oh. and stuff like that. Housewares. You, I all hated you Sears. All your that's what stuff, I checked your out. In we there, all my mom had to go to Sears. I was checked there, out. Just bedding, following everything. Her. Like they literally had everything in there. Lawnmowers. Yeah, they had everything you could think of. It was everything at Sears. Yeah, I wasn't exactly problem. thrilled to be getting a yeah. lawnmower either. They so somehow managed to run themselves so far into the ground, they're not coming back. I mean, yeah. that was like more like Amazon. It literally the internet reminds you like going to like a hospital, right? And going what? to see people who are sadly are on the end of their life and they're on life support, just sitting there saying their when last do you goodbyes. do that? People, that's what it feels like walking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he's comparing <laughs> the death of Sears to like a family member like being uh, in the hospital dying. Yeah, bingo, dude. Sears. I was like, oh my god. All right. Like, I can't believe it, because, again, I've gone to Sears it, my whole life. When I was growing up, I would go to Sears with my parents, and it was a vibrant store. A vibrant. I was like, what the vibrant? Happened? How did He's such a consumer. He has positive part. memories of Sears. The Sears wish book. Is a kid. Remember the Sears wish book at all? Oh, Sears wish book. Yes, I would get that book and look at the bra section. I had a lot of fun with that. That, that uh, Baller magazine. alert. Uh-huh. That was before the internet, guys. Come on. We had to make do. Oh god. oh god! Oh god! Oh my lord! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Look like who we go. Just pull it out. The whole thing. Oh, oh! I don't like. I don't want to touch that part. That. Oh, look at that! He's touching the red. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't ever touch that part of my eye. Is that no? I. I mean, I think I'm pretty normal in that. Oh, oh! It's a rub. Oh yeah, I just tried that. Definitely not pleasant. I no, wouldn't recommend it. it. That guy's a wacko. <laughs> At the end of the year, Sears would send out a catalog. Oh, a catalog, to your house, dude. And yeah. it would have all the awesome products that were available for sale at Sears in a one thing where it lists them all. And the whole purpose of this catalog was that you and your family members would go through the catalog and select <laughs> yeah. things you're interested in oh. as a Christmas present. Is that so how you would give it to your works? family members, but also other people in your family would do it, and you would exchange wish lists. They had to oh. call it the wish book wish list. I did it every year. So my mom would give me the wish book and say, well, anything in here you like for yeah, Christmas? I, I, like, oh, I want this action figure. Wow. I'd be interested in this Yeah, he game. was really raised a consumer. Was, like, this is on his parents. It was, it was yep. it, like some photographer would come in and like film the action figures posing and stuff. Um, so and the games, like forget it. I, I actually distinctly remember... Yeah, what does he Games mean by that? He would film the action shot. figures posing? Like, that's how you advertise action figures. What are you talking picture? about? Yeah, you mean they take a picture of it? <laughs> it would be like, oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. And it would be a screenshot of, like, Mega Man. I was like, what the hell is that? Is that true? So, obviously, they didn't have the best editors or whatever. People that weren't into all the stuff they were selling. But they had everything. Uh, they had, like, again, things that you would not think. Again. Guns. There were guns in that. Oh, my God. There were, there, hey. you know, knives. Like nice. things that kids shouldn't see. We're all in this wish book. It was just for the whole kids family. Kids shouldn't <laughs> see guns <laughs> or knives. You could mail order it, or you could knives. go to the physical Sears store near the you. The kitchen knife. Watch out. Go look. 
This was cut your steak, but look this away. Was a major part of American culture, a tradition. <laughs> a tradition everyone dude. was doing around Christmas every year, uh -huh. and now Sears is dead. It's okay. like, how do you go from being that prominent that you're actually a part of most people's the American Internet Christmas happened. lives and traditions yep. to not existing uh -huh. in the span of like thirty years? That's wild to me. Like uh -huh. what a hor you know, horrible mismanagement! Companies if anything, have went shows, down that time. They did not know. I was how just to about to say, like travel yeah, agencies yeah, had the same thing happen. No, yeah, like they used to exist. Everyone went to them when they traveled, and now they're oh. gone. Yes. But anyway, uh, so that was. All right. Next question, Mister Bookkeeper. You want to play? Want to play a game of we watch the restream until he gets a tip? Oh, absolutely. Okay. It usually doesn't last long, but let's try it. I think he's live now. Is he? Oh, we're still doing music. Oh, hell no. Oh, God. All right. Well, wait it till he gets on. It should be any time. I'm sure he's going to. He's okay. waiting for the stream to build. I'll find something else to watch. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't I would worry. say we could just sit here in silence. It doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> not, it's not an entertaining stream, but. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Uh, is Who's in chat? No one much. I'll find something to hold on. Uh, We could do. I'll get something, don't worry, don't worry. Any suggestions are welcome though, but let me see. Let me see what Sword Hogan's got on tap. Sword Hogan's going deep with the review tech stuff. These yeah, I've been noticing that, yeah, nah. Uh -huh. I don't know shit about re review tech. That's not my, my cup of tea, so. Oh, we get a comment. We get a review tech comment today from Philip. Let's see what he said about review tech. Wow. Well, let me tell you something, brother. All right, here we go. Snort, snort, what is he gonna say? Well, I mean, if that's what happens, you get what you want. Okay, let's get to the tip side of things this morning, shall we? Uh, no. So we start off today with a dollar. Oh, tip. I know this segment. Now, I'm just gonna okay. say this: I can neither confirm nor deny the things that people tell me in tips. I just read them. Okay. All right. We got it. Just to let you know, Phil, Rich has gone full damage. He's fired his editor on his birthday. His true colors have leaked in messages. You were right, Phil. Karma's a bitch, and he got his. Ek, ek, ek. How am I supposed to respond to this exactly? I'm actually wondering, like, what is the response that I'm supposed to give? They want your dental response that to you're going to give. Tip? Honestly, like, I think people people want. Here's okay. Okay. Here's okay. what I think people want to hear from me, and then I'm going to actually give you my real response. I think okay. what people want to hear from This is such a tist is, answer. Oh, I, thank oh, goodness. Thank goodness that horrible things are happening to people uh, who have been horrible to me because karma's a bitch <laughs> and what comes around goes around. And if you've treated me like crap over the years, yeah, like you've done before. wow, I'm so happy. I'm saying he's done it like a hundred times story. like that. Right. So yeah, exactly. Okay, that's not my actual response. Uh, okay. My What's response is response? I don't care. I actually don't wish ill will against anyone. Even people who I feel really have hurt me right. over the years and said really awful things about me in general. I don't wish yep. ill will to them like at who? all. I mean, I'm even being serious here. I'm being serious, To dude. people like Tevin. To people like oh, Teamstar. Tevin shout out. Like Memeology or Duty Streams or whoever these people are. Oh, damn. Yes, to the side scrollers and their podcast who really <clears throat> screwed me over last year. So these... shout outs to Tevin, Memeology. Duty streams and the side scrollers, big ups. People guys. who over the years have treated. Yeah, I was pissed I didn't get my shout out. I'm still waiting, but it's okay. Any... It's okay. I want them to be happy to the point where they don't have to be toxic and negative about people to get any kind of positivity uh, out of it. You understand? Uh... Like, if anything, the one thing that I would wish for Rich is that he can find something he truly loves to do. He's successful at it. And he doesn't have to have toxicity and negativity around him all day. Right, he doesn't right, have to make right. fun of people. He doesn't have to do bad, negative uh, things. Okay. I can't imagine living in that life situation where your whole day is going online and talking about drama and trying to bring up drama and razzing people with negative <laughs> Razzing people. Razzing people. I yeah. Love, love razzing. I hate my job and never want to go back to it ever again. Razzing we're we're razzing a lot so lately. Was, Razzcoin <laughs> is on the rise. Awful things to me. Could find a way out of the ruts that they're in in their lives and actually be able to move on. Oh, yeah, we're all in ruts right now, I don't want to hear, oh, did you hear that Rich's business is falling apart and everyone doesn't like him now? Boring. No, and I don't. Well, here, watch this. This is a good... Happy this Thanksgiving! A, this is a fun playlist. <laughs> by Memeology. Speaking of Memeology, <laughs> it's just all memes. So it's very funny. They're very short. I'm, 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 I'm monitoring Phil to see when so, he starts. She's like, why don't we go to Taco Bell? I was like, Taco Bell? Like, we just went there like three months ago, or... 
whenever it was, do you remember how bad it was? And do you remember what we paid? Like, we paid two combo meals. It was like $25 for shit food that was disgusting. That's a lot of money. Like, Dude, there's no way I'm going to Taco Bell. I'm sorry. $25, like, what do they order? You know what I'm saying? A Taco Bell? That's what people? I'm saying. Like, I, I order a lot of Taco Bell when I go. Because I don't, like, you know, I, I stock up while I'm there. I won't front. Like, I get shit for lunch and dinner. I don't spend nearly yeah. that much. 25 is, whew. There's no way we're wasting. That's like, I might as well just eat the money, right? <laughs> eat the money. Eat the money. Eat out of your wallet. You get a better quality. And what's going to happen is these these music companies are going to sign up for the program. And now if you get content ID claimed by one of those companies, they will take a percentile. Ah, percentile. Shout Essentially out. Essentially what it is, is they're taking a usage fee. Uh -oh. Cherry Juice in the Super Chat says you should try the one ship challenge like wings. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and I don't do challenges because I'm not a fucking idiot. Ooh. That's not the kind of content I put out. Got him. So, no, we're not doing one chip challenge. You can take the one ship and shove it up your ass for all I care. How about that? Hell all yeah. Right. Oh, hilarious part about all this is I would like to show you guys something. Okay? And this is not me trying okay. to brag or anything. I need to show you something. Okay? <laughs> Just hitting it. I don't care. Oh, I'm not wings. Shout outs. Okay? I'm not sucking in my gut right now. We can tell. Okay, I swear to God I'm not. You see me, right? Okay, you notice something about me. What? All right, then you look at my body for a second. You notice something. It's very... Right? I'm not wings. <laughs> but I'm dark side Phil. Uh -huh. I am not. Dude, like you could, if you're like in shape and stuff, then you could do that and be like not laughed at. But if you look like that, you like you shouldn't be doing that, dude. <laughs> you know, you're still very too. Yeah, bright. his <laughs> his body is not the one to be showing off, especially so. not with that guarded ass setup that he's got. Like <laughs> he does not have the setup where you can stand up and accurately depict your body anyway. Yeah. It's like way zoomed in specifically to his gut. Uh -huh. That's not a good look, man. So. Oh, he's on, guys. He's on, he's on. He's on. Streamer. Here we go. First tip, we're out of here. And hopefully do pretty good and, and still have a nice interactive and chill stream. Very chill and interactive. Um, so I, I hope that you all are doing well. Doing great. Here we are. I'm getting the chat. Well, I'm getting the stream refreshed so I can open a chat. Oh, God. And see all of How you. How do you not get this ready before him, brother? Been doing it a long fucking time. All of you beautiful I gotta, people. I got to reopen my tabs. <laughs> Freaking Windows 8, dude. Mm -hmm. Close my tabs. There we go. Go. Okay. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> oh, here all right. Here we are. Hang on. Okay. Okay, what can we, we get some OBS Sucker here? Open. Double click. <laughs> Double click OBS. <laughs> All right, all right. All right, all right. Hey, hello. All right, all right. Let me sign in here. Uh, dark at yeah. hotmail.com. Don't look for disgusting. <laughs> the dark stupid gaming. Well, don't worry. You can't be more disgusting than me, so. This if we're is true. Open contest, I think I win that one. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right. How's everyone? Good Horrible. evening. Hello. Thanks. Welcome to the late stream. Welcome to Like a Dragon. Uh, already, I can tell you, I probably want to open my blinds a little bit more because it's feeling a little stuffy Please get up. in here from the first Please stream. Please get up. Yes! 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 Got up. Yes! That was very fast. <laughs> I love when we start the stream and he immediately goes, I'm just going to get up right now. <laughs> cool down the office and relax. Bro, do it before stuff. you start. Look at this. I, we got the striped drip going. So now. Stripe drip. Oh. Look at the stripes. Yeah, slight stripes. Yeah. yeah you, you could definitely buy this at Sears. <laughs> you can cool down the office. Absolutely. Watch it get too cold and I'm going to have to run. And uh, and probably close the window. Oh, definitely. Watch. I'm gonna have to oh, run evening, night, all the all the two steps it takes to get to the window. Hello, Keanu. Hey, Keanu. Hello, hello, <laughs> everyone. Keanu. Jade, good evening. How hello. are you? Jade. Yeah, Jade. Yeah, Jade. I Again, was just about to say, I hope Jade's here. Good evening, Jade. Big days How in are a you row doing? We played it where there's big, big, major story development. Um. So that's good. It that's doesn't great. feel like a stream where we got sidetracked and nothing happened. Actually, a lot happened. Okay. So that's good. That's good. And, uh... Oh, sorry about that. I'm looking forward to Ice. another stream of it Tuesday until the game essentially goes on a hold uh, for a long time for us to play Final Fantasy VII. So... Oh, uh, did we get any... Good evening, Lucky Gremlin. Good evening, Lucky Gremlin. Hey. Hey, you. Kagome, How BG3? BG3? About stuff. Big up Jade. <laughs> really. You gotta stop saying negative stuff like that in the chat. It's not right, especially when you're you're focusing in on one person. And just please stop. Keep those thoughts to yourself. 
Oh, hold on. What was that? Yeah, That's Jade. not right, being negative. About... Oh! Kagome, please stop being negative. About... Hold on. Uh, don't slip by me. Watch this. Bam! I saw you. Kagome, please stop being negative. Oh, there we stuff. go. That's what really? he's talking about. Nightman, I hope a certain individual won't be here. That's what feels he's getting to talk mm. to you about. You gotta stop saying negative stuff like that in the chat. It's not right, especially when you're you're focusing in on one person. And just please stop. Keep those thoughts to yourself. What's up, John? Good evening. How you doing, John? Oh, hey, John. Hello, hello. Was everyone. that about hello, Derek hello. or Kirk? Derek, Derek, I believe. Okay. Exciting, chill night tonight. Oh. Tomorrow, a react day all day long. Right? Tomorrow, it's all reacting. We got a podcast, and we got the clip show, DSP oh, versus great. the internet on DSP anything for that? Then we have Atlas? another fun, chill, exciting The react? Stream. Hell no. React. Okay. Heavy Just rain. Asking. Next on weekend, weekend react. Every I'm other weekend, I'm willing to do it. Well, nice, people nice. really enjoyed it. So, and by the way, a lot of people actually watch the videos on Throwback Channel, too. Whenever I might I do actually go reaction, insane if I did all day today and then did the react tomorrow. Yeah. Happy to put out another stream of it tomorrow night for all of you, and it should be a good time. I kind of want to do a fact check on that. A lot of people are watching. <clears throat> Throwback. What's up, Soldier Dude? Good evening. What's Felix Demetrius, sure would I ever replay Red Dead I feel like I just checked it the Nightmare. other day, and um, it was like a couple would hundred I views of video. Would replay yeah. it? Well, maybe, but uh, don't you need to have Red Dead 1 to do that? It's yeah, not so a Heavy Rain five days ago has 1,000 So I have to have views, Red Dead. So I guess that's a lot of people. On a current console. People, dude. Which I guess would be Xbox. But For that I channel, mean, that's a huge amount because usually Xbox these videos have 120 views. That played so. on Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Videos. In comparison like one to the X other stuff, yes. that now would probably play on the Series X. Man, right? I said this I the so. other day. The, um, the amount of views that he pops off for, like, is, uh -oh. it's kind <laughs> of yeah, embarrassing. Uh -huh. And that's not like a flex on my end. That's just like a, he should strive to be better yeah, than exactly. that given yeah, his yeah. size. But So if we look for red. Oh. We have to do this one stream, yeah. Right, part one. Yeah, it's it, I have I own it, okay, so great. I could install Red Dead Redemption, and then why? That's his real skies. It has an add-on, but it's not listed hey. here. What are we Show doing the here? Store. Oh, store. Pick yeah, up. I say, why are we even checking this out? What are we? What is going on? You own this. What's up, Turtles Game Kingdom? We're just here to our to the first tip, not super chat tip, and we're Where out. Where is it? We're on, I don't a see ticking, undead ticking nightmares. Time see, I own these for two very. Oh, there it is. Stream. Yeah, there it is. I oh own yeah, it. there it is. I absolutely own it. It's right there. So yes, let's say for example, one year for a Halloween thing, you wanted me to do the Red Dead Undead Nightmare a second run because I've only ever played it once. Oh my I god, oh, yes, we're good. talking about Unless doing a Halloween see, thing. I don't remember. In, I know that in I fucking really Mar February, yeah. February. February. Red Dead Redemption yeah. 2 came out. But I don't Dude, what if you're sick again? Nightmares. Then it was <laughs> all for naught. I, I really don't remember. Oh, come um, on. Oh, sorry about that. So I don't know. But it's available, and I have both. We can play oh, them whenever we want, both. and they do run better on both the Xbox One and then the Xbox Series S and X. Yes, it runs better, do. too. Can so, we move on? Yes, we could do that at some point if you wanted to see Undead Nightmare. But my plans actually are that... Right now, Final Fantasy 13 and Red Dead 1 have hit about the half uh -oh. of each playthrough. He's entered. Hello, boy. Da -da 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 Derek has entered the chat. You did Undead Nightmare 1 six years ago. The throwback ago. channel during October. He did. I think that would be awesome Thank you, Derek. to do it that way. So that way it has a timely upload. Thanks, Derek. And people who are into the Halloween <laughs> Derek stuff might want to watch it over there. Like right? Hey, Derek. So that's what I'm thinking. We'll do that around October-ish. Um, I have to see how many parts it actually is, and then determine based on the parts, you know, try to span it out. I so can't imagine what that feels like to be Derek Halloween in the chat. Like, like uh -huh. you come in and people immediately so, just like Mark fucking says, I, I love own Red Dead, in. Red Dead Nightmare. I want to play Red Dead Two, but for some reason I, I bet he's blocked so many I people. Try, I wonder how I much he actually sees anymore. It's boring. <laughs> Red Dead Two. <laughs> it's just like him and Jade. Uh -huh. It's one of the most boring games to play. It really is like, like I'll give you an example. I my wife and I watched someone play looking for any questions today. Watched a playthrough. Watching their playthrough Any was questions? more fun than we playing got, the game. We got ten because left, you guys. Have, to have to do the insane repetitive. Have you ever walked What's out of the a the ball? right tip? The <laughs> Should be very easy. Do you have a sweet but tooth? <laughs> they just like they missed the. Are mark. you careful with your they personal really did, records? Like, Let's get they that made going. A game that was so about the story <laughs> that it just ends up feeling utterly, utterly. Yo, I, I feel like he did planning a trip like soon the other day, and he responded, "He's like, no, I'm not planning a trip soon. There's no way I could do it. I have to work. I swear to God." I'll check for it. I did replay on the nightmare. Okay, Derek says I did unplay. I feel like it was on the the chilling with Phil that I saw today. But I replayed Red Dead one years ago, so there you go. So I already have a second run of it on YouTube somewhere. 
Um, but there you go. Okay. I think that's what we should do. Great. Is uh, is do the original playthrough of it. Uh, in October, over on the Throwback Channel, perfect time. Yeah, people in chat are saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," because okay. I I started going off about how he uh, took mom or took money from his mom instead of going on a honeymoon. Yes, oh, and right. that he should have taken cat back in the day. So yeah, so yeah, good. yeah. Two solid days of streaming going well. Cooler weather today, which I really oh, like. God, wasn't cooler weather. You don't go outside. Here, I was able to wear a nice sweater today and not sweat it out like I did yesterday. So don't go outside. Rain coming all week, so that's good. I'm actually you really excited for the, the react day want. tomorrow. Because Look up Wesley. the react show Why is still so dumb when it comes to really gaming takes? Makes... That's what he's most dumb about, is actually his gaming takes. That's what he's stupidest on, actually. It's funniest. He should know the most it about... It is crazy. <laughs> he should know the most about games, but he is the worst about those takes. Versus the internet recently, the good variety of stuff. Oh, great and variety, now, dude. No one cares. I'm doing the react stream at night of Red Dead 1, and or not Red Dead 1, uh, Heavy Rain, and that went really well last week. Like, it? it was really fun to do, and everyone liked it. So, hey, as long as everyone's having a good time, I'm happy to put out the content you guys like, you know? Keep that up. Keep that up, guys. Yeah, keep tipping. Keep those tips coming. Oh, one side. I saw no it. No see real vibes. Good get out of here, man. Come on. Don't try to get these one-sided sniffs past me. Gotcha. No see real vibes. Good evening. Good evening. No How are you? No real vibes. No tips yet. We might be here a while. Ready for some stories, says Jay. <laughs> That's all we're doing tonight is side I'm stories. I'm home and alone, story. so I got time. I know that there's a, all right. quite a few side stories left in the city. I want to see what they are. Um. Oh, thank you. I always forget to put this to sign on at night. I totally always forget to do that. Thank it you. Barely night. makes a difference. You could have just left it off. I wouldn't have noticed. Sign that on, oh by God. the way. I love the blame it on the lag sign. And by the way, earlier uh -oh. today, by the uh, way, what? and last night too, people were saying that sometimes the stream's getting choppy, but it's not on my end. Like oh, my stream I think quality I could do. has been absolutely smooth the entire absolutely time. Absolutely smooth. So I don't actually know what's causing that. It has to be a YouTube side thing. So if you get choppiness tonight, let me know. But I haven't seen a single thing going wrong on my end. It seems to okay. be like a server thing with YouTube. Okay. <clears throat> Move on. We are just waiting for the first tip. We have nothing. That oh, is confirmed. Yeah, we are scouring. We can't start the game, though. We got nothing. And yes, we yes, are just yes. waiting. <sighs> chill night tonight as well. These, these streams are always chill. We always have a lot of ch chance to talk and, uh, and hang out and have a good time. And, uh, of course, thanks to anyone who supports the stream tonight. Uh, no. Much appreciated if you do. No tips yet. Oh, I don't have anything this. to call out right now, but... He's checking. Uh... All right. Brunel? Just cleaning out a couple things here. Cleaning out these uh, emails. Hang on. I was just about to say emptying the, the email uh, <laughs> trash can. <laughs> Hang on. Just deleting there some emails. Are... I delete this cookie real quick. I don't want too many cookies in my four browsers I have open. It's only you three. I feel like but... your computer has a mind of its own. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Holy I shit! Ever ever got him, boys! Him. Yes! Y'all got legend. him! legend! Who did it? That's the fastest ever! Awesome! No. I want to hear it again. You ever feel like your computer has a mind of its own? Yes! Legends! No. <laughs> I don't think my computer has ever ever just done what it wanted. Awesome. It is frustrating when your computer Amazing. has errors and crashes and you can't really fix them. <laughs> uh, but no, I don't think. But this computer I have, I've now had it for oh almost a decade. Oh my God, how long we got to go? The best computer I've ever had. <laughs> I've had the least amount of issues with this PC than any other PC I have owned in my lifetime. Every Holy other PC shit. crashed, gave me issues. This one never. Never. Very rarely do we have a tech issue with the stream, right? How long right? we got to go? It's so rare. So that's why I'm happy that even though originally I felt like, man... I kind of overpaid for what it was. The fact that this thing has lasted me a decade, I, it was worth every penny. All right. Anything else? All right. So let's see. I'll show you the list here. We got the list. We just got... Uh, <laughs> gold grind. Have you gold ever, grind. Have you ever, does we your computer ever seem like have a mind of its own? Today in, have you ever visited a Chinatown section of a major city? Are you careful with your personal gold records? Grind, and it looks like do you it have is a coming, pet? though. Like we do a lot see of the options here. The so that's what we're gonna have to do. <laughs> All right, I'll put it away. We gotta find gold grind. Okay, find gold grind, dude. All right, sh shall we begin? There's nothing to shout out so far. Oh, no we can tell. Shall we just? Uh, <laughs> we can tell that, sir. Thank you. With tonight. <laughs> Ooh, oh God, we might oh, be here all night. Gold grind. Oh, oh yeah. God, help, help. Really get into the gameplay, huh? <laughs> I didn't think do that. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to be sneaky either. I saw that sniff. All right. We're back. Come on, dude. Someone tip. 
<laughs> I'm praying for a dent. Save me. I don't want gameplay. I can't handle it. Oh, God. <laughs> What if we have to watch the whole street? Right, then we're stuck. I'm someone. stuck. I'll, I'll, yeah, I, I, dude, yeah. I told you I'm in for the bit. Like, yeah. I'll be here. We'll we I might need a water at some point, but yeah. I'm here. <laughs> uh. He's looking, okay. too. Oh, he is scanning. Look at okay, him. everyone, welcome okay. back to Hello. Like a Dragon Infinite Well. It's been a few days since we played last, and just like last time, what we're going to focus on tonight is questing content. Okay. I don't look to grind. I'm not looking to, uh, you know, do dungeon stuff, level up. I want to do quests. It looks like okay. the closest... A zero tip stream is impossible? Zero. I don't think so. Rise Today's the day. The, Someday it could happen. The, uh, but... coffee guy. <laughs> he used to be a stand-up comedian, and now people treat him differently. What? There's other quests, oh. too, like this one. Embrace your wild we side. We need quest style content. Tones. I have no idea what that one is. This one will probably do And we're done with Dent Doko Island. We're getting into the, the meat now. We're level like 30 or higher, so we'll do that later. Um, and then we have this one. Watch Sawai and Kiana saved by kindness. Remember how, ahem, Sawai was kind of a, a simp. It was just kind of being a sucker. So we could do that. Okay. There's a few conversations okay. around to do as I well. Say it like like that. Chitose, lover of <laughs> coffee, kinda, uh, house hunting. Uh, kind of like kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of simp. Yeah. Candy, trouble, and Tomazawa. You know what we should do? Okay, hold on a second. I take this back. We're not doing this yet. You want to know why? Why? We got to go to the bar. And we got to get all of our drinks. Of course we do. We haven't done that at all. And we have like level 30 friendship with it's every hostess character. hostess bar normal style Why bar. are we not doing that? So let's uh, I'm unsure. I do know that somebody brought this up on the uh, Chillin' with Phil segment bar, on Tuesday right? night. Okay. And I was kind of bewildered as to why we were uh, talking shit, about it then. It is, though. Because really this is kind of one of those things that could have been brought up now, uh, actually on the gameplay if you care that much about it. There it is. But that's fine. Hey, let's do that. Let's Big do up Chris Dorn respect her. No grinding need he trick cat into doing it. Yeah. Because they're gonna be way better in combat work. if we she don't have do any other links. job. This could take that's a little bit. They might have a lot of conversations. Yeah, that's that's looking more and more likely by the like day. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, is not his story employee too? though? Guys, oh that. shit. Well, I guess maybe we will start with story tonight then, because I want to do this, so let's do it all together then. Oh, okay, we do Let's see what happens with the story first. He's so scatterbrained. Oh, he is sniffing like crazy tonight. Got him. Awesome. That should do it for the upload. The video turned out really uh, good. Too. Oh, so made this video. She like Chun. She sure know how to put on a show, Ichiban. <laughs> you missed what Jade said that. <laughs> Jade said that last time. She liked Chun. This for a living. <laughs> like Chun Lee. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, in, a, in a... Despite my looks, I did it's run SF6. For <laughs> an election? To... For what? To... I mean, like a real. I'm gonna say this That's every right. time. The English okay. voice what acting. I'm atrocious. Or something. I'm putting anybody doing the English dub in jail. Seriously? When I'm president, <laughs> it's on site. <laughs> Is there anything you haven't done? <clears throat> Whoa, no way. We already got a DM. Oh. Wonder who from? Need help with the OBS? What? Don't tell me it's from Akane Song. No. Uh, no. Nope. No. Some guy named AG. He wants to know if we can meet him somewhere. No. We don't know who AG. you are, un internet creeper. Wait a sec. You oh, mean Achan? Oh, so we got Achan's attention at least. The beginning of the story. Ryan oh, is asking, remember, isn't there any Americans you know, in this the game? Guy in the wheelchair who chased you off. <laughs> okay. <first bed>. Very <laughs> normal question. Oh, Lucky yeah. Grappling says yeah. Hawaii is in America, so, so yes. What's the plan? <laughs> you want to meet up with him? That all right with you, Kiryu-san? He's a buddy that helped me out my first day here. Knowing him, mm, I'm sure he's just worried man. about me. Come on, somebody, sure. get us out of here. Nothing pressing right now. Why not? Awesome, thanks. Okay, yeah, let's take him up on that. All right, I'll All right. ask where's best for him. Yeah. He said Sounds over good. by the Anaconda Shopping Center. That should well, be fun, yeah? <clears throat> yeah? There you go. No there you go. There you go, dude. Don't, don't bother me. The DSP's got as much to say about this as we do, and we're not even playing the game. <laughs> God. Oh boy! Wow, watching these. Right, so we're going back in now. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, go back in. That was we need more. But okay, we're gonna go meet our friend from the beginning of the Hawaiian story. All right. So, how do you do the drink links? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Yes, we have like a multiple of these. You know, too. sometimes I feel like a fake detractor because I don't watch gameplay, that's and right, I'm like, maybe that's where the real sauce is at. And then I show up to this shit, I'm like, no, no, no gameplay, dude. No, stay away from gameplay. Sure, I'm always down. Every time I catch just a bit, uh, just a glimpse, I'm like, yeah, I know, I remember now, I remember. Yeah, you remember? What's drink I prison, link? She pretty okay. Much vanished from the earth. Okay. Hmm. Figured she never wanted me to look for her. And, and I'm fine with that. If she's happy somewhere. So I, uh, oh, I got in touch with meaningful. some old friends we had. Ones I haven't seen since. Uh, I asked if any see. of them had Anything heard. Anything chat from, happening? No, how she's Not doing. Not really. Holy okay. Chat, chat's okay? done. Long story short, yeah, probably. Chat's dead, no tips. Where everyone Dialogue I don't care about. Uh -huh. That's great news. This is rough. I'll say, are First you Jake James Lugo, now this. <laughs> I say, you don't too That's a bad combination. Exactly what ALT's put me through the ringer today, uh -huh. boys. <laughs> go to sleep. If I you have anything else to do, now. go now. Even she was <laughs> we don't. So why don't you seem more relieved? Oh, wow. Marie's friend told me that while I was locked up, she nose dive. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. She nose dive. She quit her job for the baby? Oh. It's the baby's fault. <laughs> really? What? Well, that could be why you didn't find anything when you first looked. Okay. Yeah. But recently, someone saw her on a beach here in the city. She's back in the old neighborhood. Apparently, she looks all right okay. from a distance. Well, this is really to... rough, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what, this is his exposition of characters he doesn't even care about. Favorite. We don't care about. Dude, he's about to fall asleep. Yeah, well... I, wait, he's done that before, though. Like, this is exactly why he falls asleep during Yakuza games several times. Like, he's this is it. You know. What have I done besides That's why I do restream um I do restreams on every Wednesday Atlas and I saw him field trip restreams because I can't handle the gameplay so we just do field trips all night. That's that's how you I I I saw the the field trip restream title and I was like what is this non-specific as title from ALT? What is going on? Cuz you can't last this. This is too rough. In your imagination, Marie would really never Oh, I have skip juice. Let's use it. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Why would she Look, forget it. I should have brought this shit up. Just, uh, tell me one thing. Hold on. What is your relationship advice, Phil? Uh, well, I don't know. Like, if you, if you feel like you two loves her, right? And, and the way that he really just does, that was against his will. Oh, here we go. That That's your their relationship advice, Phil. No, don't want to tell you, Countess Phil. Never do that. Never tip. Never tip. He should seek to. Oh, yeah, please don't. This bit's got to go on for as long as it goes on naturally. Yeah. What if she's also felt like you know he was it's the only way her, the bit works now she's just kind of miserable going through life because she can't be with him oh thank you right she doesn't even know that he's yep. out maybe who knows who knows that uh, sounds like a lady we know yep. miserable now you never know you never know I guess the real here's the real thing yeah what's if the real he thing? does yeah. go to find her yeah and finds out that uh -huh. she is happy how she is without him then he has to be able to move on definitely not then be like obsessing over her and not letting her go she he's already out of her life for an extended period of time oh, definitely it could be destructive if it's all about... I might need a cocktail of medications right? to get over so, her, dude. Yeah. In truth, there you probably will never know what the right move is. So, if he's okay. totally okay yeah. being away with, from her forever, then stay away. But the thing is, you can tell that's not the case. Why is he telling Ichiban about this if that's the case? So, uh -huh. here you go. Tell me, there you go. No choice, is there? She's back. You have to go find her again. No, I do have a choice here. Oh, pick, 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 pick. Yeah, we just even say goodbye. Nothing will ever be certain until you see what you're like. Understand? You're worried about what if she doesn't want to see you? Maybe she's in trouble and needs help. I, I don't know. Bite, bite, bite. I promise, don't let this opportunity pass you by. I'll keep holding you forever. Oh. Why are all these people dressed like DSP during the summer party? <laughs> They're in Hawaii. Strongly urge you. Running out of skip juice fast. Well, we're almost caught up. Fuck. Oh God. <laughs> What's he talking about? Yes, yeah, she absolutely did. He went Fuck, after her. We're and asked caught her up. That didn't take she long. Said, I just want us to stay Damn friends, it. and that's why I didn't want to answer because it would have ruined our friendship. She outright did answer him. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, did he forget God. the entire cutscene? <laughs> I I did. I don't know, man. Uh -huh. I'm just oh uh, yeah. Shit. You need advice from me? Uh, let me think. 
Uh, tell me, find Marie first, and then we'll get to my problems. <laughs> All right, but man, talk about ending on a sour note. Yeah, that's why you end chats like this with drinks, not words. Hell yeah! Well said. All right. All right. That was very cool. Very Jesse's fun. Jesse's testing yeah. real beach headset. Real bro style out. moment. Set here. Cool. Oh. Uh, Tomazawa's bond with the team enhanced. He'll sometimes chain attack down enemies. So, all right, we're gonna have multiple people doing this. Oh now, god, this the fake That's enthusiasm! Exactly all right, so awesome. See, we immediately go yeah. right to the next link. Do so you let's know just do how it. often to do the drink link? <laughs> gotta get games? all these unlocked Good question, now. Derek. <clears throat> oh my god, we're gonna just keep doing this? Holy oh shit, my god. dude! <laughs> no, no, no! This is not the time. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> The SP's on the inside, he knows that what our plan yeah. was. That's what it was. Alright, Tate Tips is trying. You could probably imagine. He's trying a Jeff uh, Jonathan question. Good try, oh, Tate. No. Let's go. Okay. Come on. So? Come, on Philip. Come on, Philip. Come on, Philip. He was just at that same beach. Like I'd never seen him. You saw it! You she saw it, bitch! She came back to Hawaii only recently. Oh, he's in exposition, ALT. He's gotta God, focus on the game. It. Fuck! This time to input, guys. You gotta try again in between the exposition dumps. I think you're you gotta name, wait another you know. 20 minutes. You got an answer. Oh, damn. I think your name might know. scare him. Uh, the taint. He might think that's a troll thing. From what I could tell, she looked great. And they seemed to be oh, God. Very, very close. They were making that beach of paradise. Laughing. Distant. Yeah, so apparently he didn't realize he unlocked all these uh, drink link <laughs> conversations. Words, so there's like 30 of them or oh something. My God. <laughs> well, I mean, when we were together, she, she seemed happier in other ways. Now, this is just bullshit. This is projection. To me, Sabin's cheers, you need to get closer. Be grateful that she's safe. That's what you should say. Choose, choose no, sending me messages. Now, anyway. Say, when are we finishing? <sighs> sure I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't divorce me, please. Yeah. <laughs> I got we in too deep now. Never forgive myself. Hello, uh, Mark. Good evening. Hello, Mark. Oh, looking at the chat. Answer the questions. God damn it. Knowing she's oh, doing gracious, so well. Without, <laughs> makes it oh, God. Yeah, she, she's literally she downstairs crying. Positivity in your life <laughs> now. Do other things. You do, right? Say, couldn't you try getting a bit closer? No. I don't have to settle for a distance. That's a bad idea. No. Oh, yeah, God. but if she and her boyfriend are doing as great as they seem, I'm, I'd really be in the Yeah, shit. don't don't do that. Don't, don't take that they advice. Catch it's terrible. Following them a few meters behind, and real think I've gone totally crazy. Mm, you're not wrong. Okay, time for me to stop. No. My oh my God, why are you doing you're this? Part? It's a terrible I'll idea. By the two of them, casual. And I'll feel out the vibes. No. Hey, you think he's you stalking them? Oh my God. <sighs> If I just clock him for a few minutes. Oh my god. Uh, um, yeah, sorry. But you couldn't even play it cool enough to get your proposal answered. <laughs> Back to Marie then. What kind of guy was her boyfriend anyway? Uh, probably. No, we're here now. Appreciate the, all the, the we, clean cut we started today. the meme. We can't finish it. I, I, we're in deep for this meme. All right. All right. I, have, I appreciate all the people hanging and banging with us though. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is definitely. something. Uh, <laughs> this is I'm definitely. We're in now. We're all in this together. Don't nice. tip. No one tip. Um, Let it happen naturally. That's the funniest See, way. Acted real goddamn happy. Yeah, our suffering is really the enjoyment here. The yeah. second the tip happens, it's like we we all get to go home, which is cool and all, but like <laughs> no, no, stop, man. Stopping, Tommy. Okay. Um. Uh. First of all. We have to be absolutely sure. No, we don't. This is the worst huh? advice he's given him. Wow, terrible, idiotic advice. How a girl's feeling. What's, what is Phil's take you, on this? I want conclusive proof for happiness. Uh, he's... I, I'm, I'm really not sure what's going on. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's try to get into this one. All right. let, let, the oh, next, okay, all right. Yeah, I'll start try. paying attention. Yeah, yeah, let's pay attention to the story. Let's try it. Oh, all right, my God. All right, all right. Okay, what, you, okay here, what should we do? Uh, look into uh, the new boyfriend. You could always talk to her. How ask the team. This is bad. Oh, of course yeah, we're gonna ask the team. We're gonna fence sit this yeah. one. We're gonna have to get feedback. The other? No, no. Ask the chat for uh, feedback, and then tell them it's conflicting. I taint tips is trying again. Never live this shit down. I see a taint tips. We are visiting Chinatown section of a major city. That's my bad. 
No, Chu, Chu just clocked out. She said she's going Honestly, to sleep, so I'm, I'm off the hook, August. I couldn't get through this without you. Divorce line is now canceled hey, hey, because I'm board. getting divorced. <laughs> Listening doesn't cost us. <laughs> <laughs> no, she right. went to sleep, so. I still got no idea how to proceed, but Marie wise. Hey, yeah, yeah. No matter what, I know it can't end like this. And I know something else. I got a good, trustworthy friend who has my back. All right, so next one, if he's well, doing another one of these, let's try that. to pay attention to the story. Let's just oh, try yeah, you guys it. drink a lot. <laughs> You really are an easy guy to talk to, bud. Oh, yeah. Okay, this time we're, we're going to try to pay attention. Now. Let's try to pay attention. Yes. What do we get out of this lane? That's it, then. Oh, look. Now we can do, like, uh, two kicks instead of one kick. It's going to be awesome. So he'll yeah, not perform be combo similar. attacks. Well, okay. combo oh, attacks. That's actually awesome. kind of what you said. Yeah. yeah. There's <laughs> another one. Oh, my God. All right, There's here we go. There's another one. You don't have to All do right, it. All right, guess what? <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, I drank Link. Sloshed with Tommy tonight. Oh Paul Primus, no spoilers. Oh, sit down. Get From now on, don't tell us if it's coming or not. Oh, Let's just let know? it go. Oh, I might be in the mood for a story. No, also, boy. we're also story time. Yeah. yeah, we're also here caught we up now, so there can't be that much of spoilers anyway. There's one for every ten. Right, here we go. Pay, pay attention. Where I don't even know. Don't freak out. You ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> you really hyping this up. Marie's boyfriend and I got to talking, like just him and me. He told uh -huh. me about him. If you make fun of any stream chatter, Derek How or otherwise, you're a that? fucking loser. First, Marie's friend gave me some <laughs> I'm paying attention. Big up, Gribbis. Hold on, I'm paying His attention. Kondo, and he's a professor. Okay. Marine bullshit. You know, ocean stuff. Uh, you know, guy rakes it in, apparently. He's like some. <laughs> My girlfriend just offered to tip the guy 50 cents. I told her that's not allowed. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> break it up. She wants yeah, me out. <laughs> You can go, Alice. If you, your girlfriend's home, you no, can no, go. No, 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 no. Divorce okay, line's hard tonight. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, I waited. Oh, shit. I already checked out of the story. Man. God damn it. All right, uh, damn it. Man. Uh, kind of. Yep. Okay, yep. Get this. I used a fake name. Apparently, he's new to Sly. Home, so I offered okay. to show him around. Oh, my God. This is so stalking, creepy this? shit, man. Uh, you know, I had oh, to be kidding me. I owe it to her to see what so he's, that guy oh, is no. talking to this Marie's right, so uh, new boyfriend. Yeah, I don't know who Marie is. Though. Is that someone he used to like or something? Condo, I think that's his like ex. Really? Okay, 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 got it. He had no goddamn idea. I said I'd buy him a drink, and he came along without a second thought. Awesome. All right, well that's a man's I man right there, I guess. <laughs> must not be that street smart. You could have robbed him blind. Choo choo choo. Man, don't go there. You're the one always saying leave that behind. <laughs> <laughs> Goat laugh. Right. All right. Uh. So what uh. <laughs> did you anything useful? Mm. Yeah, I told him I went to the same college Marie did, and then my name's Thomas. I mentioned the place real casually, so he goes, "Oh, that's my girlfriend's old alma mater." Oh, I get it. Uh -huh. So he made Marie the subject of the conversation. Yep. Kondo said he met Marie in a bad place just after she left Hawaii. She was working this is so jobs before she became yeah, a I, <laughs> yeah, I like Yakuza games, yeah. but this is this dialogue's not hitting for me, man. It Maybe it's because I don't know the characters, but one thing leads to another, and Kondo falls for her. They dated for a year, and then they got engaged. Okay. Okay. All right, they're engaged. The day, Congrats. I couldn't find a single flaw to exploit in the there game. There you go. There you go. Hey. <laughs> For some pointy-headed professor, he's a fucking doofus. Uh, if I had uncovered some nasty flaw, I might not have been able to stop myself from kicking his ass. Oh, it sounds like fun. Hey, come on. Don't say that. You know, right. Because <laughs> I realized... <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Are the eyes starting to go, boys? That's right. I mean, the fact of the matter is... That's right. Next con. Let's make it bigger. Nothing but Yamai's goon until just... <laughs> Are we starting Decided to get the eyes going? Kondo and me in the same way. Looks like they are! Like my only uh oh! The, the blinks are coming yeah. fast and furious! Right from afar. And now he knows. From afar, uh, she might be hard to avoid. Right, let's just keep the, the sleep the counter sense. going. The sleep, yeah. the sleep watching. The hmm? We're on sleep days, watch tonight, boys! Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Sleep watch. I'll never see Marie again after. Shit. Eyes are getting heavy. <laughs> Kondo says Marie confided. According to her, she has too uh -oh. many bad memories haunting her. There you go. Uh, 
I feel like I feel like every time he's just about to like really set a deep a deep blink in, he like snaps up real quick and looks to the left. He's like, oh, there you go. No idea what's going on. Gives it a goat laugh, you know. If she needs to token, token goat laugh, you know. <laughs> End of the road. So concludes the tale. Are right, we done now? So be it. You're uh, a good guy. There you we're go. Both suckers. Let's party. God damn it. No yeah, that's the one I would have picked. <laughs> you're a good man. That was because I feel about me. That's how I feel about me and you, ALT. We're both yeah. suckers here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's party. Also be the only let's one. party. <laughs> And by party, I mean go to bed. Yes, <laughs> that's where we're at now. Could have heard what you said. Uh, oh, oh, appreciate you hearing Come me on. out, like always. I want to see I'll one time he really falls promise. asleep, like not like almost, but just out. Head again. goes back, you know. <laughs> sure <I'm> <laughs> sausage <laughs> mode. Yeah. Yeah. Can you so, imagine? Uh, That'd be so legendary. Yeah. Comes worst. Could happen someday. I'll pull a face oh yeah, he'll never hear the end of it promise. too. I know it'll just be the that will be the, all the songs will be about it you know it'll be the next thing like never that. Never be able to keep a straight face in your position. Oh, oh, oh. come on! I like to see you try. One more toast. How long is this? Is this the final link? Wherever it takes. It sounds like this is the final <laughs> drink link for him. Say no to that. I hope so. I hope it's the final drink link ever. Max was fifty. Go where you have to, Marie. God, no Leave super chats, behind. no tips. This is very rare. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is. Hey, they don't like this game. It is really it is that King's simple. They don't want to see this shit. And same thing, Kazuka's bond went up as well. Oh, awesome. All right, finally, okay. Grimace in the house. Big ups, Grimace. So, so just finished catching up on okay, the icebergs so earlier today. One. Thanks for um, all the lore. Put this towards your next Panda Express. Where, how do we oh, see I definitely will, sir. Thank you so links. much. Bonds. <laughs> Okay. So and also big up Justin Gould in the house. 50. We're at 41. Oh, so Justin Gould we tipped me just, instead of Phil. Thank you, Justin. That for <laughs> we have can't one leave more though. to go. <laughs> All right. We'll have to do that over time. But man, we're just immediately the combat's going to get much better. Of course, oh, now definitely. we have to do that same thing with Shitose. Yeah, it's going to be so. Can we see some combat? Like, <laughs> actually anything, cool. please? Um, We'll do the same if I'm going to be here. Say, yes. To level that up. Wait a minute. What's up? Oh, I guess you have to spend money at the bar to level this up. Okay. <laughs> oh, coffee. Yeah, you see, she's coffee. Yeah, food. you know, it's all. Oh, she's a fighter's binding for free. I Skipping the dialogue. Good. I don't know if he's read that dialogue before, but like, it's all right. We never bought this, did never, we? You don't need to read it. Uh, let's find our next last Derek question. Derek, is Derek never bought out? any of it. It's been a while for Derek. Oh, I'm oh, yeah, down here we go. Little asshole. After Bartender's the wreck. The it's uh, pickles. And a drink together. Boost evasion. Hey, pickles and a drink. <laughs> Spiral oh, of very excited. Three different drinks. Ooh. Yeah. At least some food content. All right. Hey, he perked up a little bit when he when there was food on screen. Uh -huh. And then what about him? Welcome. Try this pack of nutrients. A hand mixed fruit cup. Ooh, Fuel fruit 400 cup. HP for That's everyone at the party. That's bar. actually really hand good. Hand mixed fruit cup. Thank you. Oh, right, isn't it true? Does it God, can we items? get to some he gameplay, does. please? Are there any missions where you <laughs> see Chitose's feet? <laughs> Great question. Oh, uh, let's see. Ask it the real questions. Fruits. We can do the cheese. Oh, well, God. He's not like bad. Me some feet. 100 MP. <laughs> wow, 100 MP to your party is really good. So we should get a few of those. You'd make two more of those. Oh, there really is? <laughs> Actually, Carl and scientists are saying better. there really 200 is. MP to your oh, there's body. really feet. There's really there's feet free, gameplay. There's feet content. I don't oh, really okay, think we cool. need that. Awesome. <laughs> really <laughs> catering to a modern demographic. Uh -huh. Oh my God. These are. This is amazing. Oh, 300 oh. HP and 300 MP to your entire party. That's a sick ass healing item. Sick ass we healing. Can't do these because we don't have watermelons. Amazing. Yeah, we gotta get, get watermelons. watermelons. All right, let's, let's go grind this. out watermelons. Feet are nice. Uh, if you say so. The lack of feet is okay, an issue. All our <laughs> <laughs> this is all Phil's chat, by now, the way. Now, let's do two of these culinary keys. Right. We really don't need... All right, Sunday's trying again. Anyway. Have you ever went to Chinatown, a major um, city? Let's see if we get it. Come on. All right. That's what we'll do for now. Cool. All right. Check the chat. Read the, read the question. All right. Now we have... Yep. Big ups, McDonald. Oh. The drink links with Shitose. We have three to do, I think. Um, oh my god, we have three drink links with this lady. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the one that we need is water, right? 
Oh, never go to Chinatown in a real major. We got it! We got it! We got it! Listen, listen! In the game. Oh, okay. The one we needed was Here we water, go. right? Did I ever go to Chinatown in a real major city? Yes. Uh, I was yes! In yes! In yes! Tons of times. Get fucked. Okay. All right, All right boys. We Drink links. We're banging them out tonight. Let me show you. Let's get our next one. Let's get our next one ready and loaded. All right. Let's try. Uh, what's the right tip is good? Because he's like he's thinking about tips. You know, it might be the right time. Mind if I join you? Or are you careful with your personal records? I love that one. But obviously, do whatever you want, guys. It's all now, your call. This is, this is kind of messed up. Because at least in the plot, <laughs> or, up to this point, we know she's you ever go still a wine bread beneath the clear blue else. sky? That's a classic, <laughs> too. ...about us to them, and we don't know who it is. We assume it might be the Barracudas, but we don't know. So it's kind of messed up that she's doing drink links with you. Uh -huh. I have to go all buddy-buddy, when in reality, that's not the case. So what? I don't know. Ooh, yeah. The last time it was just at least two we get, of us she drinking, she the house. She liked was Chug, a so. little incident. Let's just say it left me in a real bad spot. Right, right. You got drugged and tossed out in public. Buck naked. Maybe you ought to be more careful, just so it doesn't Big happen. Big up Zanty Distortion. Legend. Man, that feels like forever ago. A lot sure changed, huh? It has? When I first came to Hawaii, <laughs> I didn't know a single soul. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that laugh for? <laughs> I was like, stay awake laugh. <laughs> Goes to show you're a real popular guy. You always end up making friends left and right. You make it look so easy. Uh oh. Is it we're really? leaning over. <laughs> Please. Personally, I think I've got Please. way more enemies. Oh, we're back. That was it. Nothing yeah. there. Fair. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh, there's Blabs. Atlas, well, are you a Blabs fan? Are Sam you a Blabs fan? Like Possibly. Actually reminds me of the time uh, I uh, no. Okay. I don't just, know anything about that lady. I've only heard her talk like once, and I can't even remember what she sounded like. Okay. That's fair. Oh, I really don't know anything about them people. Like, yeah. if it ain't the guy, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm so e I'm, I'm like I'm in the trenches, but not as deep as Frog Machine, but oh, no. still in the trenches. That's tough. You can't be Frog Machine. No one if can. You're representing the great yeah, well, I don't envy his, his job. <laughs> he does a lot. And especially by your family. We're just accessories to help sell that image. Okay. Whenever we take a family photo, there'd be an entire camera crew. Felt like we were posing for a company commercial. Okay, Banhart's trying. Well, I remember Do you have a pet? Fancy family photo Big ups, Banhart. I guess you don't really like your dad. Are, are, yeah, starting with first night African here. African. That's a good one. Key, a good very one. key. Yeah. And you're very key. Come on. After him? I'm the eldest, so yeah. Huh. As far huh. as here we go, here we go. Okay, catch it. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heiress. You just saw it. You just saw yeah. it, bitch. Do it. Well, you know it's an easy question. That's so easy. But honestly... Fuck. Trade places with them in an instant. Oh, oh come could. on, come on. Did you? Oh, he's looking at PayPal. God damn it, dude. He's looking at PayPal, not his chat. <laughs> you said this reminded you of that earlier. He was checking PayPal it? on that one. Oh, guess I did. I only ever drank with him once, though, just before I came here. All right, come on, Banhart, new fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh oh, who's you getting lead? Your parent is just awkward. Come on, Banhart. I wouldn't oh, know. He didn't. He didn't live by Banhart. Neither of mine. Oh, oh, oh God. I saw that sneaky little one. Look at this. He's going crazy with the suck-ins today. Never had a chance to Watch this. Little sneaky my... one finger. Bam! I saw it. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Anyway. I wonder if we're going to hear about this tomorrow. tomorrow. I never drank with my parents either. Like, what? my mom used to drink, like, wine uh... around the house, but that was when I was a younger kid. Uh -huh. so I wasn't drinking. And my dad would drink beers outside, but I was a kid. By the time that I was of drinking age, I don't think I have ever had an alcoholic beverage with my parents whatsoever. Not once. Why? Is that like a flex? So we no. Okay. Yeah, I would say that kind of sounds lame as hell. Not gonna lie. So, uh, no. I remember the first time I did that actually. That mm. was really cool with my dad. What was it again? Welcome back, whore. I, I drank with my dad and my grandpa the first time together. Yeah. He went on about it was very robust and meaningful. Yeah. And about making cuts. Oh, pick, pick, pick. Maybe that's all he could think about. So that was the only way he could pass the time. Okay, then. But why were you two drinking together in the first place? My dad invited me out. We didn't know how long I'd be in Hawaii at the time. <laughs> Since we scan, wanted to see scan, each scan. other for a while, maybe he wanted to give parenting a shot. Even if it was just a formality. <laughs> you don't have to be so negative about everything. Oh my you know? god, dude. How far are we into this now? You know, we are uh, I don't, I don't know. Ripple zeros. Of 
Who now? No super chats. No <laughs> memberships. Like, no tips. Nothing. So you even came all the way uh, to Hawaii to meet one of them. <laughs> I don't think I could ever see my parents. He was not way. kidding when he says it's that nobody so shows up for the Yakuza stream and supports. Hello? I've never wanted the guy to get rich, support before right now. <laughs> And, and it's only so I can go to bed. Uh -huh. so it's like she has all the things financially she could ever want, and then her personal life sucks. Isn't that how it always works, though? Uh, astronaut says everything about you your parents one day and just talk about life. Well, considering the fact that number one, they live at literally the polar opposite part of the country, and I really it's don't have access to see them physically. Not, not, number no. two, that when I live there, that's not the polar opposite. Together, that's the fact that, not how that works. Very much on the older side, getting too elderly and have health problems. I don't they could think still so. drink. <laughs> I don't think they that would still happen. Still have a beer every okay. once in a while, dude. You guys are always right. greener on the other side. It's not too late to improve your relationship. Uh, no, stupid. But uh, my mom's case. dying. <laughs> yeah. Know me, a family sure is a special like case. piggy. Everyone's family situation's bound to be different person to person, though. Uh, definitely. Yes, neither of our families can be considered normal. Maybe that's why we can't help but talk. He about is them. dying here. <laughs> we have to get yeah, the bag maybe. soon. Having a drink with you is. Kind of relaxing, Ichiban. Oh, yeah. oh if we, oh, God, I hope we don't make it an hour. But no. if we have to make it to an hour, no he breaks the part. It's absolutely a bag. Sorry, but what was that again? I can't keep track of every little instant. Oh, great echo coming from the neck phones too. Big ups. Exactly. What a big shot say. <laughs> oh, did you see, see? He got a second pair. Uh huh. From a fan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah from a fan, quote unquote. Uh, yeah. yeah. As long as I can remember. I don't know what? how much she still smokes them today because, again, she's elderly. She has health problems. Probably so, a lot. How do you know? Uh, all right. A t new tag team move called Tango. How do you know, for bitch? Two? So okay. she still smokes to this day, but she can't have a drink. <laughs> That's up. Uh... Big ups now, guys. Saying, imagine tipping DSP. Exactly. Man, I don't, don't know do what it. that is, but all don't right. Don't do it. Don't be a dent. Please don't do it. Don't be a dent, dude. That's the should dent. I limit my health intake? For my Wait a minute. Should I limit my alcohol intake for health reasons? Everyone should limit their alcohol intake for health reasons. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Poison for your body. <laughs> so. All right. Drink okay, lake number two. Whatever. We have three of these. To oh, get my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> This, this is, is a real nightmare, dude. Minutes in the stream at this rate. Hey, <laughs> Picked a real good night to play this game, uh huh? It had to be done. Okay. You could do it any other time. You had to do it all at once. Dude. Back in Japan, you'd never see me drinking alone with a guy. And now, oh. here we are. Hello. No lie, that's kind of surprising. Did things change when you got here? Well, the first time we met, it was... If you're wondering what's going on, yeah. there's several accounts in the chat that are all repeating the exact same questions in different order. So <laughs> it's obvious that one of two things are happening. Either uh -oh. they're obviously bot accounts, or there are people sitting in a detractor chat and listening to stuff and repeating questions here because they think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say that shit, so I see it, and I'm like, oh, well, bye-bye. That's, that's us. It. I'm going to address it or nothing. It's just literally like, us. why are certain accounts disappearing? That's why. Oh. If you take a look at their chat history, they've literally been repeating the same four or five questions for yeah. the past 40 minutes. They're so trying to get you. Why? It's an it's important obvious question. There's an agenda there, so bye bye. Okay. You have a pet. Answer the goddamn question. You have a pet. It's an important question. After that, First day here. <laughs> I'd go over there, but I'm banned. Terracuda, <laughs> Dwight? Damn. You know We're just asking normal Dwight? questions. Uh, Come on. Oh, uh, right. uh, yeah, and how's that different what Derek call. does? Kind of reckless to go up Derek does the same fucking thing. In a rough place like that too. <laughs> hey, I might be the sheltered daughter of the Fujinomi. I believe we got called out though. That's kind of that's kind of miffed. Come on. Great instructor. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That, that's about as close as I'm gonna get, huh? Uh oh, uh oh, we're getting leaned. Who's getting leaned next? I call him my cramps though. I'll make it there. there for me see what he's doing. We're getting leaned. He's like a butler, always on, always on, by the lady's side. You have a nanny too. What kind of self defense did you learn? What kind of self defense did you learn from your gramps? I don't know. He taught me a bunch of different things. I think he tailored the lessons himself to work best for me. He made sure I could incorporate different dance techniques. Alright, there's a lot of larpers now. From uh, uh, fucking uh, wow. rebelling. That's how she now. fights like that. Say like I something got banned for that. asking about it's a computer, you know? <laughs> Just for asking a question, <laughs> uh, there people are fighting back. Big ups, everybody. Good, good. Revolt in the chat. We <laughs> left our upbringing in the hands of other people. Most everything I know, I learned from them. Tendasan's here in Hawaii, actually. Came with me as a shot. God, DSP's whole stream existence is it's such an anomaly, man. It really is something I've never seen. Yeah. My email starts at Phil Hava.com, so feel free to send me one. <laughs> oh. 
I was thinking about leaving a suggestion for DSP to watch a random day's worth of his content and see how it feels, but this is awful. Oh, this is this is the worst. Game. I do send him updates though. And game. Like, okay, this I'll game uh, by itself is bad, okay. but this is like the worst part of this game for well, watching the streamer play. He wants to do this. this whole time, he definitely flipped. Yeah, and he's insisting on doing all of these back to back. Like, you want to talk about boring your audience? Like, yeah. that's it, man. You've mission accomplished. I was cashed out like five minutes in. I'm always giving him a hard time, so I figured I ought to gift him a little something. I know someone who asks questions over and over. <laughs> Got him. Here, have a look. This is Tendasan. A cute old grandpa. I thought he'd look a little scarier. I kind of, I can kind of see how tough he'd be. I, I can kind of see how tough he must have been. You know, leveling up. This is good. This is good, dude. Awesome. Well, he's long past his prime. Even I think he's gotten smaller over the years. Gotcha. What? He used to wait, 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 wait. What the fuck was that? Watch the dude in the game. Gotcha. What's that? Weird shaking. <laughs> what the fuck was that? God damn, what was that? When he was in Hokkaido, he once sent a Gotcha. Bear. Give me that gotcha. <laughs> Good point, Carl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my second life right now. My dad and the other servants uh -oh. are always trying to act cool. Gonna, yeah. We are getting a score style rant. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead oh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, oh, it, no! What? Damn it! What? I had so I got a second life, right? I have a second channel. Yeah. Uh, and I was I was gonna go into DSP's chat and ask him if he has a pet. Yeah. But um, I'm not subbed for 24 hours. I hate it here. Oh, we gotta wait 24 hours, dude. We got All right. Show. Well. <laughs> And, uh, we could do it. That bit will be hours. funny next time. Next week we Poor could do it. We could do this bit again. <laughs> it can't be this bad. I wonder how no, 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 no. I'll use that second life okay. eventually. It doesn't have to be I next week. I was just like, I have, I like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to make a sock, but I already have a second channel, so I'll just do it to him. But too late now. <laughs> Jay Wusso in the house says we are getting a scorn style rant. I don't know. I'll be sure to we'll get see. Him even this is crazy though. No super chats yeah. at all. Like we have to. He has to mention that. Who's a smartwatch? Yeah. Oh, How far are we? That in? thing you wear around your wrist, right? And, and it'll measure your pulse and blood what pressure. It's conversation. It'll even send alerts if it detects any irregularities with your heart. Although it's funny because now gameplay started thirty-eight sued, minutes ago. The regulatory bodies that wow. actually like check to make sure technology is doing what it says it does, yeah, have actually done research and found out that they don't work. Oh my god, that there's actually no technology that can measure your pulse properly. Oh, that just you can wear on your wrist, like it would have to be doing certain things to take your pulse properly, oh. and it doesn't do it. So okay. they're all they're under the assumption that they're all just false advertising, so they're all getting sued now. Oh Interesting. My god. Anyway, all right, the hated one tried. Mm, pretty smart of you. Yeah, yeah. it's a great okay. gift for the elderly. I'm going to get limbed. Yes, I think so. so. I don't have to Do we got to change it up. Do, do one off Say the board. What? If he tries to Ask him normal questions to me? get him off the oh, scent. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Ask him how he got so popular. Ask him how he got so popular. Talk about heavy rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talk about heavy rain. Oh, hated one. Come on, DSP. You saw the question Okay, now. she'll sometimes chain attack downed enemies now. Now, do we have one more link for her, or do we have to wait a bit? We have one more link for her. Oh, we don't have the fort. My God. Yes, we don't have the fort. Okay, so go and back here. You, we automatically got his. Um. For some reason, you don't have to drink. To Ask him a Jake James Lugo question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was that not the best interview ever? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No Tell me, was that not awesome? Was that not All awesome? All right, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do level three. And, oh, uh, come we'll on. I know we've been doing this for almost 40 minutes, but yeah. this is key. If you don't do this, is it your, key? your combat is actually kind of nerfed. And honestly, mine has been. I just, I never came back here. Now we needed to go here for the story. So while we're here, you might as well just do all this might as well now. Do it, dude. And then we can head out and do other unique stuff. Sorry, might as well just bore your audience so they longer. don't want to give you money or watch your shit. Play through as well. And Like a Dragon, the original uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon, we did the same thing. We did the so. same thing, dude. All right, here we go. Okay. It was fine, I guess. No mention of support. Here we go. Damn. We already had Kiryu sing Bakami Tai. That already happened. <laughs> that already happened, dude. Hey, am I bugging you, Chi-Chan? He is doing those oh, sucks all over nah, the place. Of course those not. one-sided sniffs. It's just... What's up? Well, uh, Gramps tried to get in touch with me just now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Saying, I'm sure you're busy, but do you think we could still meet? Right. The butler who works for your family. 
Ever since I joined you guys, uh... I haven't gone to visit him in a long time. He must be real worried about you, Chichan. Yeah, no kidding. You know what else he said? Uh -oh. I believe Milady is hiding something from me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'm just enjoying my time abroad like a typical exchange. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta hand it to the old man. His intuition's pretty sharp. Definitely. <sighs> That's how I felt when DSP yeah, figured out that they were asking questions. Uh, the intuition's pretty I sharp. I give it to the old man. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> But if I do, he'll probably figure me out. Have you ever? You have you guys yourself. ever seen DSP Dance sure. trying to be Steve and all detractors on Reddit? It makes me see them off, turn, turn the tables. Have nothing to, to point to. to. Oh, no, I haven't seen that actually. But well, basically, nothing. Good I mean, are you talking about on discussion? Right is it really five or five? Whatever? Five? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Day, the anniversary of Agent. I do not go there. I'm not a Reddit style. Reddit's the worst. I mean, for Twitter is where it's at. Social media stuff. I watched it many years ago. Cool. Never saw I really don't do either. Like, uh, social media is really not my on thing. I, I probably should be better about it, just because, like, it's it's cool to hang and bang and make memes, but, like, I would like to see it someday. not anyway, my style. When you put his mind at ease. When you put it that way, I feel bad for him. Why don't we just have him join us? Why don't we just have him join our party? If we laid it all out in the open for him, maybe he'll become our ally. <laughs> then we can have That's funny. That's funny. From the <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I doubt uh, yeah, no. Gramps is really loyal. I mean, he's stuck by my dad for years. It's just for me, Reddit, there's, there's no point for Reddit. Like, if you want to go really deep and, like, see, like, information, then you want to go to the agricultural style website. If you want to just see memes, then you go to Twitter. Like, Reddit has no place for me. He doesn't know anyone else in Hawaii, so he'd have a hard time trying to track me down on his own. But all that, I just make I just send ink on all, all my voyages. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll just be like, hey, what are people saying? And I'll just <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. go and do my thing. <laughs> In fact, he's probably even more lonely. He probably is, but I want to keep going like this just a bit longer. Why don't you try sending him something different from usual then? Uh, I don't follow. Hey, look, he cannot stop you self now. Sending You're right, texts, Spencer. Right? Look at this. Look at this. Double two-handed. Add a video or a <laughs> Double. Picture. Change it up. Double, double, Just group. take a shower. You wouldn't uh, itch so much. He's doing chin and forehead. Personal group. video. Send him a group photo with all of us. You could always send him a selfie with us, too. Nah, personal video. Yeah, personal video. How about sending him a personal Intellect video? Intellect level 7 now. Just record yourself with your phone and fire it. <laughs> What? I just Level waved seven and y'all like, Aloha! <laughs> Been a while, hasn't it? Yep, you got it. Tell him how much you appreciate him, thank him for his hard work, and tell him you're doing A-OK. -okay. Eh, that's not really my style. I'd literally die of embarrassment. Well, oh, uh, even if you don't want to Derek, meet him, even Derek oh checked out. Jay checked out. Something. It's yeah, all LARPers now. It's just right. con consistent I'll LARPers like it. this. Great game. The voice it's acting kind of is Chef's Kiss. <laughs> like that's a lot. <laughs> 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 the only one who cares. Well, not all family are bound by blood, you know. Hearing you talk about your gramps reminded me of that. Come on. I wasn't really Big ups, Christian C. I love this game, but man, DSP playing it is so boring. He well, so back in he makes me not want to play this game. I'll tell you that. that. I know it's not that bad. I know it know? is a good part. At least I thought people so. do like it. Ichiban. If there's even just one person. He constantly asks me, he's like, those Yakuza games look boring as shit. You like those? It's like, yeah, I, I like the yeah. other ones, but he makes them look so awful. He's it's 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 a it's a skill really to make yeah. games look that bad. About you. Look at his face glitching here. Watch the right side of his face. If there's even just Watch. one person out there who gave a look shit. Look at that, look at that! You, then wouldn't that you see that? Fun? You see his, yeah, his, his he's lips having a little glitching. Yeah, just he's glitching. A little spasm. Look at that. You. Yeah. Whoa. What's going on? Yeah. Yes, so. No tips. Yes, it's like he's he's tweaking. <laughs> I don't know. Season out. Considers me family, but Come he's on. definitely important to me. He does deserve more than a wall of text, though. Uh, maybe I'll give him a call from time to time. Oh my God, he's time. going. Come on. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Oh, oh that go. was the wake up. That was the wake up. Yeah, yeah, that's the wake up. Flip your head. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, oh, there you oh, go. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Give the goat laugh. Uh. 
Thanks for the life lesson today. All right. All right. We, we done? Finally, it took right. 45 minutes, but we got through all the drink links. Jesus Christ. Imagine all wasting right, 45 minutes of your audience's time, time like that. When the relationships level up further, we'll come back. Okay. But for now, holy moly. Holy moly, dude. We got it done. Let's get out of here and let's see what we want to do now. Let's actually do some questing. Yeah. Let's do some questing. Maybe oh, bring out man. Tip. Is there any questing in this general area? No, there's a conversation one dollar tip. <laughs> there's a few conversations, and actually, we've never gone Even one to minute, the man, right fuck this. Of the map. So, why the fuck do that for exploration purposes and see if there's anything? He tips wins? for every other stream. Okay, hey, someone this, got himself 15 friends. Ichiban, you're linking up a storm. You should chat again at Revolve when you got... We don't have uh, that much longer. I mean, it's got to be, what, another 10 minutes? We split the part and we're getting a mega bag. Yeah, then we get... Yeah. 15 friends? I have, like, 400 friends, don't I? <laughs> how do I see how many friends I have? Yeah, see how many friends you have. <laughs> see how many friends you have. I have God, I would love to see what DSP's friends. contact list looks and like in real life. It's like five people. Congrats yep. on having... 15 friends. It's like the way you don't even have what? to scroll. They all fit on the screen. Yeah, I've, like, yeah. I've never seen anybody in real life uh, that, that could do uh, that. His context is one screen. Okay. Yeah. I guess we'll save now. No scrolling. I'm, I'm, I need to I'm put like, told, not, letters in to find them. For just they're all friend. there. So do I just go back to the bar <laughs> to get the rewards? So we're going to get rewarded now for stuff we've already been doing. <laughs> wow. Wow. Time to put our feet up. God, we're back in this bar. Can we please get away from this bar? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Link Master General. This gave me more feet. Yeah, keep the you feet got a stuff buddy. Yeah, we That's have like funny. 19 buddies. Uh, I'm going to quote that ALT. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. She gave me a fighter's belt. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, dude. That's it? Thank you. So we have, didn't we just get another piece of gear too? She gave us like two pieces of gear. She gave us we have a black belt. All right, here I'll bring up the what question. Black belt. She gave? We got a black belt. We got the black belt. All oh, right, here's the like question. A, we still got to do a waistband. Got to be careful now though. Correct. He's on to the scent. So I think you know that's what, what it was. So tonight we have um, the. Have you ever been to Chinatown? And the other one was um, what was it? So What's computer, the, computer, yes. Have you ever computer have a mind of its own? Yep. That's oh, the two we got today. Who can equip it? Then? Be careful though. I, I, Unless it's bomb. I seen on there there oh, wait, was uh, right how there. superstitious Spider's are you? I yes. feel like if you want to get him with that MP, one, it's like a Baldur's sucks. Gate three while he's complaining MP, about RNG. Be like, oh, you always act as though the game's out to get you or whatever, something like that. I feel like that's the move. Let me guess. walk outside, she's gonna call me again and be like, "We got super scuffer in the house with the member back." Pick up, dude. Enjoy your benefits, Sam Ram. So many benefits. It's incredible. Avoid slow chat mode in the chat. Cool chat crown badge. What else is there? You can vote in the polls. All right, this is stupid. We're not doing it. this all day. This is taking forever. Uh, too late. Oh, Batman. Come on. Uh, slow mode is off. Yeah, um, slow mode's off, yeah. <laughs> all right, yes. Aloha, Lynx. Yes, people oh, like me. Poll too. What's nice. this? What's going on? What just happened? Can you believe that the app actually friends with critters? Okay. Yeah, the animals. We know that. Right. A punk Back choker. Okay, isn't that? Aren't the cho the choker? You're gonna need a cam for me. Aren't that for the Aris? <laughs> so uh -huh. we can't really use that right now either because we're not doing the Eris uh, quest or the Eris. I never thought it lasts this long. Thanks. If I knew it was gonna last this long, I wouldn't do it. It usually lasts sure. like ten minutes. <laughs> it's a funny thing. Yeah. <laughs> it lasts for ten minutes usually. Well, the longer it goes, the funnier yeah, it is, no, but like, in a, in a Type 2 style fun way. Uh -huh. where like, it's gonna be funny later, but right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see it. Yeah, they're not even letting me see it, so never mind. I'm pretty sure that's Eris, though. Aloha. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. Oh my god. Thank Aloha. You. Get out of here. Hey. Aloha. Alright, finally we can make some progress by heading this way and doing a new conference mm -hmm. day. Oh my god, dude. Wait, did we go back in? Yes. Did we oh my god, I looked away for two seconds. Oh. You can't trust this guy to do anything. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh. 
ephemeral long sword. <laughs> so that sounds like a sword for the samurai. <laughs> now we already have a level four because we leveled sword. up a level three to level four, but maybe this is a different sword we can Thanks. actually uh, like level up later oh at the blacksmith God. and it'd be really good. Can we level it up now? Can we like, can we do, can yeah, we go see, like use it or something? It, ha it makes, uh, it might make sword. you blind. See that? I know. Good point, Darius. He started this out. This is all mm. quest style stream. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done a single. No, I don't quest. want to talk to you. <laughs> I haven't left this room. Oh no, no! What? Go now K. she's a guest of Dodoko Island. <laughs> oh cool! She wants oh to my see god! I say never seeing her again. Uh. Right. Now we're going to walk down the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now he's gonna make try to make a meme out of it. Kick, 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 but this is clearly not. They the don't want me to ever leave yeah. Revolve Bar. This is not the game loop they wanted you Seriously. to do. Though. He did this in a raw. What is going fashion. on? I'm sure of that. Yeah, well, because he unlocked these throughout his gameplay, so he was supposed to stop in bar. every once in a while, like in between quests, and do them like okay. one at a time, there and slowly go. unravel so these these storylines. Right but he's just powering through them now. Dragon boots. This actually looks good. Legendary footwear evoking the power of a magnificent dragon. <laughs> that sounds like it could be a really good item. So hold on. <laughs> because it sounds yeah, cool. Yeah, I don't even have is level that, four footwear is for Is that anyone. literally how so we're judging that it? On that sounds cool. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Got the Is name dragon. The Come on. They gotta be great. Okay. <laughs> oh, four stars, dude. I mean, would you rather wear the dragon boots okay. or the running well, shoes? Yeah, 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 it's it's dragon seems dragon boots. Pretty self-explanatory. Does she sell new things now? No. Yes, she does. Oh, well. Thank you. This has got to be it, because now I have the 100 friends, but that's it. I only Here have like 119. That's got to be the limit. That's got to be it, dude. Now I can finally walk down this road, uninterrupted, unheated. Finally, yes, it looks like we're doing okay. it. Hey. Yes, it's finally. All right. Oh, God. Is she someone okay. to invite to the island? She looks like fucking a Mortal Kombat character. Oh, yeah, she's too sexy. Like it's a Dondoko Don Island uh, guest you invite. There you go. Oh, just right. quick to get her out of yeah. there. See that? Just get her out of here. Come on. It's too so, bad. Yeah, no, Had to get her gone. Uh -huh. we drank like a million drinks. Okay. Tomozawa's ideal Very ride. stupid, but... You <laughs> like big cars, don't you, Tom? Yep, I'm saving up to buy one that's top of the line one of these days. Man, huh? That came out well. All right, come on, split the part. the conversation. Split the part, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Cool looking van right there. You like big cars, don't you, Tommy? <laughs> yep, I'm saving up to buy one. That's All right, before line. we start the quest, we should split the part. Uh, come on. I guess having a big car comes with. Shit, perks. they're coming this way. We don't want to be interrupted. Buddies or a pile of budge of stuff in it. We could even buy a tent and all go camping together. All right, come it's uh, get one that seats like ten people. What? Are you looking to come into my van? This dialogue's a little goofy for my taste. This whole game. Is. Right. There we are. We got yeah, maybe that's the, the like a we dragon style. Bingo. I don't know. I didn't play those ones. Oh, double big. No. King Jan, okay. Get this don't hit clip. fifty. Then we have bingo. to go back to the bar. We're at forty-four. All right. <laughs> like, dude. Seriously, if we hit fifty, we have to go back to the bar. Oh God. For another drink link. Get the fuck what out of here, Chito. It's not. Yo, what you looking at? Oh, DC okay. greetings. How are you tonight, DC? Gameplay. He says uh, he's got a Hawaiian haiku. Oh, Ro oh rocks of Hawaiian haiku. Volcanoes erupt, lava cooling, and hardened rock towers landscapes. There you go. Thank you very much for right. the haiku. I actually was not counting this. DC, I ever see you in chat, you know it's bad on site. I'm beefing with all haiku users. So what we're trying to do is head to this area, this upper right-hand quadrant. We oh, yeah, never went, really and there's cool. a bunch of conversations there. Okay. He's not a show, shit. He's not a ghost, shit. We got a little bit of skip juice off that. So we had skip juice? A little bit. There it is. There it's gone. Now it's gone. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> we had my hopes up. I thought we had a little more than that. That was it. I don't feel like we have too many more of these. Oh, we could get this a fire god amulet, right? That's the next reward. Right? Do you have to I buy don't know, dude. One to get the next? I think that's how it works, right? You have to buy that one, then you get another one. Holy shit, man. We've been going for a while now. Why why is he asking me these questions? Uh, next is Water God. Okay. Okay, wow. All All right. Right. Well, should 
we go up here and then hit. Yeah, let's do this. We we'll go up here and then hit. Oh, there these. you go. Casper's got a haiku for you. Oh, there's a chest. How do I get do over there? Do not ban me. The haikus I want that will chest. flow like wine. I wait for my spoon. Did I get the money charm? I have the money charm and I have the items charm. So you I'm did this to like me earlier too because I said the same line and then there was like five haikus in my chest. Glad you this, Jade. See, I'm having a good time. The problem is, obviously, uh -oh. I know that's not the most entertaining thing for the audience to be to do off the. I love links, this. But you have to do them at some point. See, I held off so long doing them. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, like, there's really so much people, like, saying stupid it. shit, but like, Jade always fatty. gets shouted out. Because, like, recruit you know, the fatty. Jade. He knows it's a safe, real fan. <laughs> what do you want from me? Yeah, yeah, he can ID the, the Jade uh, from a mile away, and he's recruit like, yeah, I'm going to gonna read that. Go. Take this. A peace offering. Uh, what? No way. What is happening? Oh. He's not that fat. Well, I don't know who you're used to watching that you think that this guy is not so fat. To me, he's who you're used to watching this. That uh, <laughs> this is at wings. In comparison to me, you know, to... I think he's pretty darn fat. Do you want to compare that to anyone in your life right now? Watching other people, I don't know. Ooh. King Michael, how are you doing tonight? Okay, welcome, welcome. okay. All right, all right. Okay, let's continue. We want to go there, <laughs> dude. That's what you, really what you doing up. in my way. Island Bruiser, level 17. How does anybody get anything accomplished in this game? Just go fight normally. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what the hell was that? Why just run randomly? <laughs> Follow my lead. Oh, this guy is oh, like not oh, giving me oh. Run into the fence. Oh, yes, you can't knock him down. Okay, I'm up. Great, you go. Oh, here we go. Small skeleton, forever wow. in the chat. He's like for high key damage. That's good. Go down. I wouldn't describe it as good, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I like your haircut. Oh, Thanks, oh, Jim Michael. Oh, very nice. <laughs> nice. What chapter is the halfway point, Dark Gaming? I actually don't know how many chapters this game has, so I don't know what the halfway point of this game is. Uh, can we get to the half point of the stream? Already, huh? He is the dos Dosukoi. Dosukoi. That's what Ihana says. Dosukoi. He's a Dosukoi gigant. Are we doing this thing again? I don't know what this is. Thank you, King Michael. This is Very right confused there, by this. No way. Oh yeah, Mark was watching real school wrestling when in Japan, and it was actually great to watch. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder how entertaining it is to watch. Sure, I'll pal around. There you go. What oh, is the Sujiman? This is more grinding he didn't want to do. Stuff. I think it's like a character Sujimon, you can call yeah. upon. There's actually times. several items in here that I never, I never got. Yeah, but. it's like a Pokemon collecting yeah, mini sure. game. That's oh, what, uh. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Booster, no big he was talking about well, this when he was talking about Dendoko. And he's like, I don't want to do Sujiman. It's too much grinding. And we just did Dendoko. <laughs> you were a little yeah, he's in his back he's back. in his natural habitat You're collecting sweaty men. That's why he likes this part. <laughs> yeah, the tips aren't even bothering him right now. He's he's living it up. Just like this one. I don't know if this is a haiku, but no, I'll still read it. He dreams of his growth. Every day is still so short. Atlas keeper of books. That works. It didn't Thanks. It was covered in scars? Oh my god. There's nothing else to do. Keep it covered. Yeah, no, you're right. You're like, I'm not... There's another chest over there. It, it, it's gotta be what it's gotta be. We're all here. Oh, David David <laughs> confirmed it is a haiku. All right, I, wanna, I don't wanna take anything away from you, brother. Good job. I'll, give, I'll take your word for it. We're really opening up. Aggressive style. <laughs> all right, 45. He's almost maxed at this point with friendship. Almost maxed, uh-huh. So we gotta get this... Uh, By the way, the black belt's a great item. It's a great gear item, so I'm going to put that on Tomy oh, instead of this you, crappy metal brooch. I'm going to give him the black belt. Awesome. Yeah, look. Overall, it boosts all the stats, so. All the stats. We'll get this and we'll continue on. Remember, there's a whole street we haven't gone on yet in the game over here. Come on, Full dude. power. You guys aren't aware this game's been out for a month now. Oh, it wow. Right at the end of January. Thanks, Derek. It's been out for a month. And here we are, not even halfway through it yet. Devil's Twister. God, we're not even halfway done with this game yet. Uh, hear you. I feel like I've seen enough tonight. Yeah. Maximum mittens. Oh, those look sound resistance. sound pretty good. Got to wear those. I'm not gonna bother looking at those. We have an optional boss fight over here. I'd like to do. They don't even hide items. They just put them out in the middle everywhere. Damn. Back in Let's my day, items were hidden. 
Yeah, they just put them everywhere. Finally, some combat. Holy shit. Yeah, the most kids don't know what it's like to look for items. Uh -huh. We used to have to do like at least break a bomb out, get in the cave to get items. I can do this. Okay, I'm down. Pretty hype music okay. here. I'm so confused by this combat because it's like it's turn-based or something, but it's like live style. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Think I don't know. What the hell, Mary Bomb? Awesome move. Comes down next turn. I won't push that. So what's his new move? Devil's Twist. Like, everything looks very easy. I mean, I've never seen him play a boss or anything. Like, like, everything seems okay. like it takes two hits and it's over. Try it. Devil's Twister. Well, I think he's way OP because these people are level oh, like 17 and his characters are level 29 and he's got like all the top gear, like level fours and fives and shit. Which like at that point, like why are we even doing this? Just go do something else. Like this is also the story so we can beat the game. Uh, okay. Go big up seal. Oh, Catsper has another one. It almost time big. Money flows to bills and cat. Drowning ha. tears and jizz. Nice. I agree. Nice block. Maybe I am dumb. Did Phil tell Dents not to tip to torture Atlas? Yes. yes. Extra down shot. I'm starting to believe it. Finish him. <laughs> nice. The Hail Mary bomb came down and killed him. Awesome. Dark Gaming says, I just finished like a this dragon. This one on record. I've been up since 2 a.m. We are finished. rapidly Nine approaching 24 hours. Right, Hell <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. I thought I was talking to the wrong person. There you go. Let's recruit Nameless. Okay, come on. If he's Nameless, why is his name Ha? He's not Nameless if he has a name. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Great joke, dude. Okay, then. Huh? What should I do? <laughs> Wow, we're still on all Just zero. Say the word. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Put the part. Please put the part. We have to get a bag at that point. And then we get the pity tip. Combat sword. We're gonna get the I was gonna, uh, so pity someone tip. will send to like start. a $5 yeah. tip and That's we can all go home. That <laughs> That's what I'm and waiting for. for but not you guys. You guys are not allowed to tip. Oh man, we if we go level this sucker oh, up, on. this thing's gonna be okay, better Black Doom. than my Old Megalodon a granny, sword plus five. Looting over Bros tonight. Stay young, stay free too. All right, we Come may on. go that, upgrade that, that later. Make sense. Then, but Goody for now, over Bros, how dare you? Very nice. All right, let's. Uh, can we have this catalog? No, we can't. <laughs> we're gonna go all the way around. I didn't do it tonight. Huh? I did it many years ago. Who's this? Gunpowder Bill. The internet made that process he obsolete. Sells a bunch of medicine. Look at this. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't even know this guy existed. Oh, super scuffer in the house. Pig Roach Different begs medicines. for tips. All the money burned on Hogan pulls. I Cat crying downstairs. Need some revive Oops. items here. I do. So many now. That's a haiku stream. I know this is gonna be expensive. I was just about to say it's a haiku stream. You beat me to it though. Ricky well, I mean, what else is going on? It time go Sold for me. Just tip me, dented guards. Pretty he please. Only has one of each. I'm nearly on those my knees. Items. Like, nice. you revive items. I need those. Atlas needs his sleep. I thought he was the young one. Atlas Freezing is old enemies. and short. All right. All right. I'll got, I got the two revive <laughs> items. So uh, no, dude. I'm old as hell. Like, not really, but I, I sleep on old it's man time. I'm schedule yeah, style like an old man. Before. I'm what they call, uh, I got what they call an old soul. That was a good find. A natural level four sword. Natural level four sword. we could possibly level up to a level five. That's pretty I'm like those unnatural silicone style yeah. level four swords. <laughs> Okay. Look, a ninja. Like this, the the atmosphere of this game is so yeah, awesome. Like fuck? it really does look like fucking Japan, dude. But like everything else you do is so in fucking That's insane. Statue? <laughs> everything you do in, in Hawaii. The game is Shinobi insane. sushi. Hawaii, excuse me, Hawaii. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've Hawaii never been. Style. I don't know. <laughs> it's a statue. I always thought about eating sushi. I you think it was a real person? Dumb fucks. <laughs> oh, look who it is! It's too late. Konnichiwa, Kasuga san. It's good to see you again. It's All right, dude, the ALT is old, older than the bookkeeper. ALT is old. That is not a haiku. He's inviting him to, to be... Dondoko Island. Uh, there you go. Rules, isn't there? Five seven five. Yeah. 
That doesn't even work. That one's my favorite of the night so far. Big up, Snood. Uh, I like the theme that you had. If they're not 575, I'm not even reading them anymore. Wait, what? Honk, honk? Like, this one doesn't work. Get honk. That's just Charlie Chang weighing a lot. doesn't count. It counts in my heart. Uh, so I paid a thousand, and he did something that's leveling up all of my stats. He called it getting honked. Now, I think this is supposed to be related to... Get honked. I think Snoods was a haiku. The Dragon Quest series. There was okay, something that, that had something to do with a girl rubbing I might be on you. I know that sounds lewd, because it is, but it was like a running joke of the is Dragon it, Quest is it, series. Is it lewd? I think it was called Puff Puff. So I think Honk Honk is supposed to be a take on that, but it's obviously something stupid because it's an old dude doing it to you, and he leveled up all of your stats for $1,000. Is it? So instead of Puff Puff, you got Honk Honked by this guy, so you can just imagine what he did. <laughs> right? Oh, instead of Puff you Puff, you got what Honk he was Honk? To you, I mean, what, how was Honk Honk What was he honking? Do we want to know what he was honking? I mean, did he go down for I, some ripe looking fruits? <laughs> honk, right, maybe. I, 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 I don't know. Balls? Ooh. Did he, uh, did he try you, to... Oh, you honk yonkers. Tools? I don't know. Oh. Honk. But anyway, we got some stat boosts from it. You ain't, you ain't never honked a yonk? To the game, so. <laughs> honk, honk, dude. All right. Yeah, how do you honk okay. testicles? I've never heard of a honking testicle. Here's the corner. There's a new conversation. Honk boobs. I mean, I've heard that. we haven't done yet. The Aloha Mini Mart. I don't think we can go in there, right? Nope. There's a boss over here, but they're super easy, so we can just like steamroll that boss. Oh, come on. We can steamroll the boss. God, can we just oh, split the party and get a tip? <laughs> For the love of God, dude. The one time he's in the he's like uh, conservative with the bags. It's this. It's this stream. <laughs> That's kind of cool. This stuff is popular over here. They show anime on TV too. Wow, I didn't know. Wow, I didn't know, dude. Told me. Eh, yeah, a few. They make decent conversation starters. And adds a caveat. That right? Oh, who would have thought? Of course, gotta be careful of the Japanese bad. clients in that case. Yeah. They're up on the latest That's, that's putting it lightly. Well, spoil you on. Talk about a road hazard. <laughs> 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 Let's do this. Maybe we can, you think we can just steamroll it? Can you steamroll a boss fight? Yeah, steamroll it, dude. Steamroll it. Nah, Hell yeah. Steamroll it. Steam roll it. She double killed them. Yep. She Atlas, double killed them. Atlas is fueled by hate and caffeine today. Absolutely. Uh, just oh, hate. No timing. caffeine today. Oh, not a caffeine man. Follow my lead. Yeah, no, not since 2 a.m. this morning. Had my first coffee. That was it. You're being Damn. Just riding on oh. hate. Oh. <laughs> and the follow-up in the back of the head with the sword. So much oh. for him. Oh, oh, Easy oh. <laughs> I got a bodacious boarding book, which I think gives you a free level of uh, the Aquanauts. All right, I just realized what time it is. We do have to split the party. There we go, boys. But before I do that, we have a quick... Shout out Let's for go. our first contribution. Oh, what is it? Yeah! Program. A five dollar tip. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, we got important. there, boys. Thank you to Mulch Man <laughs> for the five dollar tip. We did it. Tip is pretty important. And that is we our get to first go home. contribution at all tonight. So Woo! thank you so much for that. So at least we have something on the leaderboard. What an endure! That. Mulch Man. Mulch Man. <laughs> mulch Man. Do we want to see what Who happens when mulch he splits man? the part, though? Oh. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. It's, it's, so, it's happening right now. I think it is time now to split the It's part. happening right here. Here we now go. Now that we've gotten past that really time-consuming, right sadly now. kind of it's boring fine. part of the stream, uh -huh. we can now focus on other things. Yeah, that part was great. And uh, cool. hopefully the rest of the stream will be more interesting for you guys as we're going to do questing and the like. But we did have to get all those links done. Did we? So I'm glad that... What the hell's going on? What the... Ah! Oh! Okay, we just back with that. Easy mob of enemies. Split the part! Now they're only level eight. Oh my god, split the part! <laughs> Stop go. playing! Okay, here we go. Let's see. Stop oh, playing! Wait, put a Sujimon now. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, stop playing! We have ends. to capture the Sujimon, come on! Oh god, give him a present, whatever the a fuck you gotta yelling. do, dude. Get out of here. Alright. Take this! A piece of honk his- honk, honk his testicles! <laughs> <laughs> honk him! Honk him quick! Honk him! Uh, honk! Just say the word. Cool. Okay, here we go, here we go. Eventually, I will do the Sujimon part of this game. It's just, I'm not Eventually, you should just split the goddamn right part. Yeah, yeah, yep. eventually, all yep. Okay. Real game, so. Let's save. Yes, there we go. Take a quick break, and I'll be right back with the next part for tonight. Oh my god, quick break. How long is this break right. gonna go? So, indeed, it is time to stretch a little bit. I'm gonna get up and walk around a bit. Guys, if you are enjoying tonight's stream and chilling with me, if you could support it in some way, I would appreciate it. I literally didn't mention it the entire first half of tonight's <laughs> stream. We have one contribution now of all night. Uh, obviously... Anything would be appreciated in Super Chat. Remember, <laughs> okay, please support the Like a Dragon stream so I can keep playing the game. All right, let me stretch. Oh, oh hold on. Let's boost the audio. I'm boosted. <laughs> Told you. <ya. laughs> oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Jesus, he's oh. honking. He's honking away. Oh, snort. Oh. Alright, you know what? I'm also going to pee while I'm up. I'll be right back. Oh my god. <laughs> We're pulling Hogan's with that $5 we made. Uh huh. Ooh, look at that hand. What's going on? Ooh, grandpa hand standing there. Alright, I'll keep the boost in. We really got nothing to work with now. Uh-huh. Sending the SOS out. You're right, Matthew. Whale call. Uh-huh. Why did he sound like that? Who stands up and groans like that? I think it was kind of breaking the tension from the bag, kind of. I think that's how it's kind of his tactic there. Oh. Kind of like changing the mood. Like, I don't want to end it on that begging feeling, so I kind of make, make it funny. Like, ugh. Does that every day? Oh my god. That's maniac behavior, dude. What? Well, we're now we're stuck until he comes back. Because <laughs> <laughs> there might be a return bag, too. We gotta stay for that. I know. My girlfriend came back here right for the pop off, <laughs> and she was like, Oh, yeah, you get to come to bed now. And she walked out, like, Nah, I'm so uh -oh. here. <laughs> I'm blocking, I'm cock blocking Atlas right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're back, we're back, we're back. Oh, no way. Quick piss. Quick piss, here we go. All right, so we're about to resume, but a little bit of something weird. There were three more j old Japanese guys in my hallway, and they all gave me a honk honk on the way back from the bathroom, so. I don't know what that's about. Good. It's like they're lining up uh, out funny. there. funny. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's continue. All right, we're done. We're out of here. I'm going to get right the fuck here. Okay. We're back, everyone. Don't give a shit. All right, yep. that'll do it, guys. You're all legends for hanging out. This was a fun one. Big ups. Most big ups to Atlas for sticking out with it. You made the meme great. All right, brother. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Absolutely. Obviously, obviously, I'm saying Atlas puts out videos all the time. Go follow his channel. I'm sure you know it, but if you don't, go over there. WPIG back on at 7.30 a.m., which is somehow only uh, seven hours from now. So basically, so see you in seven hours. You're all fucking legends. Atlas, final words. Go ahead. Come on. I love you all. I had a blast. I love it here. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.